So the song ended. <laughs> the song just ends. Sometimes the song just ends. Ahoy, Stan. Thanks for being a 13-monther. We're not playing this at the moment. I was just making sure everything I had was, uh... What was that? <laughs> I was looking down at my... I'm, what was that? Blue DSK, thanks for being a 22-monther. <laughs> I heard a little... Yeah, funny, right? That menu makes no music. Mario Kart! Hey! Yeah, get your updates in. Get get everything updated. Uh, really fun thing I noticed about this main menu. There's a little star next to version 3.0.0. .0, which is the developer's way of saying, We're done! We done. We're done. We are done. But, uh, I don't believe it. Like, that's not going to be a 3.0.1. Yeah, right. What's weird is... is it, this, uh, this update came along with patch notes. Quit this. Quit this, quit this. And, like, they made some, like, weird... Uh, adjustments to, like, the actual way that, like, you can pick up question mark blocks. Like, they changed the cooldown rate. So if somebody steals one in front of you, you're more likely to get it behind them. Which is already stupid, because it means there's going to be more items on the track at a given time. And then the other one is just like, a certain player can't get the same item box on the same laps over and over and over. Man, Chovy, thanks for being a 24 month there. Congrats on two years. Um... Those are dramatic changes to the balance of Mario Kart and they're just like, ah, it, it's gonna work out. We have high confidence we'll never have to touch this game again. There's apparently a, a subset of players who deliberately did poorly, racked up low place weapons, and then run toward the front. Uh, yeah, since college. That's what my friends did during Double Dash. That's a legitimate Mario Kart strategy. <laughs> yeah. So what? So what? They just they just they just patch that out. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> it's version three point zero point zero. Don't complain. We'll never change it back. That's crazy. You can still do that, but it will no longer give you top tier stuff like the blue shell and lightning. Yeah, well then, yeah. I mean, I guess you get red shells, but yeah, not worth it anymore. Can I get an Oya for finishing Mega Man Legends 2? Yeah, that's an easy Oya. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Just in time for them to announce three at the Game Awards. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You do that in Mario Kart 64 so you can get the lightning bolt for the big Wario Stadium gap. Oh man, my, I guess, yeah, I guess it's more like everybody on the floor. We would get really competitive with Double Dash. Um, and unfortunately in that game, it was four player split screen. And so the guy with the lightning would wait until you were in mid air to drop you down. <laughs> It was brutal, man, but that was that's the game. That's the game. All right. Designer fake. Thanks for being a 19 monster. I believe the next Mario Kart will be called Mario Kart 9. I think when you come out hot with a game like Mario Kart 8 and it sells better than anything has ever sold in this entire damn franchise, uh there's no reason to change the title.
Huh, that's weird. Peachet really does... Oh, I guess... No, no, no. It's actually not that different. It's pretty much the same model, but very different clothes. Huh. God, that's weird. Peachette is weird. Peachette is weird. Peachette never should have existed. It was before they were willing to make the commitment that they've made with Mario Wonder, where it's like, yeah, can't Peach just be a character? Can't you just play as Peach? The changes apparently targets players using reverse or stopping, but naturally behind players still get good items. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, that is one of the rules, right? You can't back up into an uh, item box now. You have to go Funky Kong. Yeah, I think we will. I think naturally we're going to gravitate back towards Birdo. But you don't pass up an opportunity for Funky Kong like this. Chat, do you notice any similarities between these two characters? <laughs> Actually, huge difference. A huge difference. Uh, talk about lats. Look at look at Funky Kong's neck. Look at Donkey Kong's shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traps. You're right. I learned the wrong word. Lats is muscles on your arms, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traps. Traps. Ew. Chat, can I tell you something? We haven't, we haven't really started the stream or anything, you know what I mean? I haven't grabbed my coffee yet. We're, we're not, like, officially going. We're just warming up here. Um... I don't like Diddy Kong. I don't like his little tank top. I don't like his hat that says Nintendo on it. I don't like this guy. <laughs> lats are your back wings. These, So these are your lats. These are your lats. Got it. Thanks, chat. I got to learn my muscles. If I'm ever going to become a sculptor, I got to know what they're called. Uh, Weak Leaf. I love doing E3 re rewatch videos. I feel like it always has to be motivated. So it would take like another upload from um, uh, No Clip or an anniversary or something. I like doing that. Like this is the anniversary of when they showed this for the first time. Otherwise, we'll just burn through them all really fast, you know? Eyes way too big, threatening even. Yeah, they're like, um, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog eyes. No gap. All right, so let's go with Funky Kong just for the time trials. When it's time to compete, when we set up our tournament, you know what? This is really good for Funky Kong. It is. I'll go back to Birdo. Um, all right, so let's look at our new tracks here. It's these eight right here. Rome Avanti, DK Mountain. Talking about electrocuting you and making you drop. Um, Daisy Circuit. Daisy Circuit, I don't have a lot of memories of. Piranha Plant Cove. I don't know what that is. Local Luca, thanks for being a 32 monther. Can I get an Oya oh for getting a promotion at work and treating myself to a Mario OLED switch to celebrate? Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's sweet. Piranha Plant Cove is new? Original track. Cool. Madrid Drive. That'll be new to me. 
Rosalina's Ice World is apparently a, a Mario Kart 7 track. I have no memory of it. It looks nice, though. I like that you got a little planetoid in the background there. And the central fixture of the spaceship at the, at the, uh, the hub of the game. Bowser Castle 3, I think that's like a Game Boy Advance or Super Nintendo remake. And Rainbow Road from Wii. Oh, it's t shit. It says right there, SNES. Rainbow Road from Wii. And then, yeah, Piranha Plant Cove having no denotation there obviously implies it's a brand new track. Cool. <laughs> My media literacy, bro. All right, let's see what these are about. All right, I'm just learning now that Piranha Plant Cove is on Mario Kart Tour. I've just been updated with some <laughs> new intel. This uh, Chain Chomp, oh, there are two of them, aren't there? Down there in the Coliseum is really cool. Well presented, I like that. A little shortcut through here, very nice. Oh, it's bad shortcut, bad shortcut. You have mushrooms, sure. All right, here's one thing I do have just generally hated about the cities. It's the same damn Shy Guys, Yoshis, and Toads. As if this entire world is just populated by these three freaks. All right. Ooh, that's fun. Sorry, we'll check it out. I didn't give this fountain its fair uh, attention. Oh, nor this statue, dude. I'm just flying through this shit without uh, really appreciating the locale. Shit, you can't really... What's funny about the way the camera works is you can't really appreciate those things up close at all. Ew. Oh god, look at this model. Alright, I think it was best driven by quickly. <laughs> Pizza! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> if you say so. You know what? Uh, this motorcycle with uh, Funky Kong is working really well. We're getting our power slides in, baby. I like it. This isn't bad at all. Should we let this be Funky's night? Now hold on a damn minute. Was there an actual option to go the other way? No. So if you go up the stairs to the left, you're going to have to turn. Sorry, if you go up the stairs on the right side, you got to turn left really quick. Yeah, look how fast he turns. I thought the drawback from motorcycles is that they're fast, but hard to power slide. Oh, shit. Hey, why does Funky sound like that? I think he did on the Wii version, too. He sounds like a little monkey. He does not sound like a gorilla. Oh, dude, and then you drive through the Coliseum at the end? That's cool as hell. Obviously, we got to check those little side routes over here. Okay, 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 okay. So they won't let you go up there, but that's what we did on that first lap. Cool. Funky gorillas sound different. Okay. Uh, of the city tracks, this one's pretty good. I just noticed the Monty Mole down there. That was pretty sweet. 
<laughs> sounded like he was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's nice. That's actually that's actually a pretty nice track. Have you ever watched the Donkey Kong Country TV show? Yeah. It was on like a ABC Family. That's where I've seen the most of it. Then I would watch clips afterward. I got the DVDs. But I've never done myself the favor of watching them all. We've sung the songs. We've definitely sung the songs here on uh, on twitch.tv slash Kyle Bossman. Happy birthday, Trios. Um, like, um... I'm a metal head, a metal head, a metal head, metal head. <laughs> there's like, there's like a song where Donkey Kong is turning into a robot. And he's like, I'm a metal head, a metal head, a metal head, a metal head. That's, that song's awesome. Yeah, if anyone's got that clip, we can listen to that part. Is that also the one where Diddy Kong's like, you got a problem, big buddy. <laughs> is that the same one? I think so. <laughs> yeah, that song is cool, dude. I think it was just kind of normal at the time to have a kid's show with songs. What are you doing if your kid's show doesn't have songs? Is that really you? Who else would it be? Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? <laughs> Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. <laughs> Once more, once more. Is that really you? Who else would it be? Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? <laughs> Alright, but wait till we get to this fucking chorus. Wait till we get to the chorus. They fuck it. This, this is actually a good song. I must admit I feel a little strange. Get there, come on. I don't shit. The chorus is coming. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I'm not light on my feet, now I plank and I squeak. But my voice is the same when I speak. My hand look Get to the chorus, god damn it! <laughs> Angel Yeah, 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 that's the good shit. I'm a middle head, a middle head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song's cool as hell. Tell your lovers and friends. Is there something you want to tell me, big buddy? <laughs> No, don't tell me they stole from Daft Punk. Don't even tell me that. I actually, Chad, I think there's a mashup. I think I've even heard a mashup of Around the World and Metalhead. <laughs> KBS Big Buddy. <laughs> DK Cannon. All right, does the GameCube version just have a big sign that says DK Cannon? A lot of these fresh remasters are just like on the mobile game, right?
Oh my god, this is such a beautiful Mario Kart track. This is what Mario Kart's all about. Shit, sorry about that. What do you think about this music? I think it's not quite right, bro. A rare miss for Mario Kart music. Oh yeah, and this bridge at the end? Hell yeah. This is a beaut. Is he saying Yosha? <laughs> oh my gosh, what a beautiful track. Seeing the distance there is so nice. I was playing with it. I was playing with it. I was playing with it. I thought I'd get under. So there aren't a lot of uh, excellent double dash tracks that are not yet implemented, right? You know which one I liked was the um, Dino Park. Get a big old Pontosaurus. Dino Dino Canyon was the name of it. Yeah, that's a good one. Iconic. <laughs> wow! Actually, what do you think happens if you hit those DK barrels? Normally, you'd get a little Diddy Kong. Let's try to hit one. Maybe something good will happen. Oops, sorry about that. All right, uh, nothing bad happens. It wasn't anything good, but nothing bad happens when you hit those barrels. You get a little buddy. <laughs> such a funny thing to say to a friend. Is there something you want to tell me, big buddy? Disney Pixar's Up for PSP has been rated for PS4 and PS5 in Korea. Probably an upcoming PS Plus premium update. I cannot believe they keep doing this shit with PSP games that have obviously better PS3 versions. Like Toy Story 3. Or like Tekken, the, what was it, like Tekken Resurrection, right? It's like, oh, dude, they're putting Tekken on there? It's like, yeah, it's the PSP version. Yeah, you're right, even when one games have better PS2 versions, it's crazy. Yeah, they're having issues with the PS2 emulator still. I'm sorry, we, we said this is from 3DS? Oh, I like the, how th uh, thin the track gets there. This is from Wii, okay. Shit. Yeah, I barely remember it, bro. I do remember the fucking statue with Luigi and Daisy and feeling like it, it just doesn't feel right. There's something fucked up about it. And I know it's not like a romantic depiction. They're just like dancing. Yeah, there it is. And there's Baby Daisy and Baby Luigi. The pairing doesn't work for me. Not even as, not even as friends. It's, it's hard for me to believe that Daisy and Luigi are friends.
Oh yeah, this gorilla is having a good time. Yeah, same mistake I made last time. Tighter than you think. Daisy deserves to be alone? Wait, do you mean that in a nice way? What do you mean she deserves to be alone? <laughs> Pedestrian take, exactly. Um, alright, not much to say about that. I don't have a lot of nice things to say about that track, honestly. It's not a believable city. <laughs> the centerpiece is a big statue of Luigi dancing with Daisy. And then also Baby Daisy dancing with Baby Luigi. Yeah, you know what? I don't like that track. That was not worth bringing back. I usually like Luigi, but after playing Luigi's Mansion 3, I kind of got sick of his shit. Like, what are you scared of anymore, man? You've done this ghost thing three times already. It's actually what I love about Luigi. I'm, uh, I'm still scared of the dark. You know what? That was nice music. That music did fit. Netflix nabbed Hades and Braid for their mobile program 2024. Chad, imagine playing fucking Hades on your phone. <laughs> I feel like they just don't get it sometimes, bro. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna have to charge this bad boy. Hey, at least that didn't happen online. Honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't even, I'm not even using the uh, Switch Pro. I'm using my 8-bit, uh, though. There we go. You can snap a controller onto phones now. Still, that game is already about a little dinky person. Dinky graphics. I like that PD uh, mosaic. That was cool. In the world of this track, PD Piranha has some sort of historical significance. Yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's a pretty cool track. Yeah, there was another uh, little PD Piranha sculpture back there, too, actually. I like it. This is cool. Shit, we could have gone the high road. Risky. Did not pay well. So can you go? Yes! Okay, 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 okay. There's another PD sculpture. Ooh. This is nice. I know chat loves the ninja den. But this is maybe my favorite, favorite, uh, 
additional Mario Kart Tour track. Weak ending, weak finish. I didn't love that final lap, but yeah, that's pretty nice. Ninja Track is overrated, not well suited for 8's physics. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. Whereas this has like kind of nice, like, I, you know, basically the only thing I really want to do in Mario Kart is, is just like power slide. You know what I mean? Like just take really nice turns and stuff like that. I feel like there was a lot of that in that track. And honestly, kind of nice theming. <laughs> a whole track dedicated to the history of PD Piranha. That's cool. The bathroom is up there too. Let me grab that coffee before we go to Madrid. And then the stream can start. I wish you could see his expression. Mucho puts up with a lot of my shit, you know? But then sometimes he's just not in the mood. <laughs> sometimes he's just not up for it. So that was one of those instances. Bowser's Castle 3, the best. Rosalina's Ice World, the worst of, of Wave 6, you say. Chess had 96 tracks in the game right now. That's just wild. How do we remember them all? Korea's <laughs> Churros. I like the music. Woo! This is cool. This courtyard out here. Cool. So that's just a theater. Currently showing the Shy Guy Parade. Zam out here? Oh my god. Hit the brakes. So nice. Chad, is this original art? put a texture on or was this made for this track I promise you it's not AI art that's a, that's a personal promise from me can we do this check in the mod nation racers as well <laughs> no I don't really want to do a check in for mod nation racers I'm good yeah like sometimes they create seasonal art like this for like a uh, promotional uh, mailers and stuff like that. So maybe it's from that. Still very cool. Enemy cube. Thanks for being a 14 monther. Yeah, that was sweet. The horns go away while you're in the museum. That is so cool. Great detail. Some 
marketplace. Giant. A marketplace for giants. This scale is so fucked. <laughs> I'm such a tiny little baby gorilla in this world. <laughs> That's my number, chat. That is my number one request for Mario Kart 9. Accurate scaling. <laughs> this is a preview of my YouTube video. <laughs> the one thing the Mario Kart franchise lacks is accurate scaling. Here's why that's important. Steen, thank you for gifted five gift subs. All right, now we're taking right here. Oh, this is so nice. I think we took a right there last track. We did. Left. We didn't take this left before. How about this? Sure. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's a beautiful reveal there. Cool. Into the stadium? Oh my god. And the music changes in here too. A bunch of Goombas hanging out in Kuribo's shoe. Yeah, this is cool. Chat, do they like soccer in Madrid? Other than accurate scaling, how can Mario Kart 9 do something different to differentiate itself from the other Mario Karts? So you think accurate scaling wouldn't be enough of a sell? By the way, that's a good track. Uh, some of the city tracks are, are boring. Uh in terms of actual, like, uh, being a racetrack. This was fun. It was a fun trip through the city. You know what I mean? We got some landmarks in there, but also just a fun go-kart track. That was nice. There's a green toad in that artwork, which is usually an original toad from the app called Line similar to WhatsApp, so it might be from that, since they used to post original and parody art there often. Whoa. And maybe those mobile teams would uh, share assets? That's wild. So green toad is a special toad, is something I learned today. Um. All right, so I mean, the gimmick of Mario Kart 8 is anti-gravity. And it's so unimportant to the success of this game. You know what I mean? So I bet there's going to be some sort of like sub gimmick like that, but it's like, you know, inconsequential in the end. <laughs> 10 times gravity. You just go super slow. <laughs> Gallery of the Line Toad. You hate coins? What do you mean you hate coins? See, this isn't doing it for me. This is not our guy. This is crazy. So Nintendo made custom wallpapers for the specific app? That's just wild. Yeah, you can see the line work is very different. But fair enough. Yeah, this green toad is all over this place. Kinopio kun in the style of costume Mario from Super Mario Maker. That's a special toad. The art seems to be from the Japanese Instagram. Oh, yeah. Bingo, that's a match. There it is. 
So it was like a promotional artwork that they put a nice painter filter on. They experimented with a digging mechanic for eight, according to interviews. How'd you feel about that for nine? Uh, I didn't. I mean, drill is my least favorite Mario Wonder power up. I don't. I don't. I don't see how that could work. Digging. Rosalina's Ice World. Chat says it's the worst. All right, so Chad, I'm really trying to rack my brain on something that I think would be fundamentally interesting to do while you are racing. And I'm thinking of like, maybe like, um, oh yeah, there's that little planetoid back there. So cool. I'm thinking maybe like, um, High skill or uh, maybe just randomized uh, shortcuts where it's like uh, you got a grappling hook, right? And if you aim it and shoot it at the right time, you could take this ramp. But if you miss your shot, you, you know, you're going to do bad. So, yeah, like some sort of like, um, like a kind of mechanic, a little mech transformation <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that makes it more fun parry is parrying would be really really fun if you could parry shells that would be so sweet did they remove the penguins i saw some penguins <laughs> yeah just give me a web shooter yeah so, so there's penguins around And Kinyokun. Oh, on the track itself. Yeah, they're gone. It's funny. I love Mario Kart 3DS. I don't remember any of this track. Oh, you can go down here. Cool. There we go. I saw a penguin down there. Here they are. Yeah, I bet a track like this makes the Crash Team Racing developers lose their damn minds. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, do you know how much detailed work we put into our tracks? What is this shit? Do you know how hard we worked? Naughty Dog? Sorry. Crash Team Racing refueled. How'd I make that the first time? I don't know. Who is Crash? Crash Bandicoot. Iconic video game character owned by the Microsoft Corporation. Ooh! Captain Toad's ship! Why is Kunio Kun on top of Captain Toad's ship? What's happening there? <laughs> Mutiny, okay. <laughs> Fair response. Board Yard, thanks for being a 16-monther. Wicked excited for my new Amarug plush to sit, Amarogue, Amarogue plus to sit along my Gosiolod pot plush. My two favorites. Now hold on, Armarogue? Armarogue the Digimon Pokemon is one of your absolute favorites. Huh. I honestly thought nobody liked that guy. I thought it was an absolute whiff. Chat says good pick. Huh. And chat says it is Rouge. Armor Rouge. Okay, my bad.
That's a Digimon. If we cracked this in a Pokemon card pack, I, like we'd have to call it a people. Now, uh, uh, Golisopod? That, that's like the best ever bug Pokemon. I'm 100% there with you. Am I cracking packs soon? I think we're waiting on Digimon to finally make a good set again. Digimon's been coasting for a long time. Boost music for the next course, okay. The designer loves Mega Man and has made official Mega Man comics. All right, fair enough. Clear inspiration. It's like an EXE. It does feel like a Mega Man EXE kind of thing. BT14 coming out on the 17th is good. Chat, promise me. Promise me Agumon is not on the cover. love when he pulls up the surfboard. Oh, this is a beautiful remake. That's so cool looking. And if you're super hardcore, you can ride the rails there. There's Digimon I haven't seen before in the new set. Okay, that's a good sell. It's honestly a great sell. Yeah, the music's nice. I'm gonna try to ride the railing here. Shit. Oh, and there are little boost pads on there too. Chat on a whim, I watched the uh, Metalocalypse movie. I actually really loved it. I've been not keeping up with Metalocalypse. Like, I've completely missed the entire third season. Fourth, maybe? I love that, like, Cartoon Network is like, yeah, let's just conclude that entire series with one movie. Same thing with Venture Bros. I'm way into that. Shit. All right, no, 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 I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. That shortcut on the walls is so fun. Yeah, I gotta nail it. I wonder how you, how do you, maybe you gotta go like a little wider here. The latest Aqua Teen movie didn't make you laugh once. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That I wouldn't be as into, because a big thing with uh, Venture Bros and Metalocalypse, obviously they're comedies. But both of them, and this is something that like I really appreciate, is that both of them, um, yeah, cared deeply about their lore, had had running through lines and ultimate goals with their narratives, right? And so, like, that's why, it's, to me, it's meaningful that they were able to conclude. Aqua Teen, you can't watch, you can't get me to watch a movie about that. Kovalik's got an, oh yeah. Can I get an oh yeah? I just got back from a three week trip to Ireland and I can finally start what I've thought about since the day I left Spider-Man 2. Oh, that's a huge oh yeah. Oh yeah. For Ireland. You did you made the right call. We don't skip trips for video games. No, I just turned it down a lot. I didn't mute it. Come on, chat. No 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 no, we just did that one. Chat, you know I don't like double bass.
You know, I don't like that kind of drumming. What about triple bass? Is there such a thing? How do you slam that third pedal? Oh my god, it's so glittery. I guess that's a criticism I've had about the DLC packs is a lot of it seems like they were just kind of added with no rhyme or reason. You know what I mean? Uh, we got this shit hanging out from the Mario Kart tour. It is nice to end on a rainbow road. This does have a certain conclusiveness to it. But... It's, uh, it's a worse Rainbow Road than the 3DS one they already added. This is a soft Rainbow Road, dude. The glitter is nice. The visual effects are nice. I think you used to be able to boost. Yeah, I think we could boost all the way across those gaps if we had mushrooms. Double Dash Rainbow Road did not make it. Double Dash Rainbow Road is mid, says chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're the boss. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was not hitting those. All right, let's see if this works. Ah! Shit. Maybe the second one works. N64 Rainbow Road is mid. <laughs> I like this. Uh, when I bought Mario Kart Wii, it came with the plastic steering wheel. It was, it was that was a non-optional purchase. You needed to perform a trick to get across. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. So mushroom plus trick to get across that gap. Just a trick? Yeah, right. Yeah, right, chat. Dreamt about poker last night. Have I been corrupted? Honestly, I got a hankering. I got a hankering for more poker. Chad, we got to the we got to the casino in the man who erased his name last night. <laughs> we went two hours overtime, <laughs> just gambling my little heart away. All right, all right, all right. One trick, and we're gonna get all the way across this. No, that's not me. That's not me. No, no, no. I forgot how. To, I I obviously used a mushroom. You can see that. Okay, okay, shit. I can't, I can't think about how to do a trick. It's R1, bro. Oh my god. That's so weird. So, so much of Mario Kart is automated to me at this point. If you asked me what button is trick, I couldn't tell you. That's just wild. 
All right, here we go. So let's do a little one here. Obviously, we're not at max speed. We're going to hit that on lap two. There's no way, though. Chat, there's no way. Shake the controller. Okay, chat. So do you do the trick as you launch off the ramp and you you cross the entire gap? Are you dead serious with me right now, chat? Tilt the guitar for star power. Dang. That's a fine reference. When people talk about Guitar Hero and how great it was and how much they miss it and they hope that Microsoft brings it back, uh, I think they forget you had to tilt the controller for star power. It's mid-gap for the trick. You can't do a trick mid-gap. There was a button too? The whammy bar? Shit. Yeah, I was too late on that one. Stop saying use the half pipe. Chat says that I can simply get across an entire thing if I just do a trick. Chat says. All right, so like, watch this. Right here, we do a trick, right there. You're saying if I do that on those circles, I'll, I'll close the entire gap. One of these, little, up, uh, up. Uh, like one of those is gonna get a little one of that. That's gonna get us across that whole thing. Yeah, it's bogus. 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 It's bogus, it's always been bogus. No cookies and cream, chat was just completely wrong about that. Yeah, maybe it's the way. Maybe you had to pull out the surfboard. <laughs> Boost plus trick? No. No, 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 no. My chat said just trick. My chat said just trick. How many tracks will they have on day one on disc for Mario Kart 9 for you to be satisfied? Um, same thing. One, uh, 12. New tracks, 12 classic tracks. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. You mean 16? I guess I do mean 16. Excuse me. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. All right. Let's bring back the old Jeb Doobie cup. Oh, no. I got to start a new cup. Okay. 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 Let me set this up. I gotta, I gotta like this image that just hangs out there. I couldn't find a high-res image of that logo. I had to take a photograph on my own damn phone. And it still doesn't look great. Uh, create a tournament. Excuse me. So I gotta delete my old tournaments. Please delete one of your existing tournaments. Yeah, how do I do that? Teach me how to delete. Oh, there it is. Delete Hong Kong from the server. Bye-bye, Hong Kong. <laughs> Chad, I think my, like, stomach acid is getting to, like, ridiculous high toxicity. You know what I mean? I just drizzle a little coffee on top, and it, like, it turns into... The Joker's acid factory down there. I don't think vegetables fixes that. Is this good quality? Let me see. Uh, 
Uh, it's not bad. But it's like you can still you can still tell it's still like uh here I'll show chat too. Like up resed in bad ways, you know what I mean? It's still kind of grody. And then obviously the box is damaged, but I think that's still cool. Stomach acid and heartburn. Welcome to the 30s. Yeah. I'm going to get an upper endoscopy done. I agree, BT. Pull me in. Drop the tube. More broccoli. <laughs> Chat, I love broccoli. I love broccoli. I like it. It's it's not going to fix shit. You do? I do. I actually do. All right, 150 cc, no teams, items. We're going to go. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, let me change the rules. Oh, my God. That is so annoying. You are so annoying for this. I got to make a new tournament. Uh, so I'll show you, I'll show you what happened, chat. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Just use room IDs. Ah, uh, I kind of like doing the tournament. It's fun. I like it. <coughs> so that cough right there, that's just because I burped up some bile, f bile, dude. Some vile bile. Um. All right, so here's here's what's up. We're going to do no squids. It's the only item I'm turning off. Everything else is on the table. No, fuck you, god damn it. God damn it, obviously I was just saying which items I wanted. Shit, I gotta make a new tournament. Don't go there, don't go to that tournament. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> like, obviously, I was just saying these are the items I would like in the tournament. It's like, okay, tournament started. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. These clowns at Nintendo, they don't know how to make a, 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 a UI. You know what I mean? They don't know how to make a menu. These clowns. And uh, yeah, I yeah yeah yeah. I will enable go or uh, AI carts. Absolutely. If Nintendo allows me to access all of the options within the options menu without just initiating the tournament by accident. By the way, once the tournament begins, you cannot change the settings anymore. <laughs> My God, that is so annoying. You're stupid for this. You're stupid for this. Okay. Uh Custom items. No squids. Okay. Yep. So the proper thing to do, back there where I was setting up those squids, the proper thing to do is select the no squids and then press the B button. No, that's fucked up. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Vehicles, all vehicles, smart steering. Yeah, if you want it, bring it on. Frequency, fixed period. Start date today at uh, 7 p.m. Yeah, that works for us. End date, tomorrow. Sure, whatever. Uh, we like to do 12 races, one for every new track in the game. Every fourth match, we shuffle. Player rating, any rating. Public, private. Open to everyone. Nah, code required. Chat only. But I don't think, I don't think, I don't, I don't think people just hop into chat's tournament and bother chat, right? Code required. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Chat only. Here we go. These Clowns is the name of the tournament. The code is 46897623003003. I had a streamer I watched once overtaken by a Japanese group that was clearly talking to each other. How do you know they were talking to each other? All right, so ignore one last toxic night. Do not join no, 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 no. These clowns is the proper tournament. <laughs> join these clowns? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will. Meow. <laughs> If you have low-fat milk yogurt, it can help a little with acid reflux. See, that seems like a legitimate good tip to me. I, I would believe that would uh, seep into your stomach and just kind of like microbially eat away at the acidity. Uh, Woof. Tough choices here. Uh, I should have done random. You're right. That would be the right call. Everybody else made that call. Look at this. Everyone else is like, yeah, let's go random. Here we go. We're going random. What is it? <laughs> the cheese one? Fine. Fine. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to be seeing people from chat in this game. It's worth it. Let's go, Birdo. We've got a Pauline ahead of us. I like the uh, shimmer of her uh, racing uniform. Uh, you know what I want more than anything, and this is like only if Mario Kart 8 failed, right? If if the if the ser franchise needed to be redesigned, there would be intense narratives between each track, running through lines. It would be about this. The, it'd be like the story of like how Waluigi gained the trust and respect of Mario. You know? Ooh, that was close. Just under the chin, bro. Man, those things do pop back up really quick. Yeah, effing someone over while they're taking a shortcut is really, really rude. That was on me. I shouldn't do that to chat. Beautiful shortcut. Yeah. 
That's a beauty. This is nice for if uh, the blue shell comes our way. That's super nice. Fucking ghost. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> It's just like, I'll be taking that. Okay, great. All right. Don't mind if I do. Shit, I'm missing the coins and that uh, little peg. Somebody just took that extremely good shortcut. Congrats, RJ. We're happy with second with the blue shell on our butts. Okay, we're happy with second. We're happy with that. <laughs> yeah, um, that shortcut is uh, unusually nasty. That, actually, that's a huge advantage if you're able to get the mushroom to take you over to that ramp. <laughs> okay, let's go to London, shall we? Is this a good camera spot for Mario Kart, by the way? I think it's I think it's the ideal spot for the camera. But uh if you told me to put it in another spot, I definitely would. You block your placement? Oh holy shit, that's the most important thing. That's all you that's all you actually care about. So maybe up here. <laughs> He's first, believe me. Okay. We were in first for almost a full lap on that last one. Because we took the nasty shortcut and then RJ took the nasty shortcut on our, on us. <laughs> Hello to man. Load them in. I will earn your respect, Mario. You will respect me. Yeah, right. You're such a clown. You know, something like that. Imagine that. Can I? No fucking way you can. Almost, almost. Kyle, dude, that's bad manners. I know, I was I was just mad. Well done, Bio Force. So I think we should have dragged ass a little bit at the beginning of that shortcut to properly optimize it. It doesn't come back to you if you throw it backwards, bro. <laughs> Fucking Yoshi. Oh fuck, it wasn't hiding my placement in the upper right hand corner. That person was just dumb and wrong. Pa placements in the lower right hand corner. Camera in the upper left is hiding what items I have. Fuck you, Diddy. Funny. 
Okay. Hides my placement. Get over yourselves, chat. Tooks! Thanks for being a 35 monther. Yeah, I'm happy with fifth. That was such a bad race. It was such a bad race. I'm happy to end that with fifth, honestly. Did I see the new me costumes? No, I don't like them. If you could wear them here, it would be really cool. But generally, like, the idea of wanting to be yourself in this world full of Mario characters is insane to me. Every iconic Mario character in their whole Mario universe, and you're like, but I want to be me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty great. <laughs> sure. Me and Smash. Same thing. All these characters. <laughs> the greatest characters in video game history. And you're like, but what about me? <laughs> what about me, though? All right. Welcome in, you. I think that was actually a pretty good use of the speaker box. Oh shit, I thought that was a blue shell. Yeah, those pop back in so fast. Go ahead. Your shit, your shit. Oh no, <laughs> I heard it, I heard it. Why is there always fucking a star on my butt, dude? Damn. Okay, all right, shit. All right, fuck you. God damn it. That fireball was going backwards, dude. Shit. Honestly, could have been a worse finish. Honestly, could have been worse. <laughs> Honestly, I, I feel like we did pretty good there with shit items. Yeah, that was not bad. That was intense focus. That was not bad. Oh, you know what? I really don't want to go here. I always fucking lose at Calamari Desert. I always lose there. From 10th to 4th in 10 feet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's crazy, man. You excited for Super Mario RPG next week? Ah, we're streaming it. We're definitely streaming it on Friday. I'm a little scared, honestly. My fear is that it will come off as being dry. Ooh, okay. I like the call going random. That's fun. I think this is our last race, yeah, with the current crew, and then it's going to shuffle. Uzi, I'm thinking about playing a little more poker tonight. I got a hankering. 
so yeah, I guess uh, to me, a one-to-one -one remake with the exact same perspective and the exact same moves and the exact same leveling up, the exact same monsters, everything's the exact same, isn't that exciting. I'm really happy the game exists for anybody who hasn't played that game before. It means, like, Geno's gonna happen. You know what I mean? People are gonna understand why Geno is a cool little puppet. That shoots lasers. Ooh, this is tight. Look at these dudes. Damn. That was a nasty little Yoshi move. Good God. Bro. Threw the shell in my butt. Sam, you're shit, bro. That was shit. <laughs> just happily just tossing bananas in my face. Okay. Alrighty. It's intense out here. It's intense. I don't know if that paid off. Shit. Starman alert is my least favorite fucking sound effect in this whole game. Shit. Fuck all of you guys. What are you doing? What are you, you saw I had shells around me. <laughs> don't fucking run into me. <laughs> What are you thinking? Oh shit, that ghost stole my shit. God damn it, you fucking ghost. Oh my god. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a star man behind you, look out. Not a good time for star. Almost, almost, we almost took that ditty. We almost took that ditty. Damn. Damn. Oh. We almost took that ditty. Toxic Kyle coming out slowly. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if it's that slow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how slow that was. All right, so now it's refreshing us. We're going to... Oh, no. One or more of the consoles is not responding. Chat, fix your consoles, would you? Join these clowns? Yeah. I actually like Birdo with this hog. This is nice. Which MK has more violence, toxicity, and rage? Mario Kart or Mortal Kombat? Mario Kart. Ooh, we're joining a small team here. Small crew. This is the runoff crew. <laughs> yeah, chat, we got time. I got to spectate this. So if you, if you want to Google Birdo's hog, you have plenty of time. You got Bing. Yeah, look, we got time. <laughs> we, we, we <laughs> Actually, that wasn't too bad. That was the third lap. That wasn't too bad. That could have been worse. <laughs> oh, and this actually filled up a bit since uh, that race ended. Cool. Shroom Ridge DS? Sure.
You're right. I'm. <laughs> what sucks is like some people just have their actual names in here, right? So I really did just say, fuck you, Sam. <laughs> I said, Sam, you're shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that is, you know, that's the problem. With attaching your actual name to your Switch account. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <coughs> chain link fence rising. Chain link fence? The chain lifting the gate. Fair trade. Uh, it's cool to see a comic out there. I like that. Kamek. Oh. There we go. Shit. Wow. If you see a Birdo with three green shells rotating around her body, respect her. Don't run into the Birdo. Holy shit. Yeah, a lot of racers playing with fire out there. They say, I got a one in three shot of that shell actually hitting me. I'm going to take my chances here. Gamblers. Degenerate gamblers in my chat. Okay, ultimate focus right here. We're in third. We got our butt protected. We have an offensive weapon, but I'm not going to pull it out. I'm going to keep my butt protected. We'll see if this pays off. Nah. Offense. I see you, little Yoshi. I see what you got. Shit. RJ's freaking me out over here. Oh shit, wrong way, wrong way. Go, Birdo, go, Birdo, go, Birdo, go, Birdo. Okay, 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 we'll take third. We'll take third. Whew. We'll take it. We'll take it. Damn it, now I got Metalhead in my head. I'm a Metalhead, a Metalhead. Yeah, that's a good song. Legit good song. Damiani disliked my me? What is the story? Damiani saw, street passed my me and disliked it because it was sad. Shabello, I'm not going to acknowledge that question. He told you this during a Q&A. That's so funny. No, this is before he knew it was me. So what's crazy is early game trailers. I'm I'm only work for GTTV, the TV show. Hey, hey, nice. Uh, and so my regular communication with the game trailer staff is low. And a lot of them didn't know me. Damiani, Brandon Jones, didn't know me. I was cubicle neighbors with Bloodworth, so he knew who I was. 
He saw what I was Googling. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Let's just say Bloodworth knows how to keep secrets. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see this. This is chaos. <laughs> Did you see that fucking shy guy just fall off the side? Damn. <laughs> that was good. It's always fun when it happens to someone other than you. Okay, bros. Oh shit, I didn't mean to throw that. Yeah, we actually like this. Watch this shit. Too slow. Damn. I thought I could catch up to this crew and slam them. I, I'm mashing again. I'm getting careless. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. You're all right. Good save, Birdo. Good save, Birdo. That pink gold peach got so effed. I feel so bad for that pink gold peach. She had just coming up, come up from like the ramp, like Lakitu just lifted her up, and then she got fucking crushed by a green shell just because I was passing over. Like instantly on spawn. That was rough. <laughs> we'll take it. You know what? I'm happy for a nice, simple toad circuit right now. That was absolute insanity. <laughs> that was crazy back there. No, I didn't know Nathan Fielder's new show is out yet. I was just telling chat yesterday, like, I will, I will subscribe to Showtime for a new Nathan Fielder drama. It's out tomorrow. Okay. I don't know what PGP stands for. What does that mean? What does it mean to be PGP? It's out now. I watched it yesterday. Damn. Okay. Pink gold peach. Oh, no. You were in first the whole time and you ended up with 10. Yeah, you just got effed. The very nature of Mario Kart. That was some good boomerang. Somebody's ready for Suicide Squad. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you know what? I saw I saw the banana. It's 100% on me. I did not think I would land on the banana. I got no one to blame but myself. Ooh, look at that little shortcut. Yeah, that might be nice. This is a nice track, too. Musically. Race track? Not too bad either, actually. Ooh, good drafting, good drafting. All right, what do we do here? I think offense, okay. And then a little bit of this. Shit. <laughs> yeah, great shortcut, Birdo. Mm. 
little butt protection. We love it. Blue DSK went wide on that turn. A little wide. Fuck you! God damn it! The one fucking god damn it! Oh my god! Holy shit, that sucked. Yeah, I saw you tossing bananas at me. Get fucked, Donkey Kong. Stay back there. I saw you toss those bananas at me when you could have been trying to get first. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> That's how you get past. My God, we had that win. Chat, that was the one power. You know what I mean? If they threw a red shell at me, I'm well protected. If they had uh, fireballs, I'm like, I got it. I got a second secondary butt protection. But it was the fucking speaker. Wrecked me. Wrecked me. That's Mario Kart, man. That's rough. Part of the game. Um, I think this is our last race with the secondary crew, and then we're going to shuffle again. Yep. One more shuffle. It's not too late to join the tournament, by the way, if you want to get in on this. The code is uh, tagged at the top of chat. Oh, good shit. Yeah, fucking right. Damn. I mean, at least we got to use it on that peach who passed us. Shit. Going really wide on this. This fucking Metal Mario, dude. Damn. My rival. You gotta be shitting me. How has he not touched the banana? <laughs> Metal Mario is impervious to banana, I'm convinced. Keep the defense. Keep the defense. Great fucking bomb throw. That was good shit. Damn. That's how you use that thing. <laughs> fucking doggy gone. Yeah, I was helpless against that bomb. That was so sweet. Yeah, I don't think we can really optimize these mushrooms too well. Oh, here we go, here we go. There's a fucking star man behind you. Yeah, I, there always is, game. Thank you. That's your fault. You do that. Okay, so I think I always get F'd by doing a trick. On that second ramp. Shit. <sighs> oh, that's tough. That fucking Metal Mario, dude, would not touch the banana. And he didn't respect the banana. That's what, that's what doubly makes me mad. He wouldn't fuck it. He was like, yeah, I'm going to bump up right up against you. I'm never touching that metal, that uh, that banana. I'm going to revisit the trailer checklist after TGA for delayed input. Uh, maybe in the new year. It is really funny to look at in hindsight. Still holding out hope for a trailer for new Nintendo hardware. 
You're spectating. Get ready. Okay. Let's see this crew here. Sheffield with 97 points. Good God. Is it canon that Mario's world is the same shape as Earth? The unfortunate canon is that Mario absolutely refuses to have canon. There's no fucking canon. Looney Tunes has more canon than Mario has. All right, let's go, Camacho. Win this, Camacho. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Camacho in 10th. Oh, this is this is the third lap. Okay, Camacho could still do this. God, look at the lighting in this game. It's really nice sometimes. All right, we got a tip for Camacho. Burning a mushroom before a ramp is not ideal. Basically, once you're gliding, it's kind of a constant state of speed. Whether you're mushroomed or not. So it's basically like burning a mushroom. But Camacho beat that Diddy Kong. Most importantly, Diddy defeated. Oh, Daisy Cruiser. You don't have to ask me twice, dude. I do remember the Smash commercials the night, uh, sorry, the during TGA. Chat's talking about TGA at the Game Awards right now. That night when the, it was coming out the same night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had a couple of ads. Just hyping it up. Feel the event. Not a single race in Kyle's room. Damn, sorry, Rednar. Which is crazy, because we had some uh, overflow rooms. 112 for Sheffield. We're coming for that 112. <laughs> Bought my first Switch today. Excited. Hell yeah. Your first Switch. What are you starting with? What are you open with? Love to nuke Mario. Look how cool he looks up there. Shit. I played that wrong. Something good, Ghost. You know what? I'll take it. Early race, getting some coins. That's not bad. Shit. That piranha plant eating that coin was so cool. Ooh, did we get super lucky there with that fucking star peachet? <laughs> fucking Yoshi. Stop! Just stop! Stop warning me about star people behind me. <laughs> Just stop. Alright, I'll just go this way, dude. Fuck everyone else. Fuck them all. Sam, fuck you! God, 
I have not hit that turn right this entire race. What are those shells doing? Oh, it's an invisible. It's a ghost. Fuck you, fuck you. God damn it, fuck you. God damn it, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. You're just like, what do you do? What do you do? There's like some fucking invisible ghost with three red shells. And if you pass them, they're going to be mashing the red shells at you. What do you even do? What do you even do? <laughs> god damn it. Okay. All right, we'll go to chat server level. <laughs> I th honestly think the proper strat is to like hit your brakes and let them go ahead a little bit. Cause they are just gonna, they're gonna fucking mash the second you pass them. More yelling at Sam, please. <laughs> Streamer, could I get some more yelling at Sam? <laughs> I like this little baby Bowser in their Mercedes car. Sorry, Bowser Jr., excuse me. Baby Bowser, someone else entirely. Ooh, look at that refresh, so nice. It might be time to go offense. I'm just really worried about some red shell on my butt. You know? Alright, well, that Tanuki Mario made the decision easy for us. Ooh! Weaving through the fireballs. Here comes Birdo. RJ is a respectful opponent, will not throw that red shell behind him. RJ understands the importance of defense. It's a fucking uh, volcanic meteor. Took my shell away. Oh, RJ, that was such a classy move. I'm such a numbskull for falling for it. I thought for sure I was in second. Oh, fuck, stupid red shell. I got tricked by the oldest trick in the book. So because RJ took that path up there, I was like, oh man, I'm safe. That blue shell can't possibly hit. The fuck? I'm what the fuck? Fuck god damn it! Fuck god damn it! God damn it! Fuck you, blue shell! What the fuck? I was fuck you, god damn it! No, no, because everyone else crossed. Fuck it, you check the rewind! Fucking rewind it because everyone else crossed. Fuck that. No, obviously there was somebody in front of me. God damn it. Oh my god. Everyone else finished the race. God damn it. Holy shit. <laughs> My god. 
You know what? This place is nice, too. The, the uh, Athens, is that where we're going? Yeah, Athens Dash. Sam sends his regards. That was so fucked. So, okay, chat. Cl classic Mario Kart strategy, as old as the blue shell. If it's coming and you know it's coming, hit the brakes, let somebody else pass you, let them get slammed. That's what RJ did to me without me even realizing it. On that first lap, second lap. Classy move. I don't know what the fuck happened on that last lap. I was in fourth, you could see the person in third right in front of me, I'm safe as hell. And the shell's like, nah, I wanna take out this guy. <laughs> no, 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 I like this one more. Holy shit, that sucked. Oh, okay, we're going up. Shit. Why am I? I'm a, I'm a star man. How are these people are fucking passing me in their normal speeds? Ergo tax, dude. Man, the person in first must have really been in first. Dang. Excellent bomb. Really good use of that. There's a star man behind ya! Look out! Somebody's got a star! Oh my god, what?! How is that fucking possible?! God damn it! <laughs> you fucking game. You're out of your damn mind. This is so cool. That was the last lap. Shit. Shit. <laughs> that, that is the thing about those tracks is it's harder to keep track of like, oh, this is it. Unless you play them a bunch of times. Sorry, I had to blow my nose there. Obviously, Daisy Cruiser. Obviously, Daisy Cruiser. From Bandai, probably going to show Elden Ring DLC at TGA. They expect it to be out before April 2024. And chat was saying Elden Ring was debuted at the Game Awards? I don't think that's right. Sekiro, yes. Elden Ring? Really? Elden Ring was Microsoft E3 2019. I think that's right. We're talking the CG trailer. Where Melania is slapping that arm on. Summer Game Fest had a reveal as well, but I don't think it was the reveal. Playing it, playing it a little, a little safe there. Not fully trusting chat. What'd you say about boosting before a jump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. How the fuck, dude? How the fuck? You're killing me, game. <laughs> How'd that fucking hit me? It slipped through the green shell in my butt? Come on now. I'm 
still too cowardly to do it. I'm not brave enough. We all know I got one thing on my mind right now. Fuck you, Tatris! Fuck you! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> okay. My one chance at revenge. Ooh, this is bad for this level. Yeah, you know what? Take it, man. You don't want non-stop boost on Rainbow Road. Refresh is so nice. Damn it. Oop. Catch him used to mash him there. Hang in there, Birdo. Last stretch here, baby. Damn it, what? What? Figure it out, Birdo, what the fuck? Damn. Really tough finish there. I don't know. I don't know. Even, like, I, I can't even tell what hit me there, you know? Uh, what I did learn is you cannot throw the boomerang while you have the piranha plant out. Yeah, it was an awful race. <laughs> awful. You heard your name being yelled. It, Tatris, it was when uh, I had Sam fucking dead in my sights. I had two green shells rotating around my body. All I had to do was keep on pace. And then you just got a bullet bill. You're like, boop, boop, boop. Let me get a free little KO here. I wonder why they're making us spectate this. I think I'm out. I think I've played my maximum amount of races. <laughs> Sounds like chat got the same thing, too. All right. All right, we'll just watch Waluigi finish this race. Love the bike, Waluigi. There's more to me, Mario, than you will ever know. I contain multitudes. And if it takes winning this cup to prove that to you, then so be it! You know, there's something there. Sam Oag, thanks for being an 18 monther. Hey Kyle, can I get an oh yeah? Okay? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no problem. Oh my god, dude. That was- uh, I'm so happy to be done with Mario Kart 8. That's it. No more. Streaming this online multiplayer is a lot of fun. Smash Bros. 2, but it's been a long time on that one, for sure. Luke! Look at this! We never played this person once! <laughs> Sheffield one point above blue DSK. Mike and Gary, Ridnar, Zio, Shy Guy, Tatris, Honda Civic, Ickity Ackity, Bossman in 12th place. Not a hot night for your streamer. Not a hot night for your streamer. Smash night sometime for the fifth anniversary? That might be fun. <laughs> What, what about one more tournament? No, 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 no. I'm exhausted. 
I can't, I can't, like, that's bad for my blood pressure. <laughs> that shit makes me so mad. <laughs> um, you had to walk away several times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mario Kart. That's why I don't play online games. Your hands were shaking? I can't say I get to that level. I think one thing you have to accept with Mario Kart is like you have to uh, surrender control. Do you know what I mean? There's really only so much you can control about the scenario. You can get your power slides down. You can understand when to, when to start turning, right? But like you have to embrace the chaos and swear at it with all your throat. Rage containment is part of the fun. Yeah, when 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 was I talking about rage containment? <laughs> Will I check that replay of the blue show? Yeah, do you have it? If you got the clip, yeah, I'll check it out. There's a study recently that named Mario Kart as the number one most stressful game. That's funny. <laughs> Would Mario Kart be improved by Marvel Snap style emotes? Yeah. That's another thing I was thinking of is like uh, actual things to integrate in a sequel. <laughs> like I think like online progression and online interactivity wouldn't be a bad thing. Right now somehow like I am leveling up. I do have like a, a some invisible score. Um, actually, I think it's the amount of coins you've collected is the way they do this. But um, I I think Mario Kart could definitely benefit from a stronger online. But I mean, I mean, at the same time, Nintendo has no reason to make anything but exactly this game again. It's like I was saying, if like, oh yeah, if Mario Kart 8 failed, then yeah, let's think about how to rework this whole thing. But uh, this game is such an inexplicably massive success that like changing anything dramatically would be foolish, including online stuff. Yeah, I got this queued up. All right, so we're in seventh place. Sheffield, Tatris, another person ahead of me. Here we go. Fifth place fourth place third place blue shell coming what the fuck i'm what the fuck fuck god damn it god, god damn it god damn it fuck you blue shell what the fuck I okay all right all right so i do think here's what happened here's what actually happened when the blue shell makes its decision i am in first place on the track meaning third place when the blue shell makes its call. However, it makes its call way too damn early. This person passes me for a while. All right, so here we are. We're in third place right here, right? Blue shell's already decided I'm gonna fuck over this birdo. Donkey Kong passed? Yeah, that's bullshit. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Fuck you, blue shell! What the fuck? I will... <laughs> uh, highly anticipated. Thanks for being a 10 mother. You are a 10. I always love when I see a video uploaded by Kyle Bossman one hour after Sakurai's. I look forward to both of you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, Hylian. <laughs> Somebody yesterday called me their favorite comedian. I didn't know how to respond to it. All right. Uh, here's the finish line right here. Here's the two Donkey Kongs. 
who once they finish that finish line, the blue shell will only be interested in me. Neither of them have passed yet. Maybe first has passed now. Right now, it's obviously going for that second Donkey Kong. He must, he just passed through. That's horse shit. All right, watch this finish line right here. There's the Donkey Kong. This is so absolutely unlucky. There he is right there. So somehow in this moment, right now in this moment, as Yoshi passes me, as Donkey Kong passes this finish line, this computer says I should fuck over this birdo. There's like, this is so unreasonable actually. Chat, that's the finish line, that's the Donkey Kong. You're like, hey, they both passed. There's no reason this blue shell should ever actually get for, uh, target me. <laughs> Cause this Yoshi has already passed me at that point. Yeah. Yeah, this is an obvious case of lag. Now I know how Counter-Strike 2 players feel. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck! God damn it! Look how bad he is! <laughs> God, it's like I'm falling down a well. <laughs> Fuck you! Sploosh. Oh my God, absolute shambles. You're looking, that is what shambles looks like right there. Oh my God. I'd fallen into the lava after getting hit by something and wanting pain, so I just threw all my items out. Hmm. It's this moment, right? Like, what I love about this is it's still focus. Iron focus, laser focus right here on the monitor. I still believe I can win this. I just have to make sure that the blue shell, uh, that I stay clear of the blue shell's explosion once it hits Nate over here. Or Nat. Or not. Still hasn't realized. Still hasn't realized what is about to happen. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the two what the fucks are so different too. <laughs> the, the first one is confusion. The second one is anger. What the fuck? God. I'm not going to make it an emo. It's not going to be a marble reward. We we're like we're we're packing up Mario Kart 8 forever. That was it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's a good break time. It's really really good break time right now. Oh my god, that's so funny.
Best wave? Yeah, you know what? If if we are, if this is the final... Okay, we're about to take a break, but I would like to take one last glance at every single new track they added. Hey, hey, I love that glider. Okay, so this was the base game. Uh, sorry, this was the base game. These eight icons you see here. When Mario Kart 8 launched on Wii U. Do I think I'll ever play it again? Yeah, you'll probably talk me into playing it again. Probably, probably. It was just, uh, these eight cups. These 24 tracks. Sixteen. No, 32. Fuck. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We got it. The number is 32. I, I, I just took me three tries. Um, which of these are actual icons? Mario Kart Stadium, I think, is a really good uh, use of the anti-grav. Same with Water Park. These two are killers. This, this is already a miss. Sweet, Sweet Canyon's a miss for me. Thwomp Ruins is kind of a miss, too. Um... Nah, Thwomp... Okay, my problem is Thwomp Ruins is pretty cool. There's just some, a, couple of, a couple of annoying turns. But, alright, that's a really nice opening cup. Now, Mario Circuit actually kind of sucks. When you talk about uh, anti-grav being annoying, I think you're talking about this Mobius strip here that is Mario Circuit. Uh, kind of just an annoying track. It's not as... Uh, like appealing in practice as it sounds like oh dude you're gripping the bottom of the track yeah it's the cell of the anti-grav but it's also like it also is kind of like well I kind of like regular tracks better <laughs> um Toad Harbor nothing remarkable about Toad Harbor the the decline is kind of the, the image they're showing right there is kind of nice but uh no, that's not a great track. Twisted Mansion, Mansion is not as good as previous Luigi's Mansion tracks. Again, this one, they're trying to show off anti-grav, and it kind of is like the most annoying parts of this track. Shy Guy Falls is great. <laughs> that's actually a great track. Sunshine Airport. So funny. I think of this as an old track, so I think this one is iconic. I totally thought this was a Wii track. So yeah, Sunshine Airport is an iconic track. You can expect to see that in future games. They got to bring this one back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute icon. <laughs> Dolphin Shoals, I don't really love too much. The first loser. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Dolphin Shoals is really not great. Electrodome is, is nice. I don't want to see it in a future game, but it, like that's a, it's like it's simply like nice, nice filler. It, it, like none of that shit makes sense, but it is at least its absolute own vibe. You wouldn't confuse it for any other track in the game, so I think that's a positive element. Mount Wario is iconic. Any rally races, any any tracks that are like there's no three laps necessarily. It's just get to the bottom. Fucking love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Icon, bring it back. Bring it back. Cloud Top Cruise is okay, but it is still inferior to the um, airship level from the 3DS game. So it's hard to hard to heap praise on that bad boy. <laughs> Bone Dry Dunes is a miss. Wow. I don't remember shit about this one. DS, you're right. Tatris, you're right. Uh... I forget what it's called. It's like Bowser's Airship on DS. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's really good. Uh, Bowser Castle in this game? Again, it's been better in the past. It's fantastic. It's fun. Let me do one lap. Let me do one lap. I actually don't remember too much about it. GameCube one better. I mean, I love the DS one. I think the 3DS Bowser's Castle is really good.
Oh, I mean, we did this one just tonight. We actually raced this tonight, didn't we? Yeah, you were talking about the chain link fence. Yeah. Nah, chat. I think I think once again we have a track that falls prey to having to apply the anti grab. Like so far, this shit isn't actually that cool, and it does not emphasize the castle. And then this central room is just kind of dumb bullshit. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm in a castle. Oh yeah, and of course this is this is where I got nailed at the end. The whole volcano trip back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck this course. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck this course. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten blue shelled if it wasn't for that course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this Rainbow Road's nice. This is a nice take. Bring it back. I like it. I It's a... Uh, Starfield NASA Punk. <laughs> I like it. Bring it on back. Hope to see it in future games. Moo Moo Meadows. What a great track to bring back. Unexpected. Excellent soundtrack. Really nice for this first cup. Nice simple track, yeah? Love that. And actually love this too. This implementation of Mario Circuit. Using the anti-grav in a way that isn't annoying. Fucking love that too. Cheap Cheap Beach, just okay. But it's still a, a thumbs up. Toad's Turn Bike. Not the best implementation of a, a track with cars on it. Don't bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. Keep it. Never again. Dry Dry Desert is a worse version of the DS Desert track, which I still love to death. Couldn't tell you what that one's called. Um... So I feel, I feel like there's an opportunity to do a better dry, uh, desert level. So instead of bringing back dry, dry desert, I would just do a new, brand new desert level. Don't bring it back. <laughs> Donut Plains 3. Don't bother. Come on now. You know what you did with this one. Royal Raceway. This is a nice track. This, <laughs> this one's actually nice. You know what? Bring it back. Bring it back. That was actually nice. DK Jungle, bring it back. I remember that when they were, when, uh, G or sorry, uh, Mario Kart 7 was about to launch, they're like, Rare helped out with this track. <laughs> I was so excited. More collaborations. Love DK Jungle. Really fun elements to that. So sorry. Retro. Retro helped out with this track. <laughs> Wario Stadium is nice. Normally, I think if you bring back Wario Stadium again, sh sh quit it with the uh, anti-grav shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it doesn't need any of that. Sherbet land. Uh, bring it back. Give it one more chance. Give it, give it one more chance. <laughs> I don't hate it. You need a nice level. Anti-grav is MK or, uh, Mario Kart 8's thing. I know that, but like some some tracks benefit from it. Mario Kart Circuit benefits from it. Really nice implementation. It's annoying in some other tra tracks like Wario Stadium. Uh, Music Park from 3DS. You know what? This is a better version of Electrodrome. If you're going to bring back one, keep Music Park in rotation. Forget about Electrodrome. I actually like Music Park. And then Yoshi Valley's a mess. Keep it away. Just an absolute mess. A, 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 a course with multiple paths where only like some people know the absolute best track uh, turns to take. That's a mess. Keep it up. Don't bring it back. TikTok clock. Absolute iconic track. This is what Mario Kart is all about. Bring it back every single game and I won't be mad. Love this track. Piranha Plant Slide? It's not it. It's not it. That's a pass. Don't bring it back. It's fun. It's got some really nasty turns. It's got some nasty, nasty 90 degree turns. Uh, and then you just kind of like fly out and there's this annoying thing where you have to take nasty turns, but anybody with a mushroom just gets blasted through it. Uh, 
No, I don't really love this. I don't love this course very much at all. Grumble Volcano? What is this? I don't remember shit about Grumble Volcano. This is the Levolution track. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I get this track confused with Bowser's uh, castle? This is the blue shell track? Got it. I'm so sorry about that, chat. Uh, yeah, there it is. Now, nah, this track actually sucks. It does. It's got, like, this is an interesting gimmick. The track gets thinner as you progress. <laughs> Parts of it are dropping away. But, uh, yeah, this is a sucky track. Yeah, so maybe, uh, maybe I misremembered how Bowser's Castle ends. It needs more. It definitely needs more. Yeah, 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 yeah. It needs, like, a little sauna room that you drive through in the middle of the volcano. Like you're driving up the volcano or something, you know? Uh, N64 Rainbow Road. Absolute shit. But nice callback. Nice callback. Cute callback. All right. Then the Wii U version had DLC. Had these two packs. Oh my God. There's some really good shit in here. Yoshi Circuit. Absolutely iconic, actually. The, like, Mario Kart is all about that shit. Yoshi Circuit is great. A couple of really cool shortcut opportunities. Fun theming. It's just a nice track. Really, really nice. Wii U DLC puts the new DLC to shame. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excite Bike Arena. Iconic. I fucking love this track. Really. Uh, You don't see Nintendo really celebrating a lot of its like B and C tier and D tier NES titles. You know what I mean? So for them to acknowledge Excite Bike, but like honor it so thoroughly to like create a track that's like a little honest to what the game actually was like. Beautiful. Bring it back. Bring it back. Dragon Driftway is another anti-grav track, but is actually pretty nice. Yeah, I remember hating this one last time, and you made me play this again, and I actually liked it. Yeah, I actually think Dragon Driftway is good. Unfortunately, I don't I don't know how you bring this back without anti-grav. I don't know how you do it. Mute City. No, hold on. Uh, this one's different from Big Blue. Which I actually think is better. Big Blue is the rally one. So how does Mute City work? Let's do one lap. Same time as NES Remix is when they did the the uh, Excite Bike track. That's cool. Yeah, I would love to see more of that. Anti Grab will stay forever, just like gliders and underwater. Sure. And maybe just on some tracks, right? Just like gliders and uh, water. This is such a good fucking fit. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is such a natural, nice fit. For an anti-grav Mario Kart game. They have little boost pads too. And this music, honestly, the music is part of what makes this so good. Kind of like Shy Guy Falls. Shit. And then look at this. Ooh, look at this fucking scenery. Show me your moves. Captain Falcon bought a billboard and it says, show me your moves. I never realized that before. Show me your moves. This one might actually be better than the rally track, and you know I love rally tracks. Ooh. Yeah, you're right. That puts the new DLC to shame. 
That's really fucking nice. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. All right. Baby Park, iconic. Controversial, iconic. Bring it back. <laughs> fucking love Baby Park. Cheese Land! <laughs> never again. Keep it. I never want to come back to Cheese Land. Wild Woods is actually really nice. Wild Woods is understated. It is not iconic, but I would love to see this come back again. If they had the Wild Woods as DLC, or if it's like the bottom row of the next game, I'll be actually very excited for it. And also, yeah, you're right. Good anti-grav. When you're going up the waterfall and down the side of the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Animal Crossing needs some work. Really good idea, really good concept, but it's actually not that fun of a track to race on. I would like to see a different take on Animal Crossing instead of bringing back that track. <laughs> good stuff, though. Wario's gold mine, honestly, keep it. <laughs> honestly, I don't, I don't like that track. Keep it, keep it. Don't bring it back. SNES Rainbow Road, cute implementation, honestly, cute. They did cute stuff with that. Uh, I can't say I hate it. I think it's a good implementation of that track, actually. Ice Ice Outpost, keep it. I, I honestly, they know it too. <laughs> they know it. They know that it. They, you know, like just like I had some ideas here. I don't really know. I, I've, I've, you know, we've all been there. Just like, yeah, I don't, I don't like it either. I just, I just made this. What do you think? Um, don't bring Ice Ice Outpost back. A lot of good turns. So, I mean, what's cool, I like a lot of the iconic thing is the two tracks, right? That you could like fall off one track and fall on the bottom one. Um, really though, Chad? I don't love it. I really don't love that track. Hyrule Circuit is nice. <laughs> it's, it's weird. The aesthetic is basically Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> um, it's no particular Zelda game. But, uh, I really like it. The fountain jump? Yeah, if you, like, hit the three things on your way up, you can go collect the Master Sword, basically. The trip, like, it, the, the idea that, like, you have to go through the field first to even get to the castle is so cool. Yeah, that, the Hyrule Circuit's really nice. They know they have to bring that back. Love Neo Bowser City. I love like a, a a fun scenario for a track. Neo Bowser City is already a crazy thing to even mention, but I actually think the track's pretty nice too. I love the ending. It has a really good ending to the track too. Ribbon Road is maybe low key top five of this entire game. Ribbon Road is really nice. This is a great track. All right, chat actually agrees on this one. <laughs> Yeah, what's crazy? It cr it's crazy. It's a GPA track, which you know, like, uh, Rainbow Road is just like, yeah, we're just we're just doing the same thing, really. Like, they took a lot of liberties with this one, and they all paid off. Really, really nice. Super Bell Subway, keep it. Fucking keep it, dude. <laughs> that thing's a mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bring it back. Don't bring it back. And then Big Blue. It turns out I actually prefer the other one, but Big Blue is also... You know I love a rally race, but uh, so cool. Feel free to keep those coming. All right, and then let's look at the DLC. All right, I'm going to say an overall keep it to every single city track. To every, and I think they know this too. You know what I mean? They, they know they probably won't ever do it again. It's like, yeah, obviously this was just an easy way to implement tracks from Tor into this game. Don't do it again. <laughs> Keep it. Um, some of them do stand out. Paris does not stand out to me, honestly. Toad Circuit. You don't need more than one of these. This is We're talking about like the nice, simple tracks. So uh, go ahead and keep it. We don't need it. I don't know what it is. I think Choco Mountain is not a good track design, but I really like it. I think it's unexciting. There's not a lot going on with this, but there's something about Choco Mountain. Maybe it is iconic. I don't get it. It's all brown. <laughs> Q 
Keep it is confusing terminology. Yeah, keep it means <laughs> keep it in Mario Kart 8. If your friend says, hey, do you want my bologna sandwich? You say keep it. Keep it. I just made a sandwich for you. Should I bring it over? Keep it. Keep it. I don't know what it is, bro. This track is so basic. This is such a basic track, but I love it. And remember, I hate Mario Kart 64. I think that game is absolute shit. This is so fun coming up here. Ooh, that turn is so nice. Great music here too, huh? And then the lap is over. It's just nice and simple. It's just nice and simple. It doesn't overstay its welcome at all. I think I think the track's relative shortness is a, is a huge appeal, actually. <laughs> what if MK9 did fusion tracks? Two iconic tracks mixed together? That's a fun idea. You could do a lot of crazy shit with that. So then, like, what? Then it would be, like, that little... That weird one where you bounce around on the the giant mushrooms... You could do that there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Suddenly it turns into a highway. It's a simple and smooth track. We need a few of those. Yeah, maybe that's it. It's just simple and smooth. Bring it back. Coconut Mall is iconic. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring that bologna sandwich on over. <laughs> Bring it on over, bro. I'm ready for it. It's n not a great track. It's just really nice theming. It's a lot of 90 degree turns, but it's just, I love the theming of it. Sometimes that's enough. Um, I'm not doing that right, am I? It goes this way, okay. Tokyo Blur is a blur to me. I don't remember shit from that. Shroom Ridge from DS. This is such a silly track. Why did they bring this one? Is this the one with the bridge? No, you're thinking of uh, Double Dash. Yeah, the one with the bridge from Dr Double Dash is a superior version to this. Yeah, I don't get this shit. This is like, this has to be the first cup of 3DS. I don't get this at all, dude. What is the point of this track? I think we can officially say keep it. Oh, I did always like the end of this. I was able to hit that shortcut on the in-between there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get the point. No, 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 keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. The point is drifting, and drifting is complicated by the other cars on the track. I get that, but yeah, keep it. Keep it. Sky Garden is an inferior version to uh, Cloud Top Cruise. Just inferior. Don't bring it back. And I think there's a 3DS uh, cloud one that's even better. Scar cloud is it all timer? No, it's not. I think you're thinking of the 3DS one. The one with like the crazy shortcuts and shit. Yeah, this is not that. Look how shitty this looks. Yeah, this is a mess. Uh, you can't be too mad about the remakes of GBA courses not being astounding. But I don't see a reason to bring this back. Chat, this is kind of a mess. And then the, the track's over. It doesn't overstay its welcome, but there's just, there's nothing to grasp onto here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Keep it. Keep it.
Ninja Hideaway. Bring it back, but work it. Twerk it. Tweak it, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> tweak Ninja Hideaway. There's something we all like about it, but it's still kind of a mess. New York Minute. Bad. <laughs> Keep it. Mario Circuit 3? Eh, you know what you're doing there. You know what I mean? Like, don't bring it back. Uh, cute. <sighs> All right. I hate this track. Don't bring it back. I know chat loves Calamari Desert, and I would even say it's iconic. I, was, I would say it's like one of the three or four most important N64 tracks, but I hate it. Really do hate that. Waluigi Pinball. Fucking classic. Classic. Bonafide classic. Bring it back. Never stop bringing it back. Sydney Sprint. Keep it. Snowland. Keep it. Mushroom Gorge is the one I was thinking of. This is when you go in that cave and then you start hopping on those big mushrooms. Um, not a necessity. Keep it. Sky High Sunday. Brand new track created for Mario Kart Tour. Ice creamy. Lots of cakes to hop on. I actually kind of like it. Yeah. F tier? I don't know. It's not F tier. I wouldn't even be mad if they brought it back. I'm not going to request it. But I would not be mad. London Loop. Skip. Boo Lake. I don't remember much from this. There's way better ghost house levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it. I think this is really good. My memory of this track is, is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so this was a nice way to sell the glider. This is some good glider shit. You see those puffs? Basically on your uh, second lap through. You can do some nasty shit if you're, uh, if you're hitting your glides. All right, this cave kind of sucks. We're through it. We're through the cave, and then we launch out of here. Oh, yeah, the cave has a purpose. Yeah, that's nice. So that, like, it, it feels so much cooler to come out of that launch there and glide your way down into this little valley. Yeah, that was nice. All right, and then we climb the mountain again. Little mountain climb against falling rocks. Feels like Death Mountain. We're over the ridge. And then we try to hit these. Yeah, that's fun. I'm gonna say bring it back. Not as it is, give it another shot. Give it another shot. <laughs> that's a really good 3DS track, yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Oops. Bring it back. That was an inspired choice there. Uh, Maple Tree Way, iconic. So necessary. Very good track. Bring it back. You don't have a choice. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Peach Gardens I actually like a lot too. Keep Wiggler. Keep Wiggler out. Okay, fair enough. Somebody's got to live on that tree. Uh, Peach Gardens actually I really like a lot. Keep it coming. <laughs> Merry Mountain, I don't remember actually being that good. Obviously, a Christmassy themed track is a really fun idea. Uh, the implementation is not strong. 3DS Rainbow Road, maybe the best Rainbow Road of all time. You spend a bit on the moon, which is really cool. Um, bring it back. Amsterdam Drift, obviously not. Riverside Park. I don't remember shit from this. They ruined some of the shortcuts in Peach Gardens. I do remember that. I was a little demon in Mario Kart DS. A disrespectful little demon. Okay, I really like these little goobers. Are they selling me on the track alone? They are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore the goobers. Oh, with their big rumps. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I 
the rumped up goobers. Out through a waterfall? Actually a pretty nice, actually a pretty nice course. <laughs> actually not bad. Really nice lighting in here. I like this music. Shit, this is a low-key nice course. Too basic, you say? It's very basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be a later track. But this could absolutely fit in, like, an early cup. See what I'm talking about with the rumps, chat? You thought I was exaggerating. Look at that rump. All right. I'm going to say bring it back. Low-key bring it back. DK Summit, a shocking keep it. I'm, a, I'm surprised at myself, but keep it. Yoshi's Island, excellent. Good theming. <laughs> really, really good theming on this one. We obviously, we just want more tracks that are based off of old Nintendo games. Yoshi's Island is so good. Bangkok Rush, dude, I don't even remember these tracks. Mario Circuit DS, not necessary. Really not necessary. There's nothing very special about that track at all. Waluigi Stadium. Wario has a stadium. This one isn't better. Keep it. Singapore Speedway. I actually think I kind of like that one. Athens Dash. No. Daisy Cruiser, iconic. Bring it back. Bring it back. When can I see you again? Moonview Highway, keep it. Keep your damn bologna sandwich. I'm good. I'm not hungry. Squeaky clean sprint, bring it back. Give it another shot. Give it another shot. <laughs> really nice track, makes no sense. Really fun little second lap shortcuts. But uh, no real need to uh, no rush. No rush on that one. <laughs> Moonview Highway is in your top three for favorite tracks. What am I missing? You know what I mean? I just looked at that image and I said, I don't want that. The scale is all wrong. To me, when the scale is exaggeratingly wrong, sure. When I'm like going by like something that I should be able to buy melons from. And the melons are bigger than my go-kart. We have a problem. Okay. So it's late at night. We're out in the... Uh, we're out in the country. And now we cross over this short little weird bridge to get into the city. And we're entering the turnpike for Moonview Highway. Huge poster for a Princess Peach movie that doesn't make any sense. We're going into a tunnel. I'm gonna get a little air off of this. No way, no way. That's one of your favorites? No way. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Uh-uh. Bayonetta-esque song. <laughs> um, and then squeaky clean, we say yes to. Okay. Los Angeles laps. I don't remember being a strong track at all. Sunset Wilds, no. Koopa Cape. Ooh, I do like Koopa Cape. Huh, we did have some good courses. You know what? No pressure, bring it back. Some of these, and when I say bring it back, I mean you don't have a choice. But Koopa Cape, yeah, 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 low pressure. Low pressure. Vancouver's kind of cool because you go across the uh, hockey rink. Rome is maybe my favorite of the cities. If it's got to be one city, bring back Rome. DK Mountain, iconic. No choice. High pressure, bring it back. <laughs> Daisy Circuit, never again. No, thank you. This was pretty nice. Extremely, extremely low key, zero pressure, bring it back. Low, low pressure, low pressure. Though it was a neat little track they put together there. Madrid was just okay. Rosalina's Ice World. There was I don't I don't know. 
Honestly, it seems like a snow level that they just kind of loosely tied to Galaxy. Where there's so many more fun ideas you could do if you're trying to do a Galaxy track. Madrid was fun. Oh, yeah, of course. That's the one that ends with the soccer field. Yeah, 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 you're right. I was praising Madrid. Yeah, Madrid was really good, too. Um, Bowser's Castle 3? It was nice and simple. It had a nice, cool anti-grav thing, and then it was over. So, yeah. Obviously, I believe that there are way better Bowser's Castles to return to. And then Wii Rainbow Road, not worth it. Unspecial. This might be, like, number three or four Rainbow Roads in this game. They did Rainbow Road a little bit too much. Yeah, this game has four Rainbow Roads. Too much. Five? There's another one, too? Oh, yeah, the SNES one. Damn. Five Rainbow Roads. Um, so, yeah, I actually... Uh, it's fun. I actually don't think there's that many iconic native Wii U Mario Kart 8 tracks that need to come back. Like, look at this. Any of these could go. Water Park, maybe. Maybe Water Park is like, you gotta bring that back. Uh, any of these could go. Sunshine Airport is a necessity. Mount Wario is a necessity. Any of these could go, right? Because you're gonna do Bowser's Castle again. You're gonna do Rainbow Road again. You know what I mean? So it's not like, oh, you gotta bring that one back. And then the DLC definitely does have some good shit in it. Excite Bike is a great new one. Dragon Driftway is a great new one. Mute City, great new. Wild Woods, great new. I'm going to count Ribbon Road as a great new. Hyrule Circuit's a great new. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That DLC really hit. The original DLC was really, really good shit. And what's cool is, like, I there, I'll, obviously a lot more work went into the re-implementation of old tracks here than in the tour tracks. Good shit. All right. Okay, chat. That was an extra hour of Mario Kart. Now we're going to take our break. <laughs> when we get back, Tetris 99, then Gigabash Ultraman Tournament. Uh, coming up on the other side. <laughs> Ribbon Road is a reinvigorated icon. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking about a hard-boiled detective game starring Bowser in a trench coat set in Neo Bowser City? Why would the hard-boiled detective be working in a city that is named after him? And then maybe a little poker after that. Maybe. 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 If we got time. <laughs> also, everyone complained about there not being a battle mode, but it really never needed to exist. I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle mode has never been fun for me. Damiani assured me of that. So this battle mode is just uh, just the races? No, it do this game legit had... Look at this. Woohoo Town? Damn. Urchin Underpass? What the f... There's a, there's a Splatoon track in this game and I had no idea? <laughs> what the fuck? Obviously, obviously there should be a Splatoon track. It should not be the battle... Okay, it does make sense for it to be a battle mode. I get that. I get that. But I mean, if this was just a track, it would be so good. Oh my God. I had no idea this was just sitting in this game. Look at this little Speedo. <laughs> That's cool, dude. Let's hear the music. Uh, did you see? Did you see? Watch the tires. Watch the tires. It's fucking beautiful, bro.
Okay. Uh, Splatoon track is a necessity for the next Mario Kart game. They don't have the option. I'm not asking. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't release the game until you have a Splatoon track. This is a perfect fit. This is so nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's really, really nice. That's really nice. That's so, I've never even looked at those. <laughs> hey, we got some coins. I just, I just want to take one more glance at the other tracks that were in battle mode. Hey, hey, look at that Tanuki cart. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it is cool. I like it. Battle Course 1, Luigi's Mansion, which was in the GameCube one, yeah. 3DS Woohoo Town. And then these are the brand new ones. Dragon Palace, Sweet Sweet Kingdom, Lunar Colony, and Battle Stadium. Are any of these remarkable? Pikmin Course. Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. Alright. Yeah, chat, I was against the idea of the next Mario Kart being a Smash-like, where it's like, hey, we're gonna implement... All different kinds of Nintendo properties. But after we've been through some of these tracks and what makes them great, I'm kind of into it. Xenoblade Chorus, I'm out. I'm so out. If you put Xenoblade in Mario Kart, I won't even play it. <laughs> Earthbound track. Oh my god. So, Chad, I actually love Wii Sports Resort. I love Woohoo Island. Talk about bring them backs? Fucking bring back Woohoo Island, dude. That's a, that's a 3DS track. Just one of Mario Kart's all-timers. Really good rally course. I don't know what these Piantas are doing here on Woohoo Island, though. Yeah, that's fucked. You're not supposed to be here. It's me's only. What are you all doing here? <laughs> what are you all doing here? You can't be here. This is for people. <laughs> this place is for humans, Yoshi. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at the lunar base, and then I'm done. <laughs> Brain Age track would be really cool. If it's like nine times five, and then you have two options, two doors to drive through. And I'm like, oh, 36. Shit, shit, chat, you stupid chat. <laughs> Pretty much how that would go. All right, Lunar Colony. Oh yeah, Taco, I missed that comment earlier where you were talking about how Nintendo's trying to prop up Pikmin as the next big thing. Now, unfortunately, wow, look how good this looks. Holy shit. Unfortunately, that does run against my main primary desire of Mario Kart 9's main feature being accurate scaling. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty cool. I think a lot of these assets are from the Rainbow Road track. But it's a good use of them. And I guess it's kind of fun that the whole thing is anti-grab, huh? Yeah, cool track. Cool track. This is more what I expected the tracks to be, right? A lot of reused stuff. So crazy they were hiding a Splatoon course back there. Cool. Pokemon? Ah, Pokemon's tougher. Pokemon's way, way harder, way more complicated. Pokemon, honestly... Wow, we're getting so many coins from doing coin runners? Yes. For doing that one mode, we're just leveling up super fast. That's a neat hack.
yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon is tough to introduce into something else when it kind of deserves its own huge thing. <laughs> How many hours do I have in Deluxe? Oh, uh, not many at all. Uh, basically, I've streamed the entire game. Um, it wasn't until they announced the DLC pack that I got Deluxe. I was not planning to rebuy it because I put so much time into the Wii U version. I said there's no way. Thoughts on the new mechanic being changing size. Ooh, that could work. That could solve all, all of our scalability problems too. I like that. Can we at least look at the me, me outfits? Okay, we can look at them. Just to be clear, I hate them conceptually. Dry Bowser suit's really nice. Yeah, so I like that even like a blooper suit, they put some effort into it. You know what I mean? It's not just a repaint. Ice cream suit, great. Birdo suit, excellent. This is fucked. The PD Piranha suit is fucked because they gave him shorts instead of his little Speedo. Skip to page 20 for Nintendo's Pikmin talks when talking to investors. Is that from this week? I would actually, I would love to look at all those slides. I think they talked about some really interesting stuff this week and I kind of let it slip by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to see all of that. And then a cow costume. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Nice looking tires. Okay, let's take that quick break, chat. Let's take that break. Let's take that break. And then when we get back, uh, a little bit of Tetris and then a lot of bit of Giga Bash. You got a lot of those coins playing online multiplayer. It only lets you unlock one at a time. So you've got a backlog of unlocks. Thank you for explaining that. I appreciate that. So if I went back to the main menu, it would say that again. Got it. You're on top of your shit, chat. All right. Quick break chat. See you on the other side.
back, baby. Been a fun stream, dude. That was fun. That was fun to go all the way through uh, Mario Kart 8. Acknowledge it all before we left it all behind. That was really cool. And then, you know, you know, like we do like uh, stream anniversary streams and stuff. Like I could, I could honestly see us playing that game again. It is really fun to play with chat. I won't say that was it forever. Swapping now to Tetris 99. What was the new item? I never, I didn't even unlock it. <laughs> I said, I don't care. Can't tell you I care right now. I'm all right. All right, booting up Tetris 99 currently. <laughs> Had to leave, but I'm back now. Wanted to say I finally finished all of Celeste B-sides in Farewell today with almost 15K deaths. Holy shit. And that's what you got that oh yeah for. Okay, okay, okay. We won't repeat the oh yeah because that is what that oh yeah was assigned to. But that's an achievement. Bet forget it in one. Honestly, chat, nothing stresses me out more than you betting on my Tetris 99. I don't like to do it anymore. <laughs> I don't like I don't like losing marbles for people because I'm not performing well. 36th Maximus Cup. Mario RPG. Let's do it, brother. We will have Gigabash betting. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The betting is coming. Give you a countdown before you play. Uh, 10. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> You know what? These are kind of nice renders. It does get you excited to play uh, Super Mario RPG. <laughs> Love the hammer. Oh, we're going to be hearing a lot of this music next week. Oh my god. What a theme. Yeah, I deserve that, bro. I'm playing slow. I'm playing so slow. I deserve this shit. Bring it on. rhythm back we got a rhythm back we got a rhythm back feel the rhythm chat feel the rhythm feel the rhythm we got it back Feel the rhythm, feel the rhythm, feel the rhythm. We got a KO somehow, hell yeah. That's because chat's feeling the rhythm. Finally, dude. Chat, are you feeling the rhythm? <laughs> the little noise of uh, kicking a shell, so cool. This is a nice thing. Chat's feeling a rhythm, dude. An entire chat room feeling a rhythm together. 
of an inspiring battle. Everybody's grooving. Everybody's grooving. Boss fight music? Sure. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold. I'm holding for the dump. This might really cost me. Yeah, I messed it up. I bet. We got another KO there. We're happy with that. I don't know what the icon for KOs are. Look at that freaky little thing. What is that? In the lower uh, right hand corner. You'll see an absolute little freaky thing. A little green freak. Designed just to give you the creeps. Welcome to the creep show, ladies and gents. Pleased to meet you. I'm the master of creeps. Hey, 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 hey. Very nice, very nice. Movis Bajovis. Fans of the program call themselves Bajovis's Witnesses. I can't say I endorse it, but I understand. This is a religion of sorts. Oh shit, that was such a weird thing for me to do? I don't play like that. That's not me. That's not me. I don't play like that. Oh shit. We had something go. We really had something going there. We really did. But Jovis's witnesses, you saw, you saw. I had something going and then like it just came to a halt. It just came to a halt. Apologies to all my Bajovis's witnesses. Uh binge, thanks for being a 20 monther. Chaotic Tetris 99 vibes and co are cozy like apple pie. Bring on the stream of consciousness, baby. This music, the game over music. You'll never hear this next week. Can you throw an oh yeah my way, please? This week I got my first ever music commission. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's a double oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was hot in there. It was definitely hot in there. We got those late KOs too, but I think that's what made us a target suddenly. I should have, I could, I should have shaped up after that. Once we really had a lot of um, metals, those creepy little green metals, we didn't have to fuck around anymore. We did not need Tetrises every time, so I should, I should have cooled off after that. Full playthrough of Mario RPG or just a one nighter? We're gonna see. I actually have no way of predicting right now what the vibes are gonna be like. Yeah, all I can promise is one night. 
Admit that you read that they're called frog coins. No, I didn't look at chat that whole run. I missed chat that whole run. You finished fifth. Very nice. Very nice. Admit it. <laughs> Admit it. No. I do kind of remember frog coins now. Because I remember that little puff to the left of Mario is a frog. And that's all we have to say about that. Keep in mind, chat, it's really cool that some people are going to be playing Mario RPG for the first time ever. Fun sound effects, right? We had a lot of people targeting us there. We were spreading our shit across the realms. Still are. No KO still. This music is pleasant, bro. Got the KO. We got it, baby. We got it. 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 We got the rhythm back. First up on the creep show, we got a woman who married a clump of dirt she found in her backyard. My first question is obviously, how is this legal? How'd you marry that clump of dirt? My second question is obvious. And before you answer that, my second question is, what do you find attractive about the clump of dirt? And my, before you answer that, my third question is, do you plan to have children with the clump of dirt. First of all, the Jovis, thank you for having me. No problem. It's an honor that you had three questions for me. Thank you for being so patient. No, I'm, I've seen the show. I understand. So the first question, how is this legal? It is not legal. Uh, technically, I'm not legally married to the clone character. It's more of an emotional bond. Interesting, interesting. Secondly, what do I find attractive about the clone character? Yeah. Um, uh, look, a lot of times, like, people like me, we just, like, we struggle to be listened to. You know what I mean? Then Maximus over here. Oh, I'm so sorry. My question was not what the clump of dirt is named. No, that's okay. A lot of people never ask. Maximus listens. Okay, so what we need to what we need to do here. This is where I say I was fucking around too much. What we need to do here is just not 
build. I need to quit my regular shit. No line in sight, so we gotta start dropping. You look all the way down the next file the slots, no lines. Had to do what we had to do there. And then no, I don't I don't expect to have children with the clump of dirt. I'm not crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I you know, I thought that would maybe, you know, I, we got a lot of no no no, I know the Pajovis' witnesses are freaks. I know they were probably wondering about that. But no no no, it's not like a thing. I wasn't ever intending to do that. Well, what do you say, folks? Do we give her the clown nose of approval? Vote now. Oh my god, what did I do that for? You're alright, you're alright. Okay. Woof! Woof! Scary up here, dude! Killer's out here tonight! Killer's out here tonight! I'm so sorry to tell you, you have not won the audience vote. You did not receive the clown nose approval. You have to go now. <laughs> okay. Alright. Hey, I knew it was at risk. Got another kill, dude. This is why we don't fuck around. This is why we don't do it. Like, we're, we're, we have way too many stamps of our own. They're gonna come for us next. They're coming for us. They're coming for us soon. You know, I love to keep building Tetrises. I'd love to put on a show. Holy shit. First things first is keeping our house clean, you know? How do you keep it clean? <laughs> oh, am I still allowed to answer question? No, 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 I'm so sorry, you have to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was just a joke for the audience. You do have to go. Got it, got it, got it. Here's some filthy, filthy shit. Yeah, you're gonna regret targeting me, bro. Take my slime. Pieces. Oh, yep, there we go. Really good fucking pieces, man. You can't ask for better pieces. You're being greedy if you do. Heads up poker now, right? <laughs> Alright. Everybody bet that I would win in two. You get marbles. Get your marbles in. <laughs> you get my clown nose of approval, chat. That was good shit. That was good shit. Is that bit the inspiration for the song Teenage Dirtbag? No. That is actually just about the phrase. The, the kid's not actually talking about being a dirtbag. 
That's what badges get you. Yeah, we had firepower. We had firepower there. You would love to see the opponent's reaction. When it was 10 and then 10? Oh, that was nasty. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fucking filthy. And this is the level up music. This is cute. I like uh, Char Asnaball is in there. Yeah, really nice theme too, honestly. Yeah, look at those. Look at that chat. We took down everybody in the top five because we had so much fucking firepower. That is actually crazy. That's nice. That's what the badges get you. Yeah, we were target number one. Everybody was coming after us, and we were we were ready to fire back. Though we should say, I should say, we got very lucky with the right pieces at the right time. When I needed lines, we got lines. You know, that's a huge thing about what Tetris is all about. Yeah, we can do uh, we can do one Invictus. I was no, that's the thing. I, I'm not the predator in this game. I only attack people who are attacking me. That's the thing, chat. That was all defense. You can change who you attack. Yes. And in fact, I think you can even individually, I think you could be a maniac who like individually targets. Is that true? You choose one of four categories. You can manually target. Yeah, you can be an absolute maniac and say, I want to target that person. It's always interesting to see how much better you are with these when you like the theme compared to when you don't. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, Hey, I'm proud of the win. I'm happy to have won that one. It wasn't S-tier Tetris play. As always, it's a, it's a dash of luck. Regret it, chat. Make them regret it. They targeted the wrong little Kirby. is a slop house. How do we get out of this? How do we get out of the slop house? Cleanup crew is like, oh, bro. We've been doing this our entire lives. We've memorized the manual. We know how to get out of a slop house. We're used to this. I'm so desperate for a KO. I'm desperate for it, bro. D 
Defense versus defense. An immovable object versus an unstoppable force. Welcome to Invictus, my friend. No easy KOs out here for your regular scheme. Oh, sorry, to the person who was asking how you target, uh, check the top middle of the well, right? You see where it says KOs, attackers, badges, random? I like to go against my attackers. I like to send shit after anybody who is targeting me. And then if multiple people are targeting you, you actually send, it like multiplies the shit that you send out. Which is pretty nice. Those multipliers can be devastating. So somebody who's just naturally targeting you just gets a whole bunch of stuff on them without knowing that like other people are also targeting you. Right now, we have a lot of interested parties in what's going on in my screen. Shit! We did not get lucky pieces there. We did not get lucky pieces there. Damn. Oh, look at all these CPUs that just went out. Damn, everybody's falling apart. C-Note just went out. Damn. It's all falling apart now. Ickity Akity, Asbo Zap right there. Damn. Tony Saka right there. Damn. Tough. Tough comp. <laughs> um, there is unfortunately no tropical freeze theme. Alright, we'll hang out. We'll see we'll see what the top ten looks like if we got some more people from chat in here. Absolutely destroyed. Not even close. I had no KOs. Yeah, a lot of CPUs. They're out there, chat. Ooh. So look at this person in the upper left-hand corner. Basically, top row. They had, like, four people targeting them. They had some really nice moves, and they spread. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Good spread. Good spread. It's crazy, right? We saw six KOs happen in a matter of seconds. Kyle Daddy is now out. And then, like, everybody cooled off for a second. No, Pandemonium. I saw that, uh, ooh, the person who killed me finally died. Bye, Virgil. Um, Tetris Grandmaster came out earlier this year, right? It seemed like such a natural thing for me to buy and uh, stream. It, I think it was just a bad week or something like that. Um, but it is definitely a different kind of Tetris, which also discouraged me. It's, um, more combo based, more T-spin based, setup based. Whereas, you know, like my setup is just let me get as many Tetris as possible. I never thought about the Dark Shippy Doos connection with Kyle equals daddy. It might be. It might be a nod to DSD. Less about combos and more about speed? Huh. No, it's not. You don't get to the high scoreboard with speed. I gotta stop calling them high scoreboards. <laughs> Bro, why is this still going? Somebody get a KO. <laughs> there we go. Top 10. Is Minnie Mouse still a Tetris Grandmaster? Yes. Yes. Oh, CPU 47 is down. I repeat, CPU 47 is down. All right, so that one I was liking in the upper left-hand corner now has the most medals. Four medals, serious firepower. This bozo, no. 
Great name. Upper right is in trouble. Honestly, upper left is in trouble. Look out, upper left. Look out, look out, upper. Oh, no! Victor, my favorite to win, is out. PJ is out. 005 is out. It's down to two. McFrumples is out! All right, so you see the far side of your screen, four medals now, inherited from uh, Victor. Far left of your screen, has got more of a, fewer medals and more of a stack. So far right is the favorite to win. We'll see if they can pull this off. When Kyle said somebody get a KO, it made me think of him sitting at a chess tournament, yelling somebody hurry and get a KO. Hell yeah. You think I would be silent at a chess tournament? Okay, laying it on. A lot of strikes coming from the right side of the screen. Boom, done. Dunzo. Good kill. Honestly, great kill. Great kill. Can I get an oh yeah, I am Victor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Sure. Oh yeah. You were my favorite to win. You didn't pull it off. I am Victor. Let me boot up the PS5. It's time for Gigabash. If you've never seen Gigabash before, it is a monster fighting game. That's some good Tetris 99, by the way. Love to get a win. I love to entertain the Bajovis' witnesses with a win. Sorry, I'm unplugging the switch right now. Oh, I have hot coffee. Shit. What are you doing over there? You miss Sandman? Can I tell you? When chat says you get the trophy for playing through Fighting, Vi Fight Fighting Vipers 2 on normal, I was like, I gotta get that. I'm not a trophy hound. We all know that. But, like, I want to go back into Fighting Vipers too. I actually liked that. <laughs> Drop Gigabash, go get that trophy. No, 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 no. I'm not dropping Gigabash. Hell no. Absolutely not. GG's in Tetris, hell yeah. No, uh, we were, we did have degenerate hours last night. We did go really late just playing poker. But, um... Replay mode is in beta. This seems loud. Nobody lost any marbles. That's important. What are you talking about? New character. We've, we've... Here we go. Ultraman? Alien Balton? Ultraman Taiga? Chimera. What a woman. All right. Uh, let's just quick. We're, we're going to do like um, a quick exhibition match to see where these new characters stand. So fun, dude. Ultraman DLC. Maybe we have to unlock the skins. No, it just changes the lighting on Ultraman. That's funny. Yeah, so red lighting, blue lighting, yellow lighting, green lighting. Funny. Oh yeah, these characters are locked into their colors. Crazy. Must have been a licensing thing. Chat, you know about Ultraman? Because I really don't. I don't know a thing about any of these characters. 
Shall we bet on the exhibition match? I don't think so. I don't think we bet on the exhibition match. We're all just going to gather some data together. Here we go. Watch Shin K Ultraman? I watched Shin Kamen Rider. I didn't love it. But maybe I'd be in for Shin Ultraman. Okay, so it looks like um, one of the Ultramans, I think Taiga, has like a little special icon next to that CPU. You see that? Yeah, they changed color to blue now. Ooh, I like that. Somebody turned into a mushroom head, I think because of the scissor hands. The tournament itself will be 1v1 matches. This is a little too chaotic for me to track entirely. Yeah, I like that. That's Kiryu's new shit. Great laser beam coming from Taiga. Some sort of like <laughs> dive kick. Okay, here we go. This is what I love about Giga Bash. Everyone can go Giga after a certain point. They become bigger and gain new powers. Dude, I think that was just Taiga's shit. I don't even think that was Giga. Oh my God, you're right. This is Giga. Watch this shit. And then you get one super while you're Giga'd up. Go Giga. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay, I'm so sorry. I think the supers and Gigas are independent of each other. I think you can do your super whenever you want to, but your super is amplified if you are giggled up doing it, right? That was a really sweet super. Yeah, this is Giga. Hell yeah. <laughs> Great. Who's down? I think old uh, old Ultraman is down first. Yeah, vanilla Ultraman is dead. Ooh, I love that bat attack. I know who I'd be betting on. Okay, Taiga's going to Giga. Taco, thanks for being a 41 monther. You should watch the very first season of Ultraman called Ultra Q. It's like the Twilight Zone with a lot of similarities to early Pokemon, likely because early Pokemon is highly based on Ultraman. Really? Like with weird sci-fi and shit? And I'm so sorry. It seems like the, um, the mushroom top is just a feature of this level and not anybody's particular power. Oh, do you see that teleport attack? Ooh, I like Scissor Monster. I think Scissor Monster is pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Shin Ultraman is now dead. Sorry, Ultraman Tiger. Taiga. <laughs> that bat Hadoken is so sweet. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're so dead, bro. Oh, she lost her Giga, and now Scissors is going Giga. I think she's doomed. Yeah, you're not going to block all this shit. Finish her off, Scissors. Game. Okay. So, it does seem like regular Ultraman might be a little underpowered as we progress through our tournament. Baltan seemed legit. Baltan could have our deep run into our, tor our tournament. Um, how did we do this? There's a tournament mode. 
I think you manually did the tournament. Oh, did I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Nope, shit, not online. No, no, no. I think that's it, right? We have to do the tournament ourselves on our side. You remember making lots of marbles on 4v4s? I think previously when we did the exhibition matches, um, we would we would allow gambling on that. You made a bracket last time. Thanks for confirming that, chat. Okay, let's do it again then. Do I have any brackets saved? Or are we just doing um, a regular old MS Paint creation here? There's no way you saved a bracket. Oh, I wish I did. Uh, you know what I mean? We Chat, we do so much gambling. We do so many brackets. You would think I would just would have one on standby that I could fill in really quick. Oh, we use um, we use that website. <laughs> yeah, of course we do. What's it called? Challenge. Yep. Of course we do. Yep. All right. So here's our question, chat. What I want is the four Ultraman characters. I want two Godzilla characters, and I want two Gigabash characters in this tournament. I guess we would have to remember who, uh, who won last time. Who are the top contenders? I do remember, um... Giga Man's pretty good, right? Concrete was not a performer, no. Here we go, I can actually pull up the last tournament. Oh, that is that is actually super helpful. Check this shit out. All right, so last time we did this. Giga Man beat Destroya. Zivu killed Godzilla round one. What an upset. Thundertross was de de defeated by Gigan. Damn. PP Jures was defeated by Mechagodzilla. Mechagodzilla beat Gigan. Giga Man beat Zivu. So we're looking at, that's our top four right there. That is two Gigabash characters, two Godzilla characters. That's perfect. That's just perfect. Gigaman and Zivu, I think I misspelled it. Ziva, it's Gigaman and Ziva, this little alien. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's from Gigabash, we have Gigaman, Ziva, and then from Godzilla, we're doing Mecha Godzilla and Gigan. You think Gigaman swept everyone pretty easily? Mecha Godzilla beat him in the end. Oh no no! Look at that. We I never marked down who won. Godzilla died around one. And yeah, really sad. All right, so let's do it. Let's set that up. New bracket, please. Does it? Does anyone remember if it was uh, Giga Man who won the last one? Not found. Okay, fine. We're playing Baldur's Gate 2. Ooh, Digimon card game, sure. Single elimination. Starting one hour ago. It's so funny. This is not what Challenge is for. Challenge is for serious tournaments that, like, actual humans are meant to uh, enter. But it's such, a like, an easy bracket system. I fucking love it. All right, so Gigan. Uh, 
Uh, who else are we adding? Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla shows up for this shit. I liked PP Joris. Giga Man. Who is very good. A favorite. An absolute. If I don't remember Giga Man 1, but I think Giga Man is an absolute favorite. Ziva is kind of a villain of the entire game. Nobody's stoked when Ziva wins. And then. Ultraman. Alien Bolton. Scissor Hands. Ultraman Taiga. Mecha Godzilla 1 confirmed. Thank you for double checking that. And my favorite to win it all, Chimera. Bulk ad. Great. Shuffling the seeds. Okay. Bracket. Start the tournament. Oh, shit. All right, this we got some interesting matchups here already, chat. <laughs> Round one is Giga Man versus Ultraman Taiga. Our second matchup is regular Ultraman versus Gigan. Mecha Godzilla versus Ziva. And Chimera versus Alien Bolton. Damn. So I will open up the bets now. Just just one last check-in if you're like, I don't know who Giga Man is. I don't know who Ultraman Taiga is. So let me set that up. Giga Man is this man right here. We'll go with his iconic blue. And then Ultraman Taiga is this one right here. Do I know anything about Ultraman Taiga? No. Mm -mm. Not a thing. Ultraman's going straight out. I know. This is a tough round one matchup. That's tough. Marbles up. Never bet, never bet all your marbles. Never bet them all. Why do I imagine Giga Man voiced by Matt Barry? It's good casting. <laughs> Bit more game audio, hell yeah. You know what? I thought that last one was kind of quiet too. I hear you. <laughs> Pretty split here, even though we know Giga Man is the favorite. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no way Giga Man loses this. What if though? Yeah, I love this game. <laughs> it's so funny. We played through the story mode and I like never played it again, but I love betting on the CPU fighting itself. Uh, stage select. Now, I don't think we used to do random because some levels are absolute stinkers, right? I think these top four are all good. Some levels have just like stupid obstacles that will just like, nobody knows how to handle the lava, you know? So I think we'll just try to limit which, which ones we go to. So cool. One of them floods. Yeah, that's right. All right, here we go. No new stages, no. Tsukimura. Good luck to all the betters. Giga Man versus Ultraman Taiga. <laughs> God, this game is so cool. <laughs> nice. 
Nice toss of the ramen bowl. No real damage. First strike goes to Taiga. Almost dodged into the ramen bowl. Yeah, so Taiga's able to... I don't know what is happening. Taiga can flip between red and blue. Good damage there. Basically tied it up. Uh, the dots, you got basically two health bars. So if you have two dots above your health bar, it means you have two health bars. One dot means you're down to your last health bar. Oh, why'd you pick that up? Huge beam. What happened there? For some reason, Giga Man just took that entire beam into his backside. We're tied up again. Ooh, that grab. Crazy damage. In the follow-up kick. We're remembering what makes Giga Man good. KO. Go! Shit. Stopped blocking at the worst possible moment. The air beam! Crazy damage! Taiga's gotta come up with something here. Chasing Giga Man down the streets. There we go. Going Giga. Do something. You're Giga. Do damage now. Okay, there's your super. Go grab that super. Grab it now. Grab it now. There you go. Huge. That's big. Oh, shit. Went Giga mid super attack. Missed the beam! No! <laughs> no! Oh, Giga Man, you are so dirt. You are so dirt, bro. Ultraman staying on offense here while Giga Man is Giga is pretty crazy. That was brutal. Ultraman building meter here. Maybe he can go Giga one more time before losing all his health. He's down to 30%. Make it 25. Oh, that combo is so filthy. Down to 10%, maybe 15. Get into your own little combo in there. Just about ready to go Giga. Blocking. Shit. Tried some beam in there. Giga Man does what Giga Man does. It's that fucking throw to Tasmanian Devil air combo. So brutal. So brutal. Giga Man is just brutal, dude. You stupid Giga Man. <laughs> yeah, he's nasty. He's nasty. All right, so going back here, Giga Man to Ultraman Tiger. So we're going back to our bracket. Ooh, I'm Chad. I'm seeing a lot of marbles on these matches. <laughs> Take it easy. Ultraman versus Gigan. Gigan is the second best Godzilla character, at least historically. And Ultraman lost our exhibition match first. This might be a tough matchup for Ultraman. Let me set them up so you know who you're betting on here. This is Gigan. This is regular old Ultraman. And then let me set up that pole. Vanilla Ultraman. Apparently the best series. Season one of Ultraman, apparently the best one. That's crazy to me. Twilight Zone-esque. Just bad luck and weird strategy from Taiga. Inexperience cost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, honestly, like there was just some poor strategy there. I wouldn't even call it bad luck. 
You gotta hit your super. You gotta hit your super. Ooh, Voltron would be great in this. Once more, Gigan is the favorite, but betting is pretty 50-50 on this. Is the tournament just starting? Yeah, we're actually only in the second round of the tournament. Sorry, first round, second match. We're in the second match of the tournament. Here we go. Stage select, we're going to the City Ruins. Wait, is this the one that floods? No, Forsaken Temple floods. Okay. All right, we're good here. First matchup, unfortunately, Ultraman Taiga went down to the indomitable Giga Man. I want to see an Ultraman succeed, so I am I am rooting for him. But Gigan's a killer, bro. Ultraman gets the first strike. Some shit's going down in the woods. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> what is that? Is that a is that a counter attack? He just stands there proudly. Yeah, look at that. It might just be blocked. Yeah, I think it's just block. Nice projectile. Yep, building meter. Tree battle, dude. This is a good match. Ultraman's looking great. A lot of health left. Gigan's struggling to put anything together here. Beam is missing. Gigan just really relying on these projectiles. Oops. Gets the gloom hat on. The Gigabash amulet is out there. Ultraman cannot get that. Uh-oh, he's about to. Oh, shit, Gigan. Gigan's down to one life, and Ultraman has the super. What a nasty trick. So, Ultraman has now gone Giga and still has the super. Uh, I think he might have lost it. Yeah, I think you're right. Ooh. Nice little combo from Gigan using that little chest blade. Yeah, Ultraman lost a super there. <laughs> Those slaps. You're too big, bro. You're too big. All right. Keegan needs to do work here while in Giga form. Ultraman's still hanging out nice and pretty with 60% of his first health bar left. You need damage, big monster. No, that was not a productive use of Giga. Oh, I love the toss after the throw. That was nice. Okay, there's the death. Yeah, throws do a lot of damage in this game. Wow. Gigan suddenly in the life lead. Ultraman hasn't done shit in 40 seconds. Hasn't landed a hit. Has some sort of negative status effect right now. Got a good throw in there, which is necessary. Okay. Gigan down to 40% health. But Ultraman really... Oh, going Giga mid throw. Holy shit. Holy shit. Beaming it out. Oh my god. It's a tie. Next hit wins. It's Ultraman with the toss. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Great comeback. Great comeback from Gigan. But it just wasn't enough. Ultraman got it back together. That was nice. Oh, we're betting. Oh, we're betting. You're about to see some payouts. What do you mean, why are we not betting? Why are you not betting? 
Ultraman won that one. Good win. It's nice to see an Ultraman at least progress to round two. I would have loved to see Ultraman Super back there. That was unfortunate. So Ultraman 2, Gigan 1. Really good performance from Gigan though. Gigan's got nothing to be ashamed of there. That was a really good comeback. After years, I finally broke past all 500k marbles. Nice. <laughs> After years. All right. So we have the unfortunate matchup in round two of Giga Man versus Ultraman. That's going to be really rough. I don't look forward to seeing that. those bets. Uh, next up, we have a really nice a crowd pleaser. Mechagodzilla versus Ziva. Mechagodzilla, obviously incredibly cool. Everybody loves it. Ziva, horrible alien. Everybody hates him. Absolute villain. Original to Gigabash. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is who you're looking at for your next matchup here, chat. Uh, I really like the super so far from the Ultraman characters. They seem really high effort. You're going off of vibes? All right, if you're going off of vibes, just don't bet a lot. You know what I mean? Toss a couple of marbles in. If it's just vibes, don't go heavy. A lot of marbles on Mechagodzilla right now. This is Mechagodzilla's fight to lose. You're right, though. You're right, though. We're all rooting for Mechagodzilla. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. Defending champion. Yeah. Crowd pleaser. Please kill Ziva. Dang. You see, we got a lot of last minute Ziva betters in there. Okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so upset if Ziva loses this. We're going to Slavograd. Hoping to avoid a championship hangover. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Mecha Godzilla. With your cool blue backpack. God, that looks so cool. I don't remember what the two extra meters for Mecha Godzilla do either, unfortunately. Nice. Laying down some fire. Ooh, toss in the air, but has, holy shit. That's basically half your health. What just happened up there? This is bad. Mecha Godzilla down to 50% health on his first meter already. Charging a beam, missing shots. All right, some sort of meteor fell from the sky and really hurt Ziva there. Basically first health bar down. But cling it on with a few HP. Dead. All right. Mecha Godzilla going Giga while his opponent is invulnerable. Not advisable. Running away now. <laughs> and just getting comboed on. Wild Giga. And here comes a comet. Shit. Dazzled and frazzled. Ziva now going Giga itself but getting hit by projectiles from the air. It needs to get this KO there. Yep, grab damage is so strong in this game. There you go. Tied up one to one. 
Mecha Godzilla with a ridiculous life lead, but the Giga Ball is out. Ziva is way closer. I don't think Mecha Godzilla can close that distance. It's all yours, Ziva. It's all yours. Get that ball. It's right behind you. Oh my God, no. Mecha Godzilla about to take it. Charging some shit up. Ice Beam, just walking over to the Giga Ball. Ziva hops over Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Leapfrogging their way over to that thing. <laughs> Mecha Godzilla taking some shots at it. Does anyone want the Giga Ball? <laughs> Does anyone want it? Love that juggle. There you go, there you go. It's all yours. It's all yours. Go get that. Go get that. God, their health is really close now, too. Who picked it up? I think Ziva's got it. Mecha Godzilla goes Giga, though. Huge hit there. Fuck that damage. Holy shit. That's a crowd pleaser. Damn. Wow. Just picked Ziva up and like chest blasted it off of the stage. Mecha Godzilla has like a third bar or something. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> the people's favorite Mecha Godzilla. Now, I so I think what was happening there is that it wasn't projectiles from the sky. It was those red tankers where like if you hit them, there's a limited amount of time and then it's going to explode. It seems like that was what was doing the crazy, crazy damage there. Um, so we might have to uh, take that stage out of our rotation. Fortunately, they both got hit by it, so it wasn't like a super unfair match. Ziva could have done the super, but they held off and they paid the price. Mecha Godzilla wins. Great use. That's how you use Giga form. When you go Giga, optimize your damage, you know? Um, let me show you the bracket here, chat. Next up, the final match of round one. Chimera versus Alien Balton. This is an Ultraman versus Ultraman matchup. And it was pretty close in the exhibition match. I actually don't know who the favorite is here. This is going to be tough. Tough to bet on this one. set up that prediction who wins you would buy chimera a water <laughs> You would talk to Chimera about some accents, right? <laughs> what do you know about the accents around here? <laughs> Chances of Pacific Rim update for Gigabash. I, it depends on, I think what they've said publicly is it depends on how well this stuff does. Chimera, you like pizza? <laughs> So who knows? I don't. I like. I'm really excited that they even had a second uh, run of DLC. A third run would be really, really cool. I'm happy to pay every time. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for four characters. Um. I'd love to see this game keep going. You know. And honestly, their original characters are great. If they do a sequel with maybe a more expansive story mode where you play more of the characters too, that'd be really fun. Happy for the team. Uh, is betting done? Are we closed? Yeah, we're closed, bro. Okay, here we go. Honestly, chat, I'm wondering if we should do every match in Kimura. 
It seems like bad shit happens at every other level where it's like the AI doesn't know how to handle it. I wonder if Kimura is the most fair. 55-45 Kimura. Let's do it. Training ground is technically the fairest shit, but we're not going to training ground. All right, let's go to Kimura. Obviously also has its own obstacles, but it feels like the AI is better trained on this stuff where it's like, yeah, I know what to do with a, with a ramen bowl. You put an explosive building in its way, it's, it just doesn't know what to do. Okay, for a quick exchange here. Good grab from Balton. Almost, almost landed the, the ramen bowl. We haven't seen it land yet. Dude, grabs are crazy in this game. Tied up. Both opponents about 75% health. Watch this explosive gas can. God, I love this, this creature, dude. Damn, it's so cool. It's teleport shit is awesome. Good block there. I didn't know which one to block. Finally taking the bats out. Good to see them. Ooh, great toss. Basically tied it up, and then this grab is gonna put Chimera in the lead. Just tossing buildings, it's not working. There you go, nice little grab into the building. Very good shit. Another good grab. Volton is about to get a kill there. Chimera hanging on. Ooh, nice air grab there. Next hit, somebody dies. And it's Balton, who chose to go Giga while she's invulnerable, you fool! She's got iframes right now! You're burning time! She grabbed him while he's Giga! Okay, Chimera has gone Giga. Balton hanging on with 3 HP down there, getting a nice combo, and about to take the Giga Ball. Chimera's interested too! There she goes. All right, Baltan is down and Chimera has her super. Oh shit. The Queen of Darkness is doing some shit in the clouds. Oh no! She transformed! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Took about 25% off of Baltan's new health bar, but he's doing fine with his pink meter. He's gonna go Giga again soon. Got a good grab in there, basically tied for health, and he's going Giga. Yeah, it didn't do much. I feel like because he ran away so far to, oh my gosh, excellent throw. Kamara down to, now down to 50%, but Balton got hit by a building or something in the south, basically tied health before that throw. One more throw and Kamara is out. She's looking for something to throw. A couple of good, good blocks in there. The beam kills her. Damn! Balton wins. Excellent shit. <laughs> yeah, I think Balton avoided most of the uh, Shadow Dragon attack. Avoided the worst of it by getting to the opposite end of the stage. So it basically only did 25%. Which is good. Four losses, you're down to 12 marbles. <laughs> what do I say, chat? Don't put a lot of marbles into the bin. Don't put a lot in. Balton wins, dude. Good win for Balton. Excellent win for Balton. And we haven't had anybody get uh, stopped 2 0, but two stopped, you know? Pretty good matches so far, but. Uh, I think Balton was a clear winner in that one. All right, so now taking a look at our round two of the bracket chat. 
the dreaded matchup of Giga Man versus Ultraman. This one's gonna be brutal. This one's gonna feel bad. But maybe Ultraman could pull it off. That's the thing. That's why we're betting, right? <laughs> maybe. Alright, let's let me get that poll up. Giga Man versus Ultraman is not the matchup I wanted to see, but it's happening right here in round two. The, uh... The satirical character Giga Man. The homage. Versus the real deal. Who wins this? <laughs> Dan versus Ryu, yeah. The teleporting baton is using is called Shadow Clones, which is animated almost identical to the Japanese move called Shadow Divide. Is in Pokemon, aka Double Team in English. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Giga Man fighting his idol. Yeah, I, I like the original uh, roster, too. Uh, Wooly is probably my favorite still, right? I love Concrete. I love, like, the Nasty Dragon. I absolutely don't remember its name. And the Weird Alien. Peepee. -pee. The one that's a Peepee -pee Rooster or something like that. It's probably my favorite. PP Juris, yeah. PP Juris is good shit. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is dreadful. Back to Kimura. Sixty forty Giga Man, okay. <laughs> Great intro. Love Ultraman's stance, dude. It's so cool. The block is really nice, too. Good blocks. Good blocks. Shit. Giga Man gets that first grab. Just smack. Oh, and the combo, dude. The little Tasmanian Devil combo is so brutal. All right. Ultraman gets his own grab. Doing some crazy string shit. And also has his own spinning air combo. It missed, but good to see it. Let's see if he tries it here. And yes! Okay, all right. Ultraman also can do crazy damage off of a grab. <laughs> Ultraman with the life lead here, doing some crazy tosses. And oh, Giga Man counters in the midair. So you're not helpless when you're midair is what we've learned. Huge damage from the gas tank. Shit! Giga Man down one life! Ultraman hanging out with 45% HP! That gas can, dude. Another grab. Oh, <laughs> Giga Man's own medicine, dude! The air spin attack is just brutal. Alright, Ultraman went for grab twice there and paid the price. Good beam, but it was blocked. Just standing there, block, taking those hits. Giga Ball's out. Little late, it feels like. Here's the thing. Oh, shit. Giga Man is going Giga. Oh! So Giga Man, shit. Giga Man got the Super Ball from a distance. I missed it entirely. Now Giga Man is going Giga. So Ultraman dodged the super attack, which was nice, but finally after Giga Man went Giga, took the first death. Huge grab there. Will they spin? Nope, no spin. Easy, brother. Giga Man down to 50% health. An essential grab there. With the Tasmanian Devil, great damage there. 
Both characters now down to their pitiful normal size. Great blocks and bust damage there from Ultraman. An essential toss. Giga Man down to, let's say, 20% health. Needs to get some essential grabs in there. The ramen bowl continues to be useless. Excellent blocks, but the last hit hits. Uh-oh, another grab in there. No follow-up. Another Giga Ball. Can Giga Man get two super attacks in one match? The answer is yes. Will it connect? Does Ultraman know how to dodge this shit? Ooh, oh no! Goes Giga Mid attack! He's hurting, bro. He's hurting. Next hit wins this shit. Big explosion. Both dodge it. Essential block and the grab! Holy shit! Ultraman wins! Wow. What a match. What a match. <laughs> Huge upset. Yeah, that was good. So it's good to know, it's good to know Ultraman and Giga Man basically have the same shit. They grab you, they toss you up in the air, and then they have some sort of spin attack to increase the damage on top of all that. We'll take a break after the tournament. We got two more matches, only two more matches. So we'll, we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably talk about 11 p.m. break. Um, yeah, Mucho was, you're right, Mucho was letting me know it, it was break time there. All right, so let me, uh, let me pay out there. Huge win for Ultraman, good God. That was intense. Giga Man got the super twice, and that second one landed. That second super absolutely landed. It almost finished the match for him. Oof. That was cool. It was cool to see the uh, Giga Ball twice in one round. Okay, so let's uh, look back at our bracket. The uh, next round of the semifinals will be Mecha Godzilla, current champion, versus Alien Balton. You know, who won the exhibition match, won against Chimera. We don't really know Balton's strength. This will decide it. We will know for sure where Balton lands on the power scale after this matchup with Mecha Godzilla. And Cartwright, thanks for being a 21 monther. Uh, Giga Man, you're out of the tournament, bro. So, Mecha Godzilla, Alien Baltar, dude. Fun matchup. <laughs> Let me get you get your marbles out, chat. Just sprinkle them in. Not not a big commitment. Sprinkle them in. Tough, it is a tough choice. I think we have to say Mechagodzilla is probably the favorite. Kind of the favorite against an untested uh, opponent. We have not yet seen Balton face anybody we've seen before, you know? We can't let the final be within the same franchise. I mean, I don't get to choose. <laughs> I don't make the calls. It would be cool if I could do like, um, if I could like increase the rate that marbles are dispersed, if I had like a meter. And so we, we had like Mad Marble Mondays, right? Where it's like for every 15 minutes you watch, you get a thousand marbles. But I think if for that to work, you'd also have to crank it down. So it's like, hey, it's just Saturday. Nobody's getting any marbles today. 
Sorry, man. It's one marble per hour. All right, here we go. Back to Kimura. So, I'm sorry. I missed it again. Who was the favorite here? Mecha Godzilla, the favorite. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That feels right. Kyle gets mad at chat and turns down the marbles during Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It was funny to see that NPC so close. Everybody is... What are you doing? What are you doing? Everybody is crazy about the ramen bowl. I have no idea what Balton was thinking there. Really paying the price. Essential grab just to get into this match. No air follow-up, unfortunately. But Balton is doing damage. Holy shit, Balton. Aggressive. We love that. I like that Balton has an AT field, too. What's going on back there? You two. Good block. All right. So somehow God's Mecha Godzilla really did some damage. I think when they were blocked. Balton's about to be one health foot bar down. There it is. A hit from the ice beam. Mecha Godzilla has an 18% life lead. We need that aggression from Balton. Uh oh, Mecha Godzilla going Giga. And Balton has no answer. We're just gonna keep flopping that fish. All right, Balton goes Giga. Again, you need to be aggressive here, brother. You can Oh no, the ice block. Giga Ball is out. I believe it's Balton's only shot at this. Mecha Godzilla taking shots at it, trying to get a little long distance dedication. Oh my god. Mecha Godzilla is about to get the. Oh no. Mecha Godzilla has the super. Crazy little command grab there. And is unleashing the super. This could be it. Run, Balton. Run. Go. Not crazy damage, but it does end with ice. Balton finally gets the one stock down on Mecha Godzilla. Has a lot of catching up to do. With two giant pink balls, could go Giga, but obviously, that match is over. Fraud detected. Balton was not ready for that matchup. Balton was not ready for that. <laughs> Mechagodzilla wins. Why is Mechagodzilla the only CPU that seems somewhat competent is such a funny question. <laughs> and here's the thing, here's the thing. Is, you know, chat, we're having fun out here. We're pretending like all of this has meaning, but I feel like if we ran it back, we would get a completely different result. You know what I mean? That we're still betting on completely random chance here. We're going to the finals. Though you're right. It is random chance. It is dumb luck, but Mecha Godzilla is a really good character in this game. Ultraman versus Mechagodzilla. The dream matchup. The reason they do any of this DLC in the first place. This is a great final. You're right. Ultraman gets this slot. Mechagodzilla gets this slot. The reason any of this DLC exists. Right here. Ultraman versus Mechagodzilla. Here we 
go. The finals. I don't see how you could go all in on this. Mechagodzilla is a fucking killer. No doubt. No doubt. Ultraman seemingly just knows how to squeak out dirty wins. Non-stop little dirty wins from Ultraman so far. I feel like if we see Ultraman pick up Mechagodzilla, toss him in the air, and then do the spin attack, Ultraman has a really good chance. We have to see that in like the first 10 seconds. If Ultraman doesn't do the grab, I don't I don't see this happening for him. <laughs> Biggest bet I've ever placed. No, 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 we don't do that. Oh yeah, there are millions of marbles out there, aren't there? 1.3 to 1.7. Most marbs go into Mechagodzilla. Holy shit. Yeah, and if anybody can just block that ice beam. We've seen Mechagodzilla do crazy damage off that stupid ice block attack. It's been bad. Yeah, here we go. Back to Kimura. Oh my god. Ultraman versus Mechagodzilla. This is crazy. This is crazy. Ramen bowl hype. You know they're going for the ramen bowl. Don't do it, Ultraman. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> He's going straight for it. Ooh, good block. Shit. Really quick exchanges here. Everybody's getting some slaps and grabs in. Nice to see. Offense on both sides. Ultraman's aggressive, coming into this alleyway. Mechagodzilla strangely just running away. Avoids the ice beam, which is essential. Love that back dash. I love these moves Ultraman's pulling off here. Not doing a lot of damage, but really good dodging. And then there we go, that air combo, devastating. Mechagodzilla below 50% on that first health bar. Mechagodzilla with the pile driver, basically tying it up with that follow-up. Going Giga. Hit with the ice block. Shit! Ultraman down! Oh my god. Big ice. Huge follow-up from that paralysis attack. Damn! Ultraman down to 60%. On their last health bar, oh, that, those missiles, the ice block. Ultraman's got nothing left here. Game. Holy shit. Yeah, I see those 15 dodges. That was good. That was the beginning of the match. And then Ultraman just lost it. Mechagodzilla in Giga form did crazy damage. Crazy, crazy damage. Just putting on a show. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a decisive victory. Yeah. Back to back champ. Let's be honest. Mechagodzilla is our champion. That's our champ. Made some people rich there. Damn. Um, was there anyone who's super we didn't see? I think we've seen everybody super except for Vanilla Ultraman. For a training mode. <laughs> K. 
Can you go negative? No, but I could if I would. Yeah, it would be really funny to introduce marble debt as well. Where it's like, you have to watch this channel. <laughs> You better show up for Marble Madness, because you owe me. Oh, I should not have set the CPU to level 6. That's on me. Shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, look how good the dodge is. It's so nice. There it is. And then what's the toss? Shit. All right, so grabs are automatically good. You got it. You got a the ramen bowl. All right, where's the Giga Ball? Get your computer repossessed. <laughs> good damage. Respect it. I just want to see the super, bro. I just want to see the super. Shit. Where's the Giga Ball? Where's the Giga Ball? God damn it. <laughs> There it is. Please no. Oh my god. The fucking beer stein to the head. <laughs> okay, so me, a human, versus you. A level one CPU. CPU Ultraman needed to get some stress out, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Toss the fucking beer at my head. God, that's funny. <laughs> so do we think it's time? Uh, what do we think it is? that keeps the uh, Giga Ball from coming. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Charging some shit here. Oh, damn. Oh, that's cool. That's basically like a Bowser's uh, dropkick. I like that. Nice block. Oh, L1 is block. And you can walk around while you're blocking. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Where's that Giga Ball? Where's the Giga Ball? There it is. Good damage. I wonder, we should have done, we should have waited to go Giga first, right? We should have seen what the Giga version of that would have been. I bet it would have been the same thing. 
I swear to you though, like Mecha Godzilla in Giga form was doing more damage than that super. That's cool, dude. And then you gotta follow that up with the air attack. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game's about getting your grabs in and then following them up. Take this, big buddy. Fun. You played the SNK King of Monsters games? No. The top down one? It was my favorite. Uh, they used to play it on Nick Arcade. It was my favorite game that would appear on Nick Arcade. Remember the super can expire, yes, I do. Uh, but I didn't want to waste it on a small health bar, right? I wanted to see the maximum damage it could do. I think the ball powers are beneficial for four person matches. It seems to have a larger AOE. Yeah, you're right. Some do more damage to a single target, whereas some do spread damage, for sure. And then like uh, Mecha Godzilla seems to be mostly about just getting the ice in. Yeah, so we'll take a quick break here, chat. When we get back, I'm going to boot up Yakuza. And we're going to hit up the poker tables. I, um, I got 20,000 chips last night from 2,000. Maybe we could do some blackjack. I lost four hands in a row, and it was a, it was, that was lost, that was a lot of chips really fast. Did I unlock the premium rooms? No. Would that be worth it? Andy Cortez Raiders, welcome in. Welcome in. We're just we just finished a crazy if chat if you've never seen Gigabash. Let's do chat, let's do one more round. Let's do one more round of Gigabash for the Raiders. Maybe we can bet. Cause like, I'm sad we never got to see Godzilla tonight. I'd like to see Godzilla in one. Is there anybody here that we should see more of? I guess Taiga got the short end of the, sh the stick. Maybe some Taiga. Gotta be Wooly. We gotta get Wooly in there. You're right, I'm still controlling this one. You're right, you're right, CB, level six. Good looking out, Godzilla. CPU, level six. Maybe concrete? Yeah, 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 let's get concrete in there. Yeah, Rawa, Rawa's the one I really like. Yeah, let's get concrete in here. <laughs> Is this Power Ranger Smash? Kind of. They have Godzilla DLC, and just this week they added Ultraman DLC. It is top-down, but much like Smash Bros, there are Smash Balls, where people get superpowers from it, it's like a super attack. Um, all right, let's do... Oh, Taiga's level one? Let me triple check on that. Yeah, chat. Do we want Concrete or PP Juris? PP Juris has more of a chance, but I miss Concrete. Just know, if you're betting on concrete, that's a uh, offside chance. You're right, Chad. Good looking out. All right, let's get Tiger back in there. All right, last one. We'll take a quick break after this one. So we got regular old vanilla Godzilla. Ultraman Tiger. Wooly. Finally, concrete. Good monsters. Now, uh, yeah, this is a four-way bet, chat, so you're even less likely to win. Don't bet a lot of marbles on this. Do not even do not bet your remaining 85. If you have 85 marbles, put two in. Power Rangers DLC with playable Megazords would be really great. I agree, but also, like, Power Rangers has good monsters, too. Like, think about Goldar in this game. I mean, you could... I mean, Power Rangers could easily fill up its own roster of, like, 20 really good designs. 
You can do 10 Megazords and then 10 monsters. Easy. Why is Concrete so low? Concrete is a bad character. Every time we put Concrete in a tournament, it loses. <laughs> it's kind of the joke character of this game. Okay, here we go. Back to Kimura. Yeah, giant monster smash bros. It's kind of what this game is. Tell me before I go all in on concrete. I tried to imply that. <laughs> yeah, so concrete is the giant building in the lower right hand corner right now. <laughs> <laughs> concrete has fans but is not a not an all-star character good dodge there though concrete oh godzilla's just destroying that building right now <laughs> godzilla knows what to do against concrete the ramen bowl Concrete got the first ramen bowl hit we've seen all night long, but Godzilla is throwing buses, about to get that kill. Yep, Godzilla takes down one health bar off Concrete. Godzilla joins the fray in the north, which honestly I've not been paying attention to. Looks like Wooly and Ultraman are pretty much tied. Godzilla gets another grab in there and is going giga, hell yeah. Oh, I forgot Godzilla actually has a different Giga form. Looks so cool. Ooh, Wooly's got, what are you doing, Wooly? Launches Godzilla out. Godzilla ready to do damage right out of that though. Wooly down to one health bar. Wooly goes Giga. Godzilla goes straight for the grab on Giga Wooly. <laughs> why Godzilla, why? There we go. Godzilla consumed and knocked into a building, still hanging onto that first health. Big damage there. And Godzilla finally loses one health bar. Really, this looks great except for Concrete. Concrete is not looking good right now. Down to 30% health on its final health bar. But the Giga Ball's out. Godzilla taking advantage of the scenario. Concrete goes Giga! Ultraman goes Giga! Okay, okay, okay. Who's gonna get the ball? Ultraman gets the ball. Big super coming here. Concrete down. Giga Ultraman now using that super. Hitting these shots. Hitting these shots. Godzilla took the brunt of it. Godzilla down to 40% health on that final bar. Everybody's pretty close, but Giga Ultraman definitely driving this combat. Godzilla goes Giga again, but down to 5% health. Don't be aggressive now, Godzilla. Don't be aggressive now. Throwing the fish around. Godzilla being so aggressive. I do appreciate it. Trying to smack that tower around. Wooly consumes Giga Godzilla, but takes a hit in the back from Ultraman. That would have been the death of Godzilla. Ultraman just saved Godzilla's life. Ultraman now going Giga. Godzilla's second place, but... <laughs> Fucking third partied by Ultraman. <laughs> he got third partied, bro. That was so nasty. Just sniped from the other side of the map. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was honestly it's nice for uh, Ultraman Taiga, who's been an absolute jobber all night, to get a win. <laughs> no honor. Hey, a win is a win. Ooh, I didn't realize that a lot of the marbles were on Ultraman Taiga. Good shit there. Absolute filth. Going Giga and then using the super in Giga form is very clutch. Very, very clutch. I think Godzilla was just too focused on concrete. Godzilla really wanted Concrete dead. <laughs> and that really that really cost him the match, I think. He took too much damage just trying to kill Concrete. But Wooly technically did die before Godzilla. Godzilla was like, I'm going to kill you, Wooly. Did, and then an instant later got shot in the back. 
<laughs> by Ultraman. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a good finale, actually. I'm glad we did one more. Holy shit, that was fun. All right, so we'll take our quick break here. Uh, when we get back, we're going to the tables. We're gonna put up Yakuza. Don't, uh, I don't think you have to worry about spoilers too much because I think we're really just gonna gamble. But uh, we are in that spot from the trailer. The location might be a spoiler. We're in that sp the spot from the, uh, the big trailer. Um, so cool. Thanks everybody. If you want to dip, if you're scared of Yakuza spoilers, but if you are interested in the degenerate poker hours, they're about to begin. They're coming. Cool. All right. See y'all on the other side. We're back, baby. It's so funny. I was thinking how like um, optimal streaming strategy when you when you are when you do get a big raid, right? It's like, do not go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? Hang out, introduce people to your community. Don't take a break. But also like, dude, I got to pee so bad right now. So, like, I feel like that was a good compromise. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I feel like that was a good balance. We did, I was like, we're doing one. We'll do one exhibition match. <laughs> Pro tip, keep a raid flask ready at all times. Now, what do you mean by that? Raid flask in quotation marks. What is the function of it? Rule three, show cat. Here he is. I'm surprised he came back. He was snacking. Uh, we're switching games up. Uh, yesterday we were playing um, the recently released Like a Dragon Guy Den. The man who erased his name. Unfortunately, at the end of the stream, 
Uh, we got to the casino. <laughs> and uh, I got hooked on the tables. Because here's the thing. Here's what's fun about this. Here's what's fun about this. Is... The earnings you get while at this casino in this game apply to the rest of the game. You know what I mean? It has meaning throughout the rest of this world. If we get rich at the poker table in the game, we are rich unlocking new abilities, upgrading our current abilities. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't put the word degenerate in my Twitch title. Uh, can we say degen? Is that allowed? Yeah, degen is allowed. Degenerate, not allowed. Okay, all right, we're good. <laughs> Did I spend a lot of time in the Dragon Quest Eleven casino? Uh, yes. Dragon Quest Eight, yes. Yes. Same thing. If you get rich in those casinos, you're rich in the game. You got a leg up. All right, chat, we can start off with some blackjack. I'm not good at blackjack. I don't understand the rules. My impression of blackjack is the best you can do is 50-50. If you're an expert at math, you can win blackjack 50% of the time. 49 at best. You did the cheat? I didn't know Dragon Quest XI Casino has a cheat. What does that mean? We have a goal. Yeah, I don't want to tell you the goal. Uh. I don't want to tell you. Because at 40k, you can buy this really cool little car. A little slot car. I don't know what the slot car does, but I do know it costs 40,000 chips. But it's then I would be out of chips. So the goal used to be 40,000, but then it's like, but then I have nothing. So let's just say my goal is greater than 40,000 chips. All right, so we have 20. Do we split or stand? I feel like pros split. Never split tens. Copy that. Stand up. All right, here we go. Twelve, twenty-two. You busted. Okay, okay, we won. All right. We only won one hundred chips from that, so we'll go up a little higher. The maximum bet increased to one thousand. Wait, what? What the fuck is that? So if you start winning. They can start extracting more money from you. Okay. Okay. This is truly degenerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how you really start losing. All right. So chat tells me you have to hit on 15. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> the image for bust is so funny, dude. It's just like a fucking bullet shot of, uh, into the camera. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Easy hit here. Hit me. Stand. Stand up. 15. 24, you busted. All right. Uh, I think we should walk away. That's it. That's good. That's enough blackjack. Gonna try the Japan games. Ochikabu is better than blackjack. You and the allies fell in love with it during easy living. Okay. Let's, let's take a glance at it, chat. We're going to cross the street and play some other degenerate games, but you know my heart's at the uh, poker table.
You know where my heart is. I gambled away my return helicopter fare. That's what I was scared of. I was thinking more about these people, obviously. Uh, and it's not like, you know, they're prisoners. I think they just came here and uh, lost. Okay, so it actually looks like this is an entirely different currency. Hey, hey. So if you want to play these gambling games, you get these sticks. So all of my chips mean nothing here. Yeah, you get wooden tags. <laughs> Somehow makes enemies more likely to confront you. That is so funny. So check this out. These are the slot cars. Got it. Okay, so we're no, we're not going to spend any time here. It's all about the chips, baby. Look how fancy that shit was, though, dude. Look at this. Oh, my God. The environmental work in this game is so good. So, so good. All right, all right, all right. Crossing right over. Back to the tables. And here, and in case you were curious, if you're like, what are the goals? What are we trying to do here? I'll show you. This would be nice to have. Indra's amulet costs 13k chips. Cool Striker is a slot car that costs 40,000 chips. I have to believe that is the best one in the game. I want it so bad. Roses for 100 chips. We'll get that. Quartet. A ROM of the Master System game. We don't necessarily need it. But that's basically what we're talking about, right? But then also, think about these. Plates you take back in exchange for cold, hard cash. So if I can get a bunch of platinum plates, I could potentially unlock a bunch of skills from my skill tree just for playing poker. That'd be, that would be nice. Let's see who's playing today. How's the combat in this game? Really good, actually. You know, I uh, I only got uh, into Yakuza because it would turn into a turn-based RPG, right? Um, but I actually have not been too intimidated by the fighting system in this game. We love it. We love it. Okay, so we're up against the madam. The madam is at the tables again. Damn. Mystical Minami and Horrifying Hachan, who we hate. They have different personalities. Hachan is an absolute poker maniac. Uh, we just stepped up to the table. Deeper in, I would absolutely raise here. We're just going to check and see what we can do with King Queen. <laughs> um, Like if a 10 pops up, we're stoked. If two more hearts pop up, we're stoked. Those two just folded without even betting. So let's see if we can do to keep Madam in here. She re-raised me. She's got something. Oh, we're fucking stoked. Play with me, Madam. Play with me. You raising me? I'm going to raise you back. Yep. Welcome back to the table, Madam. Welcome back to the table. Yep. Shit. Now... I think she has a flush. Which would beat our straight. But Madam can bet... Like, she can... Honestly, she could like bet like that with two pairs sometimes. I think we bet she re-raises us and then I'll, I'll, I'll call it. Storeto. She had a pair of jacks. Oh, she had two pair. She had two pair. That's why she kept doing it with her two pair. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so Madam is not crazy. Madam is not crazy. I could have kept re-raising more there. <laughs> two six suited. We like it. We like it. We like it. We like it. Um, We hate it. We hate it. We hate it. Nope, I'm out. Uh-oh. 
You don't want to. You don't want to play with Hachan, bro. You don't want to play with him. Oh my God. Uh oh. Yeah, this was not going our way. Flush. She got her flush. I feel like the madam was owed a flush. Hachan had the pair of kings and Minami had the pair of sevens. Oh no, two pair actually. Yeah, I see why they kept betting like crazy. Good on the madam for staying in on that one. 4-9 unsuited, we hate it. In any other game, I'm folding right now. Get me out of here. Mm. Uh-oh, somebody's got three of a kind out there. It's Minami. Oh, shit. It's Minami. Minami's got the kings. Uh-oh, the ace, though. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Yeah. Horrifying Hachan fucking kept in there with the ace, which hit on the river. Minami was playing confident for some reason with a pair of threes. And Madam had the pair of queens and she was betting accordingly. Holy shit. Yeah, there's no accounting for Hachan. Hachan's tough to play against. Oh, we fucking love this. 8-9 suited? Oh my god. We win this hand. We win this. Raise all you want. I call. I already won this hand. Raise all you want. I call. Madam's out. Shit. Um, alright. So a 10 would be really cool. And now a six would be really cool. We've got two outs, chat. We'll stay in. Shit, we're out. I'm out. Minami, I got nothing. I fold. I'm an honest better. Six three suited and we're big blind. We win this hand. We win this one. Watch this shit. What do you think, chat? I think I lost. Goraka, thanks for being a 31 monther. Goreka, excuse me. I think I always say Goraka, but I realize now it's Goreka. Yeah, honestly, I think I win this with my pair. Shit, the raise. She had the straight. Oh, madam. P.U. P.U. Madam. Use item. Chat says there's apparently items that allow you to cheat. I have not seen such an item. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> well done, Hachan. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. 7 5 unsuited shit. So, like, here's what sucks is like a 6 could pop up. It could happen. And they keep stringing me along. I'll pay 100 to see if a 6 pops up. I'll pay it. Didn't happen. <laughs> Didn't happen. I got strung along again. Yeah, da, da, da. 
Ooh, the flush. Well played. Hachan's got some nice hands. Hachan's a maniac, but you're getting the hands over there, buddy. I would raise here. Only good hands stay in. Fold fold if you're not into this. Fold if you're not into this. Somebody out here, it's Minami, is betting like they have force. There we go. We got somebody to fold. Minami, do you have fours? That's a spicy, that's a spicy one. No way they have the four. I mean, there's a way. They were definitely, they're betting like they have the four right now. Um, They have fours or a pocket pair. Or an ace, just like I do. Maybe they got ace-king. Um, if they have ace-king, we tie. We'll split the pot. So I think the only way we lose here is uh, fours. Or pocket aces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pocket aces would also destroy us. Here we go. You little pocket fives bullshitter. You didn't think I had an ace? You thought it was impossible I had an ace that whole time. Oh my God. Where does your confidence come from? Where does your confidence come from? Ace eight suited hearts. We love it. We love it. I'm raising them. You got to pay to play this hand. The ace is going to come up. Ace is coming up. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get too hungry here. Let's not get too hungry. Ooh, somebody hit their fives. Somebody's got three fives now. Shit, Minami's about to leave the table. Ooh, the six shows up. Oh, that just sucks. Minami took it all. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Four eight small blind. We hate it. We hate it. Um, I would fold right here. You know what I mean? It's not even worth checking. Yeah, of course not. No, no. Get me the hell out of here. You crazy AI, what are you doing here? The seven appears. Does anyone have a straight? Nope. Yeah, da, 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 da. Pair of sixes wins. Hachan was feeling hot with those pocket twos. You deserve it. You deserve to make the madam rich. Uh, eight jack? We hate it. We hate it. We hate it. We hate it. We hate it because they string me along. So what we could do is seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. If a ten appears, we're really stoked. But they're gonna make me pay to see it. We gotta go. Um, because now there's three hearts out there and they're raising like crazy. We gotta go. We gotta go. If you could erase your name, what would your new name be? <laughs> I already forgot what it was. Stadge? Three of a kind with your sevens. That's just brutal. That's just brutal, me to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just brutal. Sorry that happened to you. You had the pair of kings, and then that seven showed up on the river. 
Ooh. Normally, I would not play it. Normally, never. Never, never, never. This sucks. This sucks. Yeah, get me out. Get me out of here. Uh, chat, I do feel like gambling marbles on this is, like, too degenerate. A step, perhaps, too degenerate. Oh, my God. They're making me pay for six. A jack six. Oh, my God. All according to my projections. Oh, I missed it. The Mystic is out and Fujimiya is back. So what we do know about Fujimiya, the accountant, is that they bet fair. If Fujimiya is raising, they got a hand, except for maybe one time. Um, we'll fold. Not even going to stick around. Hachan staying in the game. Okay. 9-10, unsuited. We're not stoked, but we're small blind. Makes it a little easier to call. Fujimiya most likely has a really good hand. Um, We'll bet. We're going to see. Who else has a pair here? Madam's got one. Fujimiya's got one. Everybody's got a pair. Do we re-raise? I think we do. Only ballers here. Get out now if you don't have a hand. Get out now. Get out now. I don't want you fucking hitting an ace sometime. Oh my god. You don't have hands. You shouldn't stay in. I don't know what you're all doing. I think Madam's got me beat. And what I'm doing is I'm re I keep re-raising. There we go. There we go. Get the hell out of here. Madam might have kings. <laughs> um, and then if she has, a, like, a queen 10, we lose. I'm going to check and then call. I think she might have me beat. <laughs> Pocket aces! Oh, shit. Didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. That's the madam for you. 9-5 suited. We love it. We love it. <laughs> oh, baby. We love it. Um, So the flush destroys us. Let's see who's got a flush. Madam's got the flush. You know she's got it. Madam, you're not gonna fucking f you're not gonna destroy me two hands in a row. You're not gonna. Tell me you got a flush right now. Man, she's got me. She's got me. She's got me. I think she's got me beat again. Sophia. She went that hard with her fucking pair of sevens? You gotta be kidding me, madam. You gotta be kidding me, madam. <laughs> See, that's what, chat, that's why I went that hard when she had the, pa the pocket aces, right? Sometimes she's got good shit, and then sometimes she's just faking. So, like, you gotta, you gotta, like, infer. Like, oh, she's... You gotta trust. You gotta trust. Yeah, she wasn't gonna scare us out. Two pair? That was fine. Well, like, the flush would have destroyed us, no doubt. Uh, do we like this? I like this. I win this hand. Watch this shit. I lost this hand. <laughs> Super. 
And we tied because we both had a six high. Oh my god. We both had shit. Wow. See, that's what I, that's what I like about Fujimiya. That's what I, that's that's a that's a good honest better there. All right, they're making me pay big to play Queen Five. We don't love that. Okay, enough, madam. God, she's so salty. <laughs> you're about you're about to be really salty, madam. Play with me. Oh yeah, you're raising me. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You're about to be very salty, madam. Your pair of aces is not good enough. I can't believe uh, Fujimiya is staying in this whole time. Your second card doesn't count towards a tie break. No, it's really just the top five cards. So when there's a two pair, it's like, okay, so the two pair is out there. Who has the highest fifth card? And the highest fifth card was our sixes. What does Madam fucking have? Pocket aces again? This is fucking crazy. Everybody is staying in. Fujimiya is the real one to be worried about. Madam keeps betting, which is scary. I think we still win this. I think we win this. Fujimiya, what do you have? I think, okay, fuck. I think Madam Please. kills me. So Madam had the aces and she was feeling hot because of that. Accountant Fujiyama had no business betting like that. That's what's scary. Fujimiya used to be our clean whistle. We're up 10k though. That's huge. We're at 30k. That was a big that was chat. That took a little bit of guts to stay in. That was scary. Hachan raised and folded. Yeah, you can't you do not think about Hachan. Hachan, excuse me. Don't even think about it. Don't try to analyze Hachan. Pair twos. We're stoked. We'll bet. Only only anybody who hit that stays in, okay? Fujimiya, I don't even believe in you anymore. I don't even believe in you. Yeah, and then you folded? God, you're such a weirdo now. You used to make sense, Fujimiya. You used to make sense. We lose. We lose. So the number right here is what you win if you win the hand. Uh, chat, do we call with our pair of twos? Yeah, let's just see. Oh, Madam sensed my weakness! She got me. She got me. Well, well played. Oh, you fucking Madam! God damn it! <laughs> she folded! God damn it. <laughs> she just wanted me out. This is personal. She is so salty. She is so salty. I don't even want to play 2-5. We have enough chips to play every hand. 2-5 I have no, no interest in. Shit. We would have hit those twos. Is there a no limit table? Actually, so that's what I wanted to ask, chat. Is that there's apparently a platinum club upstairs. Oh, we would have had three of a kind. Damn. Could have taken Hotch on there. But I'm not convinced that the upstairs actually has better tables. Oh, this is ugly, dude. Get me out. Get me out. Only one way to find out. So the unfortunately, the only way to find out is to like progress the story. Is to go engage with the tournament.
I've missed the last couple of streams. Is poker a thing now here? No, 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 no. We're simply playing like a dragon guy den, the man who erased his name. King 10, Fujimiya is raising? I'm going to re-raise. I don't, I don't like how Fujimiya has been playing. Oh, the re-re-raise. So that might be a pocket pair. We have reason to be scared here of anything Fujimiya's got. Checked all around. Okay. I'll call. Our only chance is winning with King High here. Do you think these two bullshitters have anything? I think I should fold too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both had the straight. Wow. They both had it. Well played, you two. Well played. I'm glad we got out when we did. It would be ace high? No, I mean, they would have bet. Because the ace was there from the beginning. And they would have bet from the start. Because they would have had their pair of aces. Um, This sucks. But I'll play 50 to see what keeps happening. Somebody's super stoked about their pair of fours now. It's the madam. Madam Nijioka's hit it. Hit it. Oh, and the straight draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. We could have hit a two there. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention to that chat. The flash right there on the river. Oof. And the madam did have the fours. Damn. Nasty river for the madam. Now, jack six suited, we actually like a lot. We actually like that a lot. We're stoked about this. I'll re-raise you, Fujimiya. Shit. Last time he did this to me, I fucked it up. Oh, heads up. All right. Okay. No, you got a bet to play. <laughs> All right. All right. I love that shit. I love that shit. 8-4 unsuited as shit. We should not be playing this hand. Oh. I'm going to bullshit these bullshitters. Re you re-raised. Okay. Okay. No, don't play. Do don't play. Get the hell out. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, eight, right here, eight. Oh, shit. No one has a three. They'd be betting like crazy if they had a three. Uh, King High wins with three of a kind. Ooh, chat, we've got some nice wins with hearts tonight. This is another one. Watch this shit. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Nobody's got shit. It's good to know. Nobody's got shit here. We just won the hand. <laughs> oh my god, when they actually fold, I actually like that better. I actually like that better. Hell yeah. 10-6, we hate this shit. We hate this shit. That's why you play the hands. That's why you play them. Alright. Um, I bet 50. I bet 50. I hit my three. Feeling good with my pair of threes. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. 
Yeah, I guess I'll bet 100 on this one. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Well, that sucks. So, uh, now we have an obvious flush. Anybody with a high club wins. Um, our six is not likely to be the highest club. It's not likely we win this. Stop it, you two. Fucking Hachan had it. God damn it. God damn it. So, uh, here's where I fucked up. We, I mean, you can't really scare Hachan that bad. But when it was just the four, I went light. And I should have kept going harder. Damn. We should have scared Hachan out of here. You know what I mean? And we simply didn't. Hachan's like, well, there's a chance. There's a chance on the river I can hit this. And it happened. Um... Madame Nijioka was being an absolute bullshitter. Yeah. She had no business betting like she was bidding. 7-3. We hate it, but we'll play it. You can't trust Hachan, so we had to. Exactly. Yeah. We were trapped. That's Hachan's whole scheme. It works. Get the fuck out. I got my pair. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. They're sticking around. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. See, here's what I'm scared of. So, like, they have jacks and queens, right? They have them. And they're, like, waiting for those to hit. And it's like, I'm just trying to scare them out. You can't. Get out of here. Go. 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 Stop it. Go. I think I lost this. Ooh. All right. Fujimiya's out. So I think I won this. Hachan is 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 a wild card. You have no idea what's going on in Hachan's mind. I'm going to keep raising. Yep. Let's go. You can't bully Hachan. You can bully Fujimiya. Sophia. Okay. Fujimiya really had no business hanging in but thought that pair of threes was hot making us rich making us rich um we hate this shit nine four unsuited damn thanks for the chips hachi <laughs> all right fujimiya acting like you hit a pair or you just really like your chance of getting a flush. We call. I'm not going to raise on a pair of nines. Oh, and your kings look even better, Fujimiya. Shit. You don't have kings, Fujimiya. You don't fucking have it. You don't fucking have it. You don't have it. You, you don't have four of a kind. You don't have it. He's got it. Or a nine. Or like pocket jacks. I don't understand. I don't understand what he's got. Who the threes. The threes. Fujimiya thought I was bullshitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take it. 34k, baby. Queen Jack suited, baby. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay to play this hand. I'm stoked about this. You gotta pay to play. Uh-uh. Keep on raising. We got Fujimiya out. That's the honesty. You can actually scare Fujimiya. Um, we're not stoked. I will check as well. Which unfortunately shows weakness. But I mean, it's hard to project strength here. Maybe you could pretend you got the kings. Shit. 
I think I think uh, Nijioka takes me out with ace high right now. Can I get a no-no for my three-year-old niece seeing the Thanksgiving movie trailer come on TV and now she's scared of corn on the cob holders? Yeah. No, no. But also, that's natural. Yeah. Ace high had hot was hot, Sean. Dang. Well played, hot Sean. Well played. Well played. Well played. I respect it. I respect it. Edwin Dahman, thanks for being a 20 monther. Can I get no oh, yeah? My D&D group finished the Curse of Strahd campaign last night after almost two years of running it. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Two years. <laughs> Kyle, please don't do actual gambling. You enjoy this too much. That is the actual problem, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the actual problem. This is a nice, safe environment for me to practice my vice. <laughs> We got this. There's another diamond coming. Watch this. Another one's coming. Somebody probably has tens. I think that's what's out there. Here's our diamond right there. Right there. Big diamond. And shit. That sucks. Showdown. Three card. The nines! They were just one above us! Shit! Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. The nines won it. Ooh, I love that. Look at that. You're, you're checking to me. Alright, so here's what I'm betting. Nobody's got a jack. Nobody's got a king. So I'm saying... I'm going to hit my eight or nine before you hit whatever you have. Remember, nobody's got a check. Nobody's got a king. I'm going to... Oh, shit. I meant to bet there. I meant to bet there. We were so close to greatness. I think Fujimiya hit that ten. Oh, damn, you should have made more money off of that. That's cool. Good straight. Good straight. That's nice. Ace three suited. We love it. We love it. We love it. All according to my projections, brother. Keep playing. Pay to play. Yeah, yeah, get in here. Put your chips in the bowl. You got threes too, Hotshot? All right. You got threes too? Oh my god, Hotshot, what do you fucking have? You're such a monster, bro. God damn it. God damn it. Bullshitter, Fujimia! You fucking bullshitter! You hit the seven on the river! Come on, man! Come on, man! Okay. Alright. Alright. And then, yeah, it was... That's funny. Actually, Hachan I get. Hachan also, just like me, hit that three. That's... I actually get Hachan there. Fujimia's a piece of shit. Yeah, I agree. Absolute piece of shit. Alright. Uh, we could potentially get a flush here, chat. Uh, it's unlikely anyone had threes. But possible. Hachan bet. There's no saying what's going on in Hachan's mind right now. We get, uh, we get a straight if a jack appears. So it's kind of worth sticking around. We're paying 100 chips here to see if a jack pops up.
Get the fuck out of here, he says. Yeah, Hachani, you better get the fuck out of here. It's not looking good, Fold? Oh, and what if I did, Wallace Lovecraft? What if I did, Fold? What then? Straighto. Straighto, bro! Straighto! Oh, that's nasty. That's bad. Reward for bad decisions is the Bossman way. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is like, yes, chat, if we're playing with our money... Stop saying fold. <laughs> if, we're, if we're playing with our money, hell yeah, fold. A hundred chips is, a you know, a hundred bucks. But, like, think of it video game-wise. We have 33,000 diblets, right? What is a hundred diblets at this point? So that's why it's worth staying in when we shouldn't stay in. Uh, 100 diblets is your rent? Good God. Nice. <laughs> That's a nice rent. Um, Kyle is slowly turning into Madame Nijioka. <laughs> I'm just spreading my diblets. Uh, we'll bet because we hit our fours, but I think, uh, it's highly likely. Yeah. We're, uh, we're in some serious shit here. The blinds aren't, chat, the blinds aren't big enough to uh, truly worry about staying in hands, you know? Can I get a happy birthday? I don't gamble. Oh, shit. Yeah, our pair of fours looks awful right now. I don't, I don't gamble, but watching Kyle fake gamble is a nice way to spend my birthday night. Yeah. Happy birthday, Captain Crazy Pants. Uh, you know what, though? I don't spend 200 diblets here. I know they don't matter. I know they don't mean a thing, but I don't win this with a pair of fours. So let's see how it shakes out. Full house! Ooh, Madam Nijioka! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Very nice hand. Very nice hand. King three suited, I'll play it. Yeah, keep raising me, I'll play this. I'll play this all day. Oh, oh. All right, lots of checks, means nobody hit anything. Uh, somebody might be going for the straight. So they're just hoping they can get it for free. We can't let them get it for free. If they hit their straight, they would have bet. Uh, so we're in a really nice spot here. So we will bet just to scare off anybody who's just like, mm, maybe I'll hit my straight. Maybe they'll hit. Yeah, Fujimiya did not get lucky there. Good good call. Ooh, maybe I'll hit my straight. You gotta pay for it then. Pay for it. Pay for it. Shit. Nijioka wins this. Shit. She got a pair of aces. Yeah, that, that, that. High card is nine? What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean high card nine? Oh, uh, I guess it's the, the best hand possible is ace, king, queen, nine, eight. So it came down to the second card. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no better card than that on the field. So king nine actually won. Well played. Well played. Yeah, that actually counts. So that when somebody was asking about the tiebreaker, you just experienced it. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, I actually agree with you for one, Hachan. Madam Nichioka, you're nasty. You're nasty. I'm going to hit this king. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, chat. I'm going to hit this king. Shit. Uh oh. Very conservative play from Madame Nijioka, who normally gets super stoked if she's got a pair. 
Honestly, like, that's the way you play a small pair like that. She played it right. But that was not very Nijioka. Shit, dude. Checks all around. Nobody hit a pair here. We got a chance. We have a chance to win this. We keep getting such trash. We'll get, you know, it evens out. It evens out. We hit our twos, baby. All right, what are you fucking doing? What do you think you're fucking doing right now, bro? What are you fucking doing, bro? What are you fucking doing, bro? I got so baited. He fucking checked on the turn. He checked on the turn. He hit that pair and he checked. That was nasty. That was a very nasty play. We got to be aware of that kind of shit. You can't completely predict Fujimiya. No, well, I chat. To me, it makes sense. It makes sense the way that I bet that because Fujimiya, basically, any time they hit, will at least bet. Maybe not necessarily re-raise and re-raise, but if they have a pair, they'll bet. They'll put some money in the in the in the yeah. pot. So very crazy that the turn went by, the fourth card went by, after finding a pair, and they just checked. Pocket aces, pay up, bro, pay up, pay up. No, 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 you pay up for this. No, 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 you pay up. No, 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 you pay up. There's no conceivable better two cards you have, Fujimiya. <laughs> pay the fuck up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I liked that. That went nice. That went nice for us. I like that. That felt good. Queen five suited. We love this too. We love our hearts tonight. This is how you communicate at the table. This is how you communicate. I have a pair. I'm betting. Nijioka also has a pair. Fujimiya, who checked at the beginning, now has re-raised... I don't fucking get you anymore, Fujimiya. I don't get you anymore, brother. Why'd you re-raise? You could have milked it more. I was too focused on the Fujimiya revenge. You think I should have checked? <laughs> You're right. I was too focused on the re revenge. Um, I don't get what's happening here. It's possible Madame Nijioka has an ace. Uh... It's possible she's got a 2-3. I don't get why Fujimiya re-raised. That's just crazy. You asshole. You absolute asshole. You're not an accountant. You're a fake fucking accountant. <laughs> well, let's let we're going to let the we're going to let the madam control uh the pace of this one. There's a lot of ways we lose this, unfortunately. So our pair of fives might not be as strong as it was at the beginning here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay to play. I'm gonna pay to. Oh shit! Hachan re-raised. Nijioka is showing strength here. I really don't think my pair of fives wins. I'm gonna keep putting my diblets in. Yeah. Oh, you're nasty, madam. You are nasty. You are nasty. She bet like she had the aces. She played that right. Fujimiya was an asshole, and that threw me off. Shit. That was well played. That was really well played. I gotta admire that. Fujimiya, you're an asshole. Your hand isn't better than mine. I know it's not. It's a fucking 3 5. Get out of here. All according to your projections. Um, I actually want to see if he bets or not. I'm actually curious. Yeah, he does. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad for us, actually.
Okay, but he did not raise. Oh, shit. Do we win with a pair of jacks? I don't think so. The re-raises. Shit, what are you doing, Fujimiya? He's lying? We've seen him lying. We've seen him do it. Uh, let's say he's got queens. I checked. He bet I called. When the seven came out, I bet he called. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't raise me or anything. It's totally possible he's got queens. His check was bait. Yeah, I wonder if, um... I wonder if we just call here. Run here. Pocket tens! Pocket tens. Very nasty and honestly better than King Jack. I understand why you were re-raising so much pre-flop. I get it. I get it. I get it. You got hosed. No doubt. That was a dirty win for us. Hotcha folding pre-flop. Uh, nasty. Fujimiya's got a pair. Fujimiya's got a pair here. Except checked this time. E we lose. Uh, 100 giblets to see if we won? I think it was giblets. 100 giblets to see if we won? Yeah, dude, it's giblets. Three of a kind, damn! It was diblets, excuse me, it was diblets. You're so right. Yeah, Fujimiya wanted the re-raise nonsense on that. When you get three of a kind on the river like that, you wanna you wanna get a lot of chips. Ooh. What's this? Where's this coming from? I think I should back out now, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're being they're they're being aggressive. Get out. Oh, even the madam's getting aggressive. Ooh, I like this. I would not have stayed in. I would not have stayed in all of this to see if a diamond pops up, and it did not. Oh, she's out. Oh, my God. With a pair of jacks and the six. Hachan wins it. Wow. Very nasty. Hey, whatever. Like, honestly, I'd rather Fujimiya be, be at the table than Hachan. And so it actually sucks that Hachan is, like, keeping this momentum going. Don't call with 5-6, dude. Don't call with 5-6. Shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is why you don't call with 5-6. This is why you don't do it. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, sickening. It wasn't a big pot. It wasn't a big pot. Ew. Jack ate on the big blind. And they're making me pay to play this too. Shit. Okay. Nobody hit there. I got a pair. I have one pair. I have one pair. Don't chat. Don't raise your eyebrows or anything. Don't raise your eyebrows. Oh, fuck. Shit. 
I thought we were about to make some money there. I thought we were about to make some money. No, no, no. I was, I was like, I was like saying like, pretend you're just betting, pretend that we're just betting one pair so that they stay in basically. Sorry, you raised your eyebrows. Okay. It scared him. It scared him. Uh, here, uh, Jack is like really cool. We're stoked to see a Jack. Nijioka hit something. Fujimiya and then Hachan's pretending like they got an ace or a king too. Damn. Oh my god. Chill out, everybody. There's our jack. However, it is a diamond. Shit. Meaning anyone with two diamonds in their hand now just hit their flush. This is why I actually like uh, poker where you can like determine how much you want to bet here, right? Shit. Oh my god, look at all these flushers. The odds of them having two diamonds is not strong. I think they're trying to pull diamonds here. I don't they're betting like it, dude. They're betting like it. Please don't be a diamond. Fuck. Now we lose. Shit. <laughs> Shit. In fact, I'll fucking fold. I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to see it. All right, you're right. What's 200 diblets? All right, all right, all right. All right. Fucking madam, quit your, quit your shit, you two. God damn it. God damn it. God, fucking hot, Sean. Oh, oh my God, I'm furious. I'm furious. I'm furious. God damn it. God damn it. Why were they staying in? Any diamond would have beaten them too, and they're just like, there. Nobody's got a diamond. That's not an oops. I missed a play. No. That was me just respecting my opponents too much. Shit. Shit. That sucks. We won that hand. Oh my god. 3-6. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm really hurt from that one. I'm furious. Chat, if we see a four, I won't fold. If we see a f I promise I won't fold. <laughs> okay. What's up, Hachan? What's up, Hachan? Straight. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, Hachan. I'll take your chips. I'm taking all your fucking chips, Hachan. We play until we get 40k. My goal is to get beyond 40k, honestly. 40k just gives us a car. It doesn't make us rich. We just have a little car. Okay, honest poker here, honest poker. Here's my five, here's my five, we win this. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so what's really interesting again, Fujimiya hit that seven and checked. Fujimiya can play dirty. Absolutely, that was dirty. However, Hachan got the queen on the river to take that. And so Fujimiya thinks you don't have a queen. Keeps re-raising on that seven. You're a fool, Fujimiya. You're a false accountant. I don't believe it. Prove it, bro. 
Show me your work ID. This sucks. I'm out. Prediction for Cowboys Giants tomorrow. No predictions. No, I don't know. Impossible to say, really. Who wins that game? <laughs> Show me your state certification. <laughs> They're all still in this. There we go. Madam's out. Fujimiya, you better have some shit. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm so salty against Fujimiya that I enjoy watching Hachan take his chips. I'm enjoying this now. It's now past midnight. Can I get a happy birthday? It's the big 3-0. Happy birthday, T-Beaks. 3-0 is a good one. That's a good birthday. Ooh. Hachan, you hit that too? I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. You're fucked now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fold. Good fold. When Hachan heats up, get out of the way. <laughs> just fucking go. When Hachan heats up, you just get out of his way. Okay, checks. I love to see these checks. Nobody's got a 10. Nobody's got a king. We have a chance to win this, so let's bet. Nice. All right. Heads up with Hachan. And now we can actually get a five and we could win this. Um, Hachan betting is scary. So they might have that three. Let's just call. I'm just going to milk him a little bit. Just going to milk him a little bit. Isn't that a straight? No, we need the five. You need five cards in a row for a straight. Ooh! We just scared Hachan. That's a first. That's the first time we've ever scared Hachan. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, yeah, straights do not loop around, right? So you, you, ace can go on either end, but it doesn't loop around, so that, that king was uh, irrelevant for us. Why are you calling this? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I shouldn't have called that. You're right. That was my misstep, Madam Nijioka. I will, uh, I'll let you have this, Madam. Out of, uh, with, with, out of respect, I'm going to let you have this one. There's no way Hachan has this. Yep, yeah, but Hachan is, ooh. Hachan has changed. Folding on the river out here. Pocket fives? Do we love it, chat? Do we love pocket fives? You got to pay to play. I got pocket fives. You got to pay to play. Pay to play it. Fucking Fujimiya re-raising me. Okay, we got Madame Nijioka out. Okay. All right, so I'm going to check. No, we bet, we bet. Pretend you got twos. I want to see if anybody's got the king, though. Don't, there, you wouldn't know. There's no way of knowing. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Fujimiya's out. Two, three, four is very scary. Very, very scary. Uh, we got a bet, though. A call from Hotshot, dude. What happens here? One pair. One pair. Ace Jack. Ace Jack, I understand why Hotshot's staying in. Ace Jack is such a fun little uh, hand to have. But come on, man. <laughs> Ooh, 
yeah, you don't get to check. No, 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 no. You don't get to check. You got to stay in this. You got to pay to play. You want to see your kings hit? You got to pay. You got to pay. We're stoked about this. Pairs only. Pairs only. Nobody gets to stay in. Pairs only. There's no way all of you have good hands. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way all of you have good hands. Get out. Get out. They're like, but I could hit my flush. I could hit my flush. Oh, fuck. God, that makes me so mad. That makes me so mad. Uh, truthfully, I should fold here. Um, but we've seen them bullshit too much that I'm just going to call. Fuck. That makes me so mad, dude. God, that's so unlucky. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. And Hachan was just, God, hanging in there with a pair of sixes. So frustrating. Yeah, that's annoying. That's rough. That's rough. Nah, like, it's not even unfair for Madam to stay in. She's got so many diblets. Like, it's fair for her to pay whatever cost to see what happens on the river. I get it. It just sucks that it happened. I made her pay. That's why I'm always like, that's why I'm always like, you gotta pay. If you're waiting for a magical card to appear on the river, I'm gonna make you pay for it. And then, uh, it did in fact happen. Now we got our flush. We're stoked. If this is a diamond, okay. We're upset. Ooh. All right. It's a bummer. When you do get a flush, you want to make a lot of chips, but Madam had nothing, so, you know, it's just how it is. Queen Jack, I don't even like it. I don't even like this hand. I don't even like it. I'm not going to raise on this. This is why. Look at this shit. All right, everybody acting like they like this is crazy. Why are you all acting like you like this? So, uh, an eight or a king showing up is really nice for us. We will, uh, we will call. Fujimiya is out. Our fucking queens is all I got. Will it be enough? It will be. It will be. Watch this shit. We win this shit. Ooh, the pocket kings! <laughs> oh, hot Sean. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> the pocket kings, bro. Damn. Um, shit. We hate this. We hate this. This is the worst it could be. I love Ace-2 suited, and then, like, look at this shit. Everybody checked, though. <sighs> Alright, so we gotta... Because they all checked, presumably nobody hit a pair there. Uh, which means that we have a chance to win with Ace high right now. So let's just bet to get anybody who's waiting on, like, something else to hit. Damn. And now that 10 of hearts means that anybody who is waiting for a flush hits and also anybody with a 10 hits. So we're just going to check. Of course you do, Hachan. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. God damn it. Okay. All right. All right. Chat. Here's the nice thing. Here's the nice thing about poker and all of mathematics is that, uh, you can't be unlucky forever. <laughs> all right. So Fujimiya hit something here. You know what I mean? I keep getting really effed over on the river. Every time it's the river. Everybody checked? 
Do you have pears or not? What's going on? <laughs> Alright. So. In the opening round, everybody was winning, willing to bet. On the turn, they all checked until it came to me, and then they were all willing to match that bet. However, right here on the river, Fujimiya starts, makes a bet, Hachan folds. I think we just call. All right. Well, the nice thing is, like, the pair of fives would have beaten us, too. But I do not get how Fujimiya plays. I really don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm not even mad about the three of a kind. Like, the, the regular pair would have beaten us in the first place. How am I in poker in real life? Absolute shit. Alright, we got a bunch of fucking flush chasers out here. This kills me. Yeah, I know. You're chasing the flush. You want the flush to come. Me too. Twenty-five percent chance here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Your little flush you thought was good is no longer good. It's absolute shit now. It's absolute shit. Keep re-raising me. Keep re-raising me. Flush. That was nasty. That was nasty. With regards to Madame Nijioka, who did have the flush on the turn, and horrifying Hachan, who also had the flush on the turn. You got absolutely effed by the river, and you deserved it. This is what I'm saying, chat. The bad luck can't continue forever. <laughs> Sometimes the river's gotta be nice to you. Yeah, three flushes out there. Sir, you have to leave. Have I told chat my Vegas story? Oh yeah, I mean like, last time I was in Vegas, which is, you know, over 10 years ago. Last time, last time. Um, I lost all my money first day playing poker. Day one. I got a pair. You too, uh, Fujimiya? Oh my god. You piece of shit. Alright, heads up with a madam. She said, I've had quite enough of this. So I'm gonna bet. She calls. Oh, how wonderful to be alive. Something good happened to her. I'm going to check. Dude, bet. Dude, bet. 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 No, I think she beat me, bro. I think she beat me. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. She was bluffing. She said, oh, what a wonderful time to be alive, but maybe she said it sarcastically. I mean, she's like, oh, what a wonderful time to be alive. Oh, chat, we're doing great here. I have a pair. Who else does? Who else has one? Fujimi a raised? You got two pair? You got a straight coming on? He's got a straight coming on. All right, I'll just call then. <laughs> Fuck. Um... This looks so nasty for us. This looks really, really nasty for us. Checks all around, however. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then a six appears. So a seven wins. Who's got the seven? All I have is a merely mere pair of kings. Does anyone have a seven? Fujimiya's got the seven. Lumpia. Fujimiya, you absolute piece of shit. Leave this table. Leave this table. Get out of here. Go. Go. Oh, he left. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> that was toxic. That was toxic. 
It seems like if, if they ever go beneath 1,000 chips, they leave the table is basically what it seems like. All right, so Hachan bet. Maybe a six or a three or a king. There's no way of really knowing with Hachan. You gonna bet again? Yeah, I'll call. And then everybody else calls. We all wanna see that river, I guess. It's a two. I fold. I don't even I don't even wanna play. I don't wanna play that. I don't wanna play that. I don't wanna I don't wanna be a nasty nasty. Ooh, Masuda got something here. Yeah, the straight Ooh, That was filthy. Welcome to the table. Welcome to the table, Gentile Masuda. Ace Queen, we're raising. I actually like this. I think we win this. Only big boys here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, heads up with Masuda. Welcome to the table. Uh, King, we win. Uh, there's a chance that they hit one of those. Totally possible, because we raised so much pre-flop. Uh, and they also might be just trying to get um, a flush again. So I will simply call. Now we got a pair of aces. We won the hand. Especially because they checked to us, but re-raised me. Fuck you. Fuck you. So you you what you got a diamond? You got a nice diamond. Okay, I'll call. I'll call. I'll call. I don't think they have the flush because they checked. just called. Maybe I maybe I'm respecting Masuda too much. Yeah, the re-raise was shit. The re-raise was shit. Masuda just should have called. Yeah, 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 that was a shit play. Cool. We'll take it. Masuda is annoying too. Got it. All right. Yeah, that's tough to play against, right? You don't know. You don't know how to play it. Ooh, no. I check. I check. Shit. I got no business staying in this hand. This is, I'm saying this is stupid. Oh my God, yeah, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. It's just you two now. Oh, okay, she calls. And now a jack. <laughs> yeah. Flush, Kyle. Where do you see the flush, chat? Where do you see it? Show me the flush. A6. We don't love it. We don't love it. Oh, okay. So now uh, you have to be very scared of somebody having a flush, but a two we win. Well, no, you don't win against a flush with a two. So let's be careful. Watch how they bet. It's just calling. It's just calling. The king appears. We, we fold. We fold. Uh-oh. Everybody checks. Everybody checks. Everybody checks. <laughs> uh, Masuda should not have stuck around. They were waiting for a six. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it, Masuda. I did the same thing. All right. King seven. We hate it. We hate king seven. We hate it. Not saying this is smart. I don't think this is smart. So close, bro. So close to being able to defeat you. But I've got nothing. Oh! Madam's showing up suddenly. Like, she's got something. Yeah. <laughs> Madam! In that two pair. I like it. 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 
Okay, heads up with Hachan. We take this. You can't defeat me, Hachan. I just hit that. I got a pair. What are you going to do? Hachan, you got to pay to play, dude. What's up? That's heads up with hot shot, baby. That's it, dude. That's fun. <laughs> that was our best bluffing yet. That was nice. Ooh, we hit our threes. Let them know. Let them know. We hit those threes. Nobody re-raised, so they don't have jacks. Looks like Nijioka may have hit that six. I don't understand where her sudden confidence is coming from. I think I lost this, bro. Damn. Damn. I'll call, but I think I lost this. If she re-raises, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, Hachan. That is filthy. So... Madam did hit the six, which is why she got confident on the turn. But then Hachan just fucking lucked out another win there. What can you do? What can you do against Hachan? Uh, I don't even want to play this. Nobody wants to play this. All right, one of you got an ace? Nope. Nobody's got an ace. One of you got a 10? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, somebody gets 200 chips here. Run, and it's me. No, that we split it. I got 100 chips. Got it. Got it. Hey, we'll take that. Chat, one more hand. I got to take a quick break. Jack 10, do we like it? We like it, 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 we like it. Jack 10 is a lucky hand. Madame Nijioka bet here, which is interesting. I think she's doing, she's going for a flush. Okay, here's where my jack pops up. Shit. I'll call, but I think she beat me. Oh, she had the straight from the start. Shit. That sucks for her. That sucks for her. Because you want somebody re-raising you. You want to make, make way more money off of a uh, straight like that. Bummer. Sorry, madam. Oh, shit. That was the one more hand. All right, chat. I really do. I do got to take a quick break. Oh, you know what? We should have music playing throughout this anyway. Let me see if I can find like a casino-y playlist. What can we find here? She had three of a kind? You do now. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry, chat. I have to take the break. We'll play this hand when I get back. Search for CD? Uh, you can't really search for vibes like that. Let me tell you the vibes we can get here. Uh, music, moods. We could get like epic or dreamy, euphoric, laid back. No, what's CD, dude? Smooth. Okay, there we go. All right, quick break. I'll be right back.
back. I'm ready to play this hand. I'm ready to play this one. Um, we can't let them check on us. We got to re-raise. What do you got, Hachan? Twos? You got twos? What do you got, Hachan? You got pocket aces? What do you got you're so excited about? Yeah, raise the stakes, exactly. I don't care how you spell it. We're raising them. I can't believe everybody is staying in right now. I had a friend who was pretty serious about online poker. Where he would message me. He'd be like, I made like $2,000 this week. But then um, the scary thing is that it can also, you know, you could lose $2,000 one week. So I think eventually the stress got to him. He didn't do it anymore. Especially when you become a family man. All right, do we lose? What do we do? Sweet what do we lose here? No. All right, Masuda was feeling really good with King Queen for some reason. And then the pocket aces. I feel like Hachan played that right. 40K, by the way. Hell yeah. Um, I feel like Hachan played that right. It was just unlucky I had nines. I mean, I was playing confidently like I had them. But how are you going to fold when you got pocket aces? I get it. I get the play. Um, Masuda is bullshitting us. Masuda is like, there could be a king or a queen showing up. One could show up. So dumb. Probably presuming I had twos. Pocket threes, I'm not going to play them heavy. I'm not going to play this heavy. I'm going to check. So, um, uh, we used to watch poker every night. Uh, check to see if anybody's got a pair here. They both do. Damn. Stop raising. Stop raising. Should we call? I'll call, but enough. Okay. I also think they're they're pulling for a flush. It's really hard for me to tell if they have an ace king, you know? I should probably get out of this hand. I should probably get out. There was a show called Poker After Dark that would come on NBC at like 3 a.m. It was so fun. I fucking loved that show. Oh, everybody folded. We'll never know. We'll never know. And it was just some professional poker players just at a table. You would, they had the microphones on the table so you would hear the clack of their chips as they uh, shuffle them. So fun. Oh, I didn't mean to call. Shit, I'm so sorry I called, Chad. I'm so sorry. That's on me. That was stupid. We got to go. Uh, there's a shot at three, four, five, six, seven. There's a shot at it, dude. I'll pay for the shot. I'll pay for the shot. Well, we got a pair of sevens now. Bro, you lose the pair of sevens. Don't even, don't even pretend. Oh my God. This is stupid. I don't know why I play that shit. Two pair. Well done, Masuda. Well done, well done. You should have made more money off of that. You should have made more. Sorry about that. I watched Poker After Dark 2 being an insomniac, watching all sorts of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I know that life. Um, all right. So nobody has a queen. Nobody has an ace. Nobody has a four. Nobody has two diamonds. Uh, they all just want to play this for free. We can't let them with the king. So we're saying pay up. Hachan hit the jacks. We lost his hand. Yeah, right, right, right. 
Yeah, the Jacks. Damn. Damn. Well played. Well played, Hachan. He said yada yada. <laughs> Kyle's a better poker player than Huber? No, 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 no. I think Huber is like legit into uh, the odds. I think I think Huber legit knows how to play poker. All right, all we need is one more heart. We win this. But it's got to pop up. We win, baby. Masuda, I have it. I'm not bluffing. I have it. Masuda, I have it. I have it. I have it. I'm not bluffing you. I'm not bluffing you, Masuda. Showdown. Flush. Yeah, that was dumb as shit. You're, you're playing with that like a pair of jacks? Come on now. Come on now. Jack Force suited. We actually like this, chat. We actually like this. There was an Easy Allies stream a couple years ago where they played poker together. Really fun one. Yeah. I am jealous of that. That's something I always wanted to do was poker night with Easy Allies. Um, I don't know, chat. We can keep playing for the, uh, the flush draw here. <laughs> Unfortunately, next gen, this is the second time we broke 40k. <laughs> You know, there's there's waxes and wanes. Mm, nah. I don't want the stress. You sure you don't want that stress? Yeah, I don't want it. Foof. Foof. Can we move the cam bottom left? Kings hot Sean. Very nice. And I guess Masuda was just hoping for a straight and then bullshitting on the river. Yeah. Just bullshitting on the river. Okay, so here's what you would miss on the lower left is razor collar fold. If you don't think that's important, yeah, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool with moving it lower left. Uh, call for 25. That's a good deal. That's a steal. Uh, we get the fuck out of this hand. No, 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 no. we don't want to play with this. Cover the structure round thing? Yeah, that really never matters. That's never important. Maybe somebody just tuning in is like, what are the blinds? But they don't change. So you're right. That's a fine spot. I'll do this. All right. All right. Okay. And yeah, you can see more of that card too. All right, cool. Actually, you know what? Yeah. It's. I feel like it's more fun as a viewer to be able to see all the cards. Bottom middle. <laughs> No way, no way. You want to see the cards. You want to see the whole cards. Um, I fold. I don't even want to I don't even call for 50 here. We could get a straight, but I'm too scared of the flush. You know, I can't deal with that stress right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a stressful hand that I don't want any part in. Oh my god. Who wins this? Who wins this? Hachan wins this. Uh oh, Masuda's got something too. Yeah, da, 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 da. The flush. Well played, Masuda. Very well played. Hachan had the pair of queens. Absolute numbskull. Ace Jack, what do you think? It is nice to see the pot? Okay. All right. I'm happy you can see that now in chat. Because we did win a big pot back there. You can't check to me. You have to play with me here. We're actually super fucking stoked right now. Please play with me. 
please play with me. Mm -hmm. And the fact chat, the fact that they all checked leading up to me is so nice. They don't have shit. They don't have shit. Hachan's out. Wow. <laughs> what a misstep. I would say so, Madam Nijioka. I would say so. What a misstep. Nom, 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 Give me those chips. Okay. King 10, we like it. We like it. Why is Hachan horrifying? Just a absolute wild card. Impossible to predict. Uh, we hate it. We hate it. We hate it. We hate it. I shouldn't stay in this. We hate it. We hate it. Feed the chips to the bean drink. <laughs> I'm staying in just in case a king pops up. That, that's bad play. You know what? Yeah, I don't want to teach. I don't want to teach chat how to play bad poker. That was on me. I shouldn't have stayed in that far. Good honest poker, madam. Good honest poker. Ooh! Hachan's gone. We got Hungry Honakawa now. Hungry Honakawa? Okay. Checking. Yeah, we got a newcomer. Hachan lost too many chips. All right, we got a pair of threes, so we do bet, but we're in a bad spot here. Oh, and we got raised twice. I'm happy to call, but I'm ready to fold in an instant. I'm ready. I'm ready to fold. <laughs> Alright, so it's possible one of these maniacs who is uh, raising so much has a flush draw, right? But it's also super possible they hit a 7 or a 9. Yeah, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out of here. All right. At least the losers hoping for a flush didn't get their flush. But look at they're still raising. Shit. They both had nines. Well played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you both played that right. That's nice. Queen eight suited. We love it. 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 We're gonna win this hand. Yeah, raise me all you want. I got the I got the winning hand right here. Shit. Uh typically I would check here. I'm going to. I I have a pair, I'm just gonna check here. We'll call. Almost flush. Almost flush. We just need one more. Now we got a pair of queens, so I will bet. We got re-raised there. I'll call. Now we got our flush. Uh, we fucking won. Oh, and Madam knows it too. She fucking knows it. We know each other too well. We know each other at this point. Hungry Honakawa is about to get a rude introduction to this table. Flush. With your pair of sevens, really, Hungry Honakawa? How hungry are you, brother? Really? That was one card away from a straight flush, too. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, King six, we hate it. We actually hate this hand. They checking to me, they're checking to me. Uh, that means they didn't hit anything. Uh, so we win if a king appears, basically. So we're gonna bet, just to keep them in here. Get some money on the table. Okay. Same rules, same rules. 
And like, if you could do, if you could actually change how much you bet, I would be betting a little bit. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, let's just keep playing. Let's keep playing. Jackie, thanks for being a three monther. Love your streams, Kyle. They always bring me a lot of joy. I love to hear that. <laughs> I genuinely love to hear that. Uh oh, Masuda raised. That's weird. Why'd you do that? Oh, you're fucked. Oh, you're fucked now. No, 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 no. That's right. That's exactly what I. You know it too. You know it too. Masuda's out. Super. So rude, dude. So rude. So rude. That's very rude. Yeah, I know. Honoka was about to leave. She's like, you know what? I'm going back to Blackjack. <laughs> Kyle playing weird games or just having a good time is top tier streaming. That's the problem. Is like, this is you're, what you're watching right now is just me legitimately having a good time. Um. All right. So we love a queen, and we're okay with two more spades. I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep playing. Even though they're betting and raising and raising and raising. Oh shit. One more. One more card. One more card. I mean. I mean. We gotta. I mean, there's probably another nine out there. I think we're gonna split this pot with somebody else who's got a nine. Everybody's acting like they have a nine. They're betting like they have a nine for some reason. Oh, chat. Straight. I'm dense. We're lucky. We're lucky I'm dense. A fucking ace would have destroyed me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't even thinking. This is why Huber's better at poker than I am. An ace would have destroyed me. Yep, 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 yep. We got lucky. Uh, this is also why Madam is our favorite poker player. She played like she had a 9-2. Or the ace, honestly. We got lucky. Oh, no. Hungry Honokawa's gone, bro. We're back with Mystical Minami. Uh, Queen Jack suited. You gotta pay to play, bro. That's nice. Welcome back to the table. All right, we're obviously loving the spades, and we honestly, honestly, we even love seven, eight, nine. That's pretty damn sweet. We like this. How splendid indeed. Um, we still got a shot at our flush. We still got a shot at everything. You got to pay to play us. Here it comes. Here it comes. Big hit right here. Oh, no. Damn. With the ace. Ace high. Damn. Welcome to the table, Mr. Colme and I mean. Welcome in. All right, we hit a pair. We'll bet like it. The re-raise means they also have a pair or maybe two pairs. The re-raise is suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minami's got something up there. You've got something. I don't know what you've got. It's better than the pair of queens that I've got. I'm a little frightened by you right now. But fortunately, anybody who's like, maybe I'll get my flesh. Maybe I'll get my flesh. They're dead. You're dead now. Oh, it was Minami. Lumpia. Maybe I'll get my flesh. Oh my God, get out of here. Get out of here. We love 10-7 suited. Oh my God, what a hand. What a hand. Ooh, baby. Oh, we love it. Oh, we love it. We love that. Oh, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I hit my sevens. You gotta pay to play. Keep raising me. I know you're horse shit at this. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was unexpected. I think we fucking won this, dude. Keep raising me. 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 Showdown! Flush. That's what a flush looks like! With your fucking pocket fives! Oh my god, mean to me. Come on now. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so the thing is, the thing is, I bet on the first one, right? So it's like, okay, he's probably got a pair too. You know what I mean? You can't just presume everybody's bullshitting you. I was at least acting like I had something, you know? Ace King. Oh my god. Things are turning around on this boat. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. No 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 no. No 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 no. You gotta pay to play. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ooh, Masuda re-raising is crazy. I think we'll get oh no. I thought we'd get somebody out here. We are going to. Watch this. Madam leaves. Watch this. Madam leaves. Madam leaves. Okay, shit. Masuda raises again? Fuck. Two pair. Two pair up there. Two pair up there. I can't get Madam to leave. The price was finally right for Masuda. All right, so... I think we're about to lose this. I think so, too. Oh, my God. Should I back out or should I respect these opponents? Queen for the straight would be clutch. Um, an ace or a king, we win, you know? But up on top of the screen, you see two, you see a call and then two raises. Everybody's acting like they've got some good shit. I'll call, I'll call, but I won't, I won't keep my frenzied raising going on. Now a queen destroys. Shit. Nijioka says no thanks. Blumpier. Oh no. That's how you're gonna make me rich? Too much respect. We had too much respect for them. We had too much respect. Never trust these people, yeah. 50k, how far are we going? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Let's find out. Um, all right. We have no business calling this, but we're just on a roll at this point. We're on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll this time. Shit. Well, uh, we lost this. I should I should absolutely be fold here. I feel my luck could change. I'm a metal head, a metal head. So Madam had the aces. Mystical Minami had pocket threes and thought that was shit. <laughs> Would I play any poker game or is this one special? This one is special because of what you see in the lower right hand corner. This is a poker game with context and stakes. 
because we're going to take those winnings and apply them to our quest. Pair of aces re-raised by Madame Nijioka, who must also have some sort of pair. These two bozos don't, so I'm going to raise again to make them pay to stay in on this. Pay up. Madame Nijioka's got some good shit. I believe in her. I don't believe in Masuda or Minami. Fucking get out. Get out. Fold. There we go. Oh, now the kings are trouble. Now the madam's got the upper hand. Damn. 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 She beat us. Now she's really got us beat. I don't think I beat the madam here. I'll call. Super. With a pair of sixes? Okay, so here's what... I think this is a problem with the AI, and this is something we can manipulate. Um, when the AI sees two pair, they think they have a good hand. Mm, you're right. It did make sense for her to keep going for the flush, too. You're right. You're right. You're right. Maybe that's what that was. Who just left? Hachan's back? Shit! Hachan, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, I w it would be crazy to see Madame Nijioka leave the table. Masuda, Masuda dropped. Damn. Damn. Uh, we get out of here. We get out. We get out. <laughs> Did you miss me? Hachan <laughs> <laughs> ran to the ATM, bro. <laughs> nice. I like that. That's a nice way to win a hand. Jack-10 suited. We fucking love it. Brace. Pay to play. I'll raise you back. I got Jack-10 suited, bro. I'm so stoked about this one. Heads up. Should have used psychokinesis on this one. I got to agree with you. Chat, hitting that jack is so nasty. That's so lucky. Oh, yep. Hell yeah. I don't know what they had. I don't know what they had where they loved their hand that much pre-flop. 2-3 suited. Oh my god. Oh hell yeah. I'm gonna check though. Let's not let's not exaggerate what 2-3 suited is. Let's not exaggerate. We know what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get out of here. Enjoy yourselves. Hachan bets. Madame Nijioka folds. Hachan gets richer. Yeah, Mystical Minami is about to leave the table again already. Damn. Ace nine of diamonds. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Gene. I got ace nine of diamonds. <laughs> Shut up, Logan. <laughs> We're not here for that. Um. I'm betting like I got the ace. Everybody's calling, though. They are absolute scumbags. We know everybody here is a scumbag. I think... Here's my prediction. I'm going to get uh, beat by two pair. Hachan's got two pair. In fact, I'll just call. One pair. Pair of kings. I should have re-raised. I should have re-raised. King two, nasty. Ugly, 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 ugly. 
We need to find a new voice for Gene? What are you talking about? Checks all around. So, nobody's got a queen, nobody's got a jack, which is really nice. So, my pair of twos is strong here, actually. Hachan, you fucking weirdo. God damn it. Why would you re raise there? Oh, that's nasty poker. Oh my god, the re raise again? What are you doing out there, brother? Oh my god. No, I don't even believe in Hachan's checks. So, uh, Minami betting now is actually interesting. I think they may have hit that six. We'll call. We'll call. <laughs> Suddenly folding? God damn it. What is with you people? What is with you people? Hachan beats us? What happens here? Hachan, you beat me? You beat yeah, me? Yeah, that is God damn it, Hotshot! <laughs> Fucking standing with 3 5. Oh, you're a wild one, bro. You're a wild one. Oh my god. Dirty win. Yeah. Inside Out 2 makes history as Disney's biggest animated trailer launch with 157 million views in 24 hours. Chat, I don't believe it. At that scale, I don't believe in YouTube views. You can gas those up so easy. There's a recent storyline in the X-Men comics where they infiltrate a giant, giant space casino. That's awesome. Beast it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They put it in ads. Yeah. Like, a, I, that's like such a cheap headline and they paid money for that. You know what I mean? It is not the most seen Disney trailer launch. You know what I mean? 157 million people did not watch that trailer. Queen 7, we hate it, but you know, we're just playing. We're just playing cards at this point. Hmm. Okay, sure. Uh, Hachan's acting like this hit, but you never know. You never know with 3-5 Hachan. <laughs> In fact, raise. Raise, raise, raise. I fucking hit my pair. Get out if you don't have a pair, Hachan. We got Minami out, at least. Kyle, you drinking coffee still? You know what? That's me. That's stupid. That's stupid. Good, good looking out. It is just a drink on my table, and I was just taking sips because it was in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's stupid. Good call. Appreciate that, chat. Okay, I think Nijioka's got jacks. I think I lost his hand. Shit. I'll call, but I think we lost. She folded. What is with you? What is with you? Oh, the pocket eights! <laughs> well played. Honestly, incredibly played. Well done, Hachan. I did not predict you had pocket eights. You had me. Gurkha Chan, thanks for getting that gift sub. Damn. Um, we got a nasty straight draw. We got no, nothing really good here. We don't hang out in this hand. Checks all around. Nobody hit anything. Uh, nobody's got queens. So it's like, it's at, it's at this point looking like the high card is going to win. I don't think our Jack is the high card. The ace was the high card. Congrats, Minami. But as you can see, not a big pot. You know, nobody's stoked to win that much. Ew, that does suck. Okay, three checks. Minami's not playing this one. Just hanging on to that stack. Does anyone have a nine? Nijioka's got a nine. If we get a 10 here, we win. Watch this shit.
Or an eight. An eight would have been sweet, right? Yeah. Um. I'll check. Call for a hundred. I think you got me again, madam. Yeah. Oh, she had the straight. Good God. Damn, that sucks for her. Small pot for a straight. You know what I mean? When you get those big hands, you fuck it. You want to win. You want to win, dude. Okay. Two checks. I'm going to bet like I got shit here. Okay. And two calls. No re-raises, which is nice. I'm going to bet like I got something. Fold from Nijioka. Fold from Minami. I'll take it. Cheap win. Cheap win. We like those. Mahjong AI was brutal in Yakuza 0. This must be cutthroat. Honestly, they're kind of dumb. The reason I've been able to multiply my stacks by this level is because the AI is kind of dumb. They don't respect the player. Maybe they're just programmed not to respect the player. Um, Do you got a queen? No, you folded. Hell yeah. Little by little. Little by little. Do I think the AI gets better in the Platinum Club? <laughs> I really don't think the Platinum Club, if it's tied to the story progression, I really don't think there's poker up there. You know what I mean? I bet there's like a... Meet this guy in the Platinum Club. Okay. Uh, mean to me bet like you got a king or a jack. We'll call. But also, they love to play for flush draws. We know that about them. We're not going to be raising here. Oh my gosh, Hachan. And then the re-raise. Mean to me has got a king or a jack. That does indeed suck for you, Hachan. This is why we stay in. Can confirm there is higher stakes poker in the Platinum Club. You just unlocked it. Damn. Damn. Really? Ten thousand chips is the buy-in. Super. Oh, we split it. That's fun. That's fun. I love splitting a pot. That feels great. We both had 6-7. That's cute. No, I chat, I think it would take like three more hours for us to progress entirely to get to Platinum Club. 10 Jack, we don't love it. We don't love it. Unsuited, we don't love it. When it's suited, for some reason, I'll re-raise and re-raise. When it's unsuited, it looks ugly. Way longer than that? Okay, 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 okay. I'm on hour 15. Okay, so we'll, we'll stick. Hey, we're making good progress here. Call in a raise. I think they're winning on a flush draw. I don't think they have queens. Shit. I'll fall. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't mean, like, chat, even still, I'm like, I don't think I got this. Yeah, this is nasty. They got hands. There's a, there's hands up there. Who's got it? Three of a kind. You had the queens, Madam Nijioka. Ooh. And then Minami, I guess, was like... Oh, the pair of twos. Got it. And then maybe a jack popping up. Okay. All right. And the two pair from Hachan. I understand it. I get why you all did that. You got to respect the madam. Minami's out. Oh, the accountant is back. Pocket jacks. Ooh, we like pocket jacks. We like them. We like them. We like them. So question, actually. Um, does the Platinum Club have a separate uh, payout? Do you have different prizes upstairs? Ooh, what do you fucking have, dude? Damn. What do you fucking have, bro? Shit. 
threes? Oh my god, I lost this. Damn. Damn. Super. Fujiyama, you absolute asshole. I should have gotten more money out of him. I forgot how much I hate this man. So, this is what I'm saying. The AI is like, ooh, baby, I have two pair. Without realizing, like, yeah, dude, I got those threes, too. I got the threes, too. What are you thinking? I could have had a ten or a, or a king that whole time. Absolute degenerate. Abs I, like, I hate Fujiyama. I hate you, bro. Excuse me, Fujimiya. Raising you, dude. Promise me you have an ace. Promise me. Oh boy. Okay, we got a couple of razors out here. They're all, dude. It's a flush draw for all of them. They're obsessed with flush draws. Yeah, if you're waiting on a flush draw, I'm gonna make you pay for it. Uh oh, it's not a diamond. Uh oh, you know, your diamond didn't show up. Keep playing. Keep paying. Madam's got some good shit. I'm I'm so mad at Fujimiya that I'm fucking paying Madam all my chips. Oh. Lumpia. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Madam didn't have shit. She was, she had two diamonds. Madam had two diamonds and she was paying like, oh, I'm positive the river is gonna be a diamond. She was paying like that. Um, Fujimiya had a pair of sixes and thought he was hot shit. Even though there was an ace and a jack out there. The CPU simply doesn't respect you. They do not, re they think that you're trying to bluff them constantly. They don't respect you. All right. Um, another spade showing up would be fucking sick. Okay. No such luck. Yeah. You asshole. You're such an asshole. You don't respect me. You don't respect me. Fujimiya, you don't respect me. <laughs> I deserve better, Fujimiya. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Real life? Real life? I check here. I'm like, oh, I don't have, I don't have shit. Oh shit, I don't have anything. In real life, I would absolutely check here, but now I wanna try to milk as much as possible from this CPU who doesn't respect me for anything. So I think we're about to get paid here. Yeah. You gotta hope, hope for like a king to show up here, right? Honestly, even, um, even that club showing up is awesome. We want to get re-raised. Nobody's re-raising though, unfortunately. Shit. Not a big pot. Not a big pot. We got some, we milked them for some. We're at 60K, baby. Uh, when do we stop? <laughs> 70? Chat, you feel good about 70? Let's go, let's stop at 70. Or maybe a thousand less than 70, we'll see, we'll see. 
60 is not rich enough. No, I want more shit. I want more. Okay, 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 okay. I don't like that you're making me pay for 3-9. I don't like it, but I do respect it. <laughs> 50 to keep playing, dude. Oh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Trust me. If a 7 pops up, we hate ourselves. Okay, phew. Uh oh. Ah, oh, <laughs> Sean, you absolute sucker. God, you're dumb. Oh, man. Hachan's like, I'm going to bluff you out. You're like, no, you did not. You did not. I hate that they're making me pay to play Queen 3. Hate that. I'll raise you. I don't think you hit that, Hachan. Ooh, Nijioka as well. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Pay to play. Really? Okay. No checking. No, no, no. We already established everybody's willing to raise. You don't check anymore. What does the madam have here? What do you have, Madam Nijioka? You think she's got three of a kind or something? Her fours would be suddenly very good. And here's the problem. She will re-raise me another 3,000. You know what I mean? She will keep re-raising me because she's got two pair now. I'm willing to go down with uh, Madame Nijioka right now. I'm willing to go down with her. I think she's got me beat, but I want to see how far this goes. Yeah. yeah, she had the fives. She had the fives. So she thought her two pair was really hot shit, and she's like, I'm going to bet heavy on this. I will go down with this ship. I won't put my arms up and surrender. There will be no fight. Black buff my door. I'm in the. Oh, you hit the five two. Niji, okay, you hit the five two. What is going on? What's everybody? What? Are you, what game are you all playing? What are you all playing? Oh, that game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take my leaf. I'll take my leaf. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, shit. Do you think he had it? Do you think he had it? God, we'll never know. Okay, Madam is almost under 80k. She has to win this. Madam has to win this. I don't want to see her dip beneath 80. You got this, Madam. You got this. You won this. Don't let these hosers take your chips. You got this, madam. You got the queen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's got the queen? Who's got the queen? Madam Nijioka's got the queen. Ooh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man, those pocket kings were so good, too. And the two pair for the ace-10. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Happy to not be a part of that one. Happy to sit that one out. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right, six zero seven. We win this. Damn. Uh, the nine is the highest card out there. Congratulations.
Ooh, Ace Queen suited. We like that. You like to imagine Kiryu and Madame Nijioka bonding? Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've bonded with her. Oh, mama. How do you play this shit? First, we try to scare anybody out who doesn't have anything. They all call, unfortunately. Same shit as last time. We raise, everybody else calls. Re-raise from Hachan and Fujimiya re-raises. Okay. That is the behavior of someone who has a king. Fujimiya. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I don't know how we're getting this fucking lucky, bro. You are so fucked. Oh, my God. Fujimi is like, I got two spades. I like, I brother, just go. Just go. Just get out of here. But I got two spades. <laughs> oh, shit. Flesh. Oh my god. Fujimiya was playing with 2-4, a pair of twos. What the fuck? Hachan... Oh, Hachan had the flush. Damn, Hachan. That's bad luck, bro. That's bad luck. 64. Pocket sixes. That looks nice. That looks nice. We like that. Pocket sixes. Yeah, this is bad for us. That was really bad. Everybody called. Uh, everything beats us with our little pocket sixes out here. We're going to pay 100. We'll pay 200 just to see if a six pops up. We're going to pay another 100 just to see if a six pops up. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I don't think you even play, dude. Just fold, just fold. Ooh, the pair of jacks. Get fucked, Fujimiya. <laughs> and you know what? Fujimiya was just calmly playing that pair, too. Honestly, it wasn't like they were really going out there too far. We're stoked. We're stoked. We're stoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. I think we're pretty happy. I think we won this. I think we won this. I don't think there's an ace or a king out there, actually. Hachan's got it. Lumpia. When will I learn to stop respecting the Hachan? When will I learn? Will I, when will I learn? 9-4 suited. We fucking love it, dude. We love it. We love it. Everybody's got nice hands, too, though. So watch out for that. Everybody has a nice hand. So Fujimiya hit the kings. Okay. Actually, we know Fujimiya's a bullshitter. Preflop bullshitter. Hachan folded. Damn. All right. I think I win with that pair of nines here. I think? Why are you re-raising me? I think I win with a pair of nines. You got a pair of kings? You weren't acting like it. You weren't acting like it. Oh, now and Madame Nijioka's raising me? Oh, my God. Yeah, that is that. Is. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Pocket aces. 
Yeah, it's really hard to tell with Fujimiya. It's really, really hard to tell. 6-5, they're making me pay to play 6-5. Damn. Madam is not going under 80. It's not happening. All right, pair of fives. We're not super stoked. We got that uh, flush draw as well. We're going to bet. The Madam has folded. There's no way these bozos have kings. Ooh, a raise from Hachan, I think, implies they hit that eight. No way, dude, because that eight was already there. Oh, so Hachan sees two pair. Yeah. So what sucks about this scenario, actually, shit, shit. That eight was bad. I'm sorry. I didn't really register with me how bad that eight is. Um, high card wins now. High card wins, unfortunately. And that ace is a high card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see it happening. Hachan played that great, actually. Oh. Fujimiya's betting on here. Oh my god. No, no, no. Fuck you guys. And Madame Nijioka is below 80k. Ooh. You all have straights? What's happening? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, she just folded. Damn. Yeah, da -da -da -da. Two pair you won with. Huh. I like how you played that. I like that. I like that. Ew, queen five. Come on, man. All these raising going on, too. So we know everybody's got a good hand. Hachan really wants us all to know. He's got a great hand. Okay. We know, Hachan. But I bet you didn't hit your pair. And I did. Madame Nijioka hit a pair, too. Fuck your raises. What are you doing? Stop this shit. Oh, we know. We know they love to play flush draws. We know that. We know Madame Nijioka will pay anything for a flush draw. She's a flush addict. Uh, I will bet, but I'm yeah, I'm guessing the re-raises are coming, and then I'll call bear out. Shit! She got her flush, Scoob! Damn. Oh no, I should get out. I should get out. Shit. Pair of fives does not win this. <sighs> All right. I'll be responsible. <laughs> Madam. With the full house. Love that shit. She's back over 80k, baby. And Fujimiya had three of a kind. Yeah. I stayed into that one way too long. She's back. Hmm. This does suck. Uh, we love that we have the queen of diamonds. So basically, if two more diamonds do appear, we win. But otherwise, we're not stoked. You got to pay to play now, bro. You got to pay to play. I got another diamond coming up. Watch this. Diamond. Diamond coming up right here. Boop. Oh, no. High card now. Ooh, two pair. Nice, Fujimiya. All right. Damn, I didn't think Fuji... Yeah, Fujimiya actually was always the person initiating the bet. They actually were acting like they had a pair the whole time. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. I gotta agree, dude. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh no. Ha Chan, you fool. Ace five suited on the big blind. We're stoked. We're stoked. I'm not even gonna raise. Watch this shit. Watch this. We win this. We win this. Uh-oh. We do not, in fact, win this. Checks all around. Nobody's got a king or a queen. So I'll start betting. Re-raise Fujimiya. Really? You trying to scare me off? I think I win with ace high. Yeah, right, right, right. Fujimi is nasty. Remember, when that first four appeared, he checked. He checked. He checked. He's a nasty, nasty false accountant. Oh, this is awful. That's nasty. That was really well played. Oh my god. The two. That makes this shit interesting. Hachan, you're about to go if you lose this, bro. Oh, they split the pot. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> Making me pay for this. Everybody's got a good hand. Oh, another re-raise on top of that? Shit. Everybody's got a good hand. Remember that. Don't forget that. I bet we're the only person to hit that four, though. Jimmy just folds. Oh my god. We're stoked. Three of a kind now. I'm going to keep re-raising. I think I just won this hand. Uh, if a diamond appears, we got to worry. We know Madame Nijioka loves to chase flushes. Okay, I think I won. Heads up with Madame Nijioka. How far will you take me? How far will you take me? Three card. With her pair of aces. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. The AI, when they get two pair, they think they are hot shit. They think they're hot shit when they get two of a kind. Or sorry, two pair. Seven four. Hey, we just want a big hand. We just want a big hand. We'll take our seven four. Oh, heads up with Fujimiya. Okay. You bet I'll call. You check, I check. I don't trust your checks, Fujimiya. Enjoy yourself, brother. Jack 10 unsuited. We'll play for 50. I hate this hand. Uh-uh. Yeah, I hate this shit. Fujimiya opens with a bet I will not even call for 50. Uh-oh. Re-raising each other. What's up, Hachan? Keeps the raise going. Holy shit. Queen out there. A check and a call. Suddenly they're not so hot. Raise, 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 raise. Call on the raise, okay. Pair of eights. Okay. I gotta stop respecting these opponents. Oh, and Fujimiya cracked 10k. Yeah, that's nice. Um, let's open up with a little bet of 50, perhaps. Calls all around. 
Yeah, 50 is easy. Nobody raised, which is a good thing. Uh, we're not scared of that, Jack. We're not scared. They'd be re-raising us if they hit that. If anything, we're more confident. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do you got? Two pair now? Fuck. Oh, you're right. Hachan's about to leave. Damn. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost respected him. I almost did. Oh, shit. And Gentile Masuda is back. I like Gentile Masuda. I've got nothing bad to say about Gentile Masuda. We got our 3Ds chat. Everybody's checking. You got to pay to play. Chat in real life, I would actually, I would actually check there and be like, oh, I don't have shit. Ooh, and bet coming from you is interesting. How splendid indeed! You just got your three queens. Congrats to you, Masuda. <laughs> That's actually what happened. <laughs> Dang. You want more money? You want more money? That's why I don't raise. That's why I just call on those. Sure, three two suited. I'll play. I'll play. You think I won't? Ugh, okay. Uh, a five is the only way we win this. The only way. Chat, do you believe in the number five? Here it comes. Shit. <laughs> Congrats, Masuda. Welcome to the table, Masuda. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Ten seven. I fucking hate. Can't believe they're making me pay to play this. Ew. Check. Checks all around. Okay, so nobody hit that. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Will they play with me or will they will they uh, fold? Damn, damn. I wanted Fujimiya's money. I wanted Fujimiya's, Fujimiya's money, dude. Damn. Couldn't capitalize. Jack five suited. We like it. We like it. I wanted your money. My poker face failed me. I think that's what happened. All right, I'm going to be here's what thing. I'm going to be I'm going to be cool. The AI when they're hunting for a flush, they're always acting like I got the best hand in the world. I'm going to act cool here. I'm cool. There we go. I'm not cool anymore. I'm extremely not cool. I'm extremely not cool. I'm gonna fucking take your money, Fujimiya. I'm going to take your money, bro. Oh my god, I love this. I love this shit. I love this shit. Fujimiya, the false accountant, is going into debt, bro. You're about to pull the horse trailer, brother. Flush. Oh my god. Because you hit your kings? Because you hit your kings, you think you can compete with me at this poker table. Come on, brother. <laughs> 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 
Seven eight sucks. We hate seven eight. We hate it. Get me out of here. Checks all around. We're actually stoked now. We won this hand. Oh my god. Yeah. And Fujimiya knows it too. You got a pair of sixes? Uh, you might get a straight. Okay, 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 okay. It could happen. I'm gonna raise you though. Alright, I'll call. I respect the madam. I will call. Flush! Well played, madam. Well played. Normally, chat, normally when she's hunting for a flush, she plays it like crazy. That was really, really well played. Check out the trailer for Ultraman Rising on Netflix. Chat, I don't have Netflix. I'm out. I abandoned the system. I'm out. Oops, I didn't mean to call. That was an accident. I gotta go. All right, madam. Good win. Good win. Queen seven. Not a great hand, but it's nice. For, it's nice to be big blind and have queen seven. We're, that's cool. That's cool. We hit our sevens, and we know there's going to be a lot of straight chasers out here. We know they're in. They're in. The straight chasers are in. Here's our queen. Oh no. All right. Um. I think somebody's got nines or eights. I, I'm guessing that's what wins this. Oh. Okay. They were straight chasers. <laughs> they were straight chasers. <laughs> Para Jacks, we love it. Why are we doing? We're doing good, chat. We're doing good here. We're not able to like get a lot of chips from these wins, but it's crazy how many hands in a row we've been winning. This is nice. All right, Nijioka is acting like she's got queens, but we also know she's a flush chaser. It's on Netflix, Kyle. Chat, I don't have Netflix. I unsubscribed. You can do that. They let you do that. All right, she didn't get her flush, so either she has those queens. Let's see. Let's see how Nijioka plays this. Oh, she was flush chasing. She folds now. Yep. Well played. Well played. Well played. Uh, for 50, I'll call. I'll call for 100. Do we win this with ace high? No, you got your sevens. Damn it. Damn it. Well played. Jack King suited. It's time to pay. It's time to pay. You pay me. You pay me. Yep, you pay me. You pay me. You pay me. Here we go. We fucking love it, dude. The thing is, so we love this because we don't think anybody with a five in their hand would keep paying me that much money. It's totally possible they got kings because they were so stoked about their hands. But they're not re-raising me. I don't think they have shit here.
<laughs> fuck you, Fujimiya. Fuck you. You were trying you were trying to get me scared, dude? You were trying to bluff me? Come on, bro. What if we quit after we pass the madam? Yeah, I wonder which will happen first. Us getting to 70k or the madam or us defeating the madam. Yakuza like a madam guy, Dan, is so funny to me, Chad. <laughs> Yakuza like a madam, bro. Ooh, big loss for the two pair on Fujimiya. I love it. I love that shit. Very nice. <laughs> All right, eight three. I should. You shouldn't call with that. You shouldn't call with that. But sometimes you win little stinky hands with eight three. You know. Uh, for fifty, why not? They're just diblets. Ooh. Masuda, you're kings. Masuda, you're kings. Oh, well played, well played, well played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respectful poker. I like it. It's okay to fold. I love how that looks. Yeah, let's play this. Let's play this. I like this. Uh-oh. Okay, so here's the problem. The CPU is like, oh, I got two pair. Oh my god. I got such a good hand right now. I got two pair. Masuda might have an eight or a nine, though, and then I'm absolutely fucked. <laughs> Do you, though? Do you, though? You know what? That was well played. That was well played. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really well played. That's nice. Really, really well played. And that was just like so unfortunate for us to walk in on, you know? All right, these fucking flush chasers are gonna lose their minds chasing this flush. Shit, they got it too. Somebody's got a flush. Stop it! Stop! Stop! Just call. Two pair! Oh my god! Nobody had a heart? Nobody had a heart? I bet Madame Nijioka had a heart. <laughs> Why did I stay in? Frustration. I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt. No checking on that. No checking on that. The madam has re-raised us. Okay. Madam's got some good shit, too. She's got the pocket tens. Unfortunately, that two means nothing to us. Uh, I honestly, I think she just has, I think she just has a queen. Um, but the problem is her queen, her follow-up card is better than our follow-up card. Meaning that she'll have two pair and then like an ace, you know what I mean? Or a five, which would also beat us. Yeah. 
She had the kings. All right. Good shit, madam. Good shit, madam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good shit. Good shit. And you know what? She played it like she had it. Can't be mad. Oh no, the flush chasers are gonna destroy this. I won this hand and the flush chasers are absolutely gonna take it away from me. So fuck you, Fujimiya. I won this hand. I got this hand, this is my hand. I lost it. Oh my God. I'm folding, I'm folding, I'm folding, I'm folding. Wow, everybody's in. Yes! The straight split plot spot, excuse me. The split pot on the straight, so nice. Fujimiya playing like you got two pair, I can respect it. But um, I like that. I like that a lot. All I needed was a four, but it, like to me, when those three people are betting like crazy, I gotta assume somebody's got a flush, right? When there's three hearts on the table. All right, so the only reason I'm staying in is that I win with a king. She wouldn't bet if she has nothing, dude. Take my diblets. Well played, madam. The pocket threes. All right. The luck is going back the other way. The pendulum is spinning the other way. We've had like five losses in a row here. Shit hands. We just won this. We just won this. Shit, we did not win this. I do not know what Masuda is doing right now. Masuda has the 6-2, I think is a good assumption. Super. Yeah. <laughs> Let's split that pot. Let's split that pot. You and me, let's split that pot. Oh, I think um, they had the high card after the pot split though. I don't think I got any of those chips. Damn. Madam's chasing a flush. She's got a queen or some shit. Why are you fucking checking, Fujimiya? You were fucking re-raising out your mouth last time. And now you fold. You're a strange coward. Okay. Uh, the nine or the... Queen kills us, and honestly, Madame Nijioka was playing like she has a nine or a queen. I think she had it. Pocket nines. Finally, some good news. Finally, some good news. We love pocket nines. That's a lucky hand. No, this is why I don't make him pay. The Kings beats me. All right, so Madam Bet, she's got Kings, a flush draw, or eights. We beat eights. We will keep playing. Let's see if she raises this shit. She does. Oh my God, what does Madam have? The pocket aces again, I believe it. Oh, and then that ace shows up. 
Hmm. Oh! She checked! Yeah, da, 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 da. Pocket jacks. Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> Damn. We're not even stoked. We hit our we hit our twos. We are like we already know we lost this. Why do they give me hope? We already I already fucking know I lost, game. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, great with your pocket tens. Good for you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, good hands. Good hands. Uh, we got a reason to stay in here for maybe the um the 10 appearing. But it's it's too scary if they start raising like nuts. Remember a flush beats a straight. So honestly, I don't even want to play. I don't, I'll pay I'll do a 100 diblets. I'm out. No, no, no. Fuck you guys. Yeah, all right. Happy to be gone. Happy to be out of there. Yeah, fuck that. Enjoy that hand. <laughs> Fujimiya, you are such a fraud, bro. You are such a fraud. Like, bluffing works if you really don't believe anybody else has a hand. It's the only way that works, bro. Fujimiya used to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, we're pretty stoked about this. So is Nijioka. Damn. We've got two pair, but this, this straight blows us up. And everybody's acting like they got it, too. They're acting like they got it. Madam Nijioka's absolutely betting like she has the straight. And if she didn't before, she does now. All you need is an eight to beat me. It sucks. Okay, fuck you. Fuck your raising. God, I'm out. I'm out. Enjoy it. Oh, the straight on the top end. Good shit, Fujimiya. Really good shit. So absolutely crazy. They all stayed in. That makes me so mad, you know what I mean? You can't scare these people out. They're like, no, I know a jack is coming. If I keep gambling, a jack will come. And it did. That's rough. That's rough. You can't scare them out. We've been fucking dying out here, dude. I'm not even... No. Hell no. I'm not even checking. <laughs> okay. Any diamond wins this. Any diamond wins this. Who's got a higher diamond? Oh my god. Okay. She was really feeling her pocket fives, huh? She was really feeling her pocket fives. No! Fuck this! <laughs> Absolutely fuck this! Keep re-raising me, but yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sure you both have great hands. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here's your king. You just got your pair of kings now. Uh-huh. Keep re-raising each other. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Now, they actually both played that right. Yeah, pocket tens, you got pocket kings. You raise like crazy before the flop. 
I'm so glad we got out of there. Do you remember when we used to win with a pair of queens? You remember those days? Now they got me so shook. Like, I think I already lost this hand. Dogalog, thanks for being a four-monther. Way back in 2015, we used to win with a pair of queens back then. Re-raised. Re-raised again. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Just quit your shit. She's, uh, she's doing a flush draw. Classic Madam flush draw. Yep, that's why she folded. Oh my god, we chat. We needed that so bad. Uh, what was Masuda hanging out for? Nothing? Absolutely fucking nothing. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. Hey, we needed that win. We needed any win, honestly. Uh, fuck you guys. <laughs> I hate Queen 4. Oh my god. They're really raising each other up, too. This is fun. Who wins this? I guess Masuda wins yeah, this. Da, da, da. Yeah. You had the sixes. All right, don't... God, don't treat your little pair of sixes like it's the hottest shit on the board. You're killing me with this shit. Oh, no. All right, we got three hearts on the board. We hit our pair of threes, but it's like the worst thing that could happen to me. The absolute worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the fuck out. Enjoy yourselves. Uh-huh. Have a good time, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck me for getting 2-3. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So, Madam Nijioka had... She played that right. She actually played that right. I like how she played that. Gentile Masuda had sevens. Fujiyama had a pair of kings. Nah, I don't like how anyone else played that. Uh, Jack Six suited. We like it. We like it. I'm gonna keep playing this shit. This might, this might turn around. Watch this shit. This might turn around. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Nope. <laughs> okay, time to go. Bye bye. Ace Jack is like, honestly, not even that good of a hand. It's like the nicest hand we've had in 10 hands. All right, you two. Quit your shit. Apparently, Madame Nijioka has got another pocket pair. You're betting? You hit something here? Fuck. Fuck. Oh, my God. All right, fine. Oh, I did not mean to raise. Oh, shit. I gotta go, bro. That was an accidental raise. Whole fucking house. Fuji Fujimiya had three of a kind. Yeah, all right. All right, all right. I like how they both played that. The pocket queens. She really did have a nasty, nasty pocket pair. And she played it like she had it. I guess you got to respect that. She said, I got pocket queens. You all got to play. You got to pay to play against me.
Yeah, chat. Okay, normally you should never fold if it's checking to you, right? You should, I mean, check. Why not? Let's see what happens next. The game's being so fucking nasty now, giving itself super good hands. It's like, I'm not even, I don't even want to check, bro. When does my good hand come? Pocket threes. Pocket threes suck. A7 suited. This is our good hand. Watch this. We win this. We win this. Shit. Checks all around. Now a four is very nice and a heart is very nice. We're going to pay to play. We got two outs. Please be a heart. Oh, we got the four though. We got the four though. Do we win with that four? I think we do. I think you just won this. You think nobody else has a seven? Yeah, that's what I think. All right. I think we I think we finally just won one, chat. Straight. Oh no! Two straight doors. Damn. Damn. We'll take a win. We'll take a win. We took some money from Gentile Masuda. We'll take it. We fucking love this. No, nobody, yeah, nobody gets to play this for free, bro. Ride with me. Ride with me. Ride with me. Keep raising me. Ride with me. Ride with me. Keep raising me. Oh my god. I'm gonna start calling. Oh shit, Masuda's on the race train now too. Oh my god. I think I'm fucked. We need that puppy paw. Let's see that puppy paw. Oh no. I'm out. Three of a kind. Pocket eights. That's nasty. Well played. Fujimiya played that very well. Nine ten suited? We love this. Maybe we'll win this one. Maybe we can win this one. Yeah, there's possibilities here. There's possibilities here. There is one possibility now. It's over. <laughs> yeah, it's over. I know, dude. We we were at 66 before. We were. We were we were doing great, dude. We've lost so many damn hands in a row. It's been brutal, dude. It's been really brutal. Game's got it just got like we got dry. It wasn't like, oh yeah, you could have won that if you did this or it's just like, bro, I can't win this. Um Again, we have outs here, but I feel like I feel like the, I'm just losing this shit. Look at all the raises, you know what I mean? I'm out. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah. That was a good fold. The the game just give, give like keeps feeding itself excellent hands. Yeah, enjoy yourself there. Yep. Uh-huh. They split a two pair. And they both had, they both fucking had three, five. <laughs> so it was just a straight split. Okay, bro. 
Okay, bro. The game just scratching its own back. Okay, we got a pair of aces. You remember back in 2015 when a pair of aces would win the hand? Remember that shit? Fujimiya says I got two, two pair. There's no other reason why Fujimiya re-raises there. That's just crazy. No re-raise there. Fuck that three. That three is dangerous, bro. Super. Clean. Okay. Clean. Clean. Clean win. We'll take it. We like this. We like this. Heads up with Madam Nijoka. Mm, Nijoka, excuse me. Um, We like this. I will raise it. You re-raised me? All right, fine, I'll call. We really like this. I think she will re-raise me if I raise her. She does. Uh-oh. I call. Yeah, da, da, da. Oh, shit. Okay. Not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. <laughs> Take it easy, game. Take it easy, bro. We got to win one hand, dude. We got to win one. Take it easy, man. No, fuck you. <laughs> I fold too. <laughs> Pull out before you drop before 60? You don't know me. Come on now, bro. That's dumb shit moves. That's dumb shit moves. One pair. Oh, but you had the 10. Nasty. Nasty. That would be my, like, the biggest streaming error I've ever made if we're just like, ah, chat, we gotta go. <laughs> chat, we're about to dip in 60. Let's end the stream there. Biggest streaming mistake of my life. Okay, we're heads up with Masuda. None of us hit that. What do you think, Masuda? Okay. Shit. Blumpia. Ooh, we won with the queen. Very nice. Not a big pot, but we'll take any small win. We'll take any... Like, I was just asking the game. Give me one win, bro. Give me something. Now, these are the kinds of hands we're used to getting. This, this is more our kind of hand. We fucking win this. Oh, did one of you get two pair? Congratulations. Uh-huh. Go ahead, re-raise me, sure. Oh, all of you have great hands. Oh, all of you have great hands, okay. Mm-hmm, I'm sure. I'm sure you all have great hands. Oh, did you hit that too? Uh huh. Fujimiya has a dagger here. Fujimiya absolutely has a dagger here. King Queen. Fujimiya's got King Queen.
three card. You absolute asshole. You absolute asshole. We needed that. We needed that so bad. We really, really needed that. I'm happy to win that. But I think Fujimiya is an absolute asshole. Turbo Chicken Man. Do you think I should have dropped out? Should I drop out now? You think my luck is over? You think I can't win anymore? Should I drop out now so we don't go beneath 60? Is now a good time for that? What do you think? I think here we just call though. No, you won this hand, bro. You win this hand. You win this. Watch this. Hot table ride him cowboy. That's more like it. That's more like it. A check from Madam Nijioka, Nijioka is crazy. That's crazy. And then a raise. Oh, you're filthy. You're a filthy mama. Shit, I lost this hand. I don't know when it happened, I lost this hand. Oh, quit your shit. Run pair. Fuck off. Both of you, fuck off. Holy shit, you caused me so much stress over nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's why we stay in. Chad, if you wonder, if you wonder, if you wonder, like, why is he staying in? It's because sometimes the CPU is just absolutely bullshitting off the weakest little pair. All that grief. <laughs> All that grief. And for what? I'll call, actually. I think I'm going to win this hand. Watch this shit. I win this hand. Fujimiya probably has a pair. But check to this time, which is interesting. If I bet, I think he will just call. Okay. So no re-raise. Nothing crazy over there. And there's my 10. We just won. Why'd you re-raise me now, sir? Why'd you re-raise me now, sir? You got two pair? You got two pair? Or am I respecting you too much? Lumpia. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn it. Fuck you. Fuck you. I should have re-raised. I should have re-raised. Six, six, six. I should have re-raised. God damn it. God damn it. I was respecting him too much. Damn it. Damn it. Should have raised him up. Oh, okay. Big blind, 5-7. We hate it, but it's nice to be big blind. We'll take it. Sometimes Kyle exhibits true addict behavior like this, and it just proves him right to be straight edge. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine if I was under the influence. You know what I mean? It would, just, it would be a disaster. <laughs> It would be out of control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, pocket tens. Sure, sure, sure. I like that. Anybody could have had a jack or a queen. You would have lost, but sure, you didn't. Under the madam's influence. Ah, uh, we'll check, but we won this. We win this hand. Watch this shit. We win this. We win this. Here's my queen. Right here. Here's my queen. We win. We win. We win. Here's my four. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Showdown. Blunter. Yeah, you fools. All right, yeah. This is how bullshit the CPU is. Like, you just, you can't scare them away. They were betting, like, well, maybe I'll hit my ace. 
You know what I mean? Maybe I'll hit my king. But then at the end, they're like, well, I got this far. I might as well keep betting. 67K. We're getting there. Uh, No. No, no, no. We don't win this one. We don't win this one. No, you no checks all around. No checks all around. Pay to play, baby. Who's got spades? Who's got spades? No checking. Uh-uh. Oh, filthy. So what? We made 600 bucks from that. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Not a big win. Not a big win, but a filthy one. King 10? We don't love it. We don't love it. Ooh, straight up fold from Fujimiya. You getting tired, bud? You getting sleepy? Don't re-raise. Yeah, I got the highest pair. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I respect that. Masuda, I see you. I see you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Bobby. Yeah, I know Madam Nijioka loves that. I'm out, actually. I'm actually out. I don't think I win this with a pair of tens. I think even if a king shows up next, I lose this. Uh, it's 200 diblets. Let's see what happens. 100 diblets. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm out. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's just stay. Let's see what happens. Fuck. Stop raising. Stop raising. She had the straight. Well done. Well done. Happy to pay up. For when the madam gets a straight, happy to give her money. King five, they're making me pay for. Damn. Ew. All right, Masuda acting like you got something. We see it. We respect it. Uh, we've got nothing here. We've got absolutely nothing. Here's my king, though. Oh, damn. This, we lost this. I should not I should not have put any, any chips in here. Well played. But uh, I disrespect the CPU so much is why I stayed in. But here's the thing. I don't think... Oh, they're making me pay for 9-4. Uh, I don't think uh, Masuda would have been betting if they had absolutely nothing. So uh, really, I just should have not stayed in there. Eight, nine, ten, Jack Queen is what we're paying for, I guess. Can I go home now? Yeah, go ahead and bet. You win this one, madam. Take my chips. Jack nine. Chat, we're about to win with this hand. Look at this ugly hand. It sucks, right? We're gonna win with this. Watch this shit. Fujimiya loves his hand. This is what I'm talking about. The queen shows up, we win this. Fujimiya bets. Oh, you checked even. I should check too. I don't have shit. Okay. Damn. Damn. Hurts. Jack ten. We don't win with jack shit, dude. I don't want. I don't want any jacks in my hands. I don't want them anymore.
So now we're all bet. The reason we're betting now is like, hey, maybe I'll hit my shit. Okay, okay, I'll fuck you guys. Enjoy yourselves. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, that is the four. Damn. Fujimiya had it. That's actually crazy. Fujimiya had, had it on the turn. And then Madame Nijioka was just playing threes like they were hot shit. Which I guess makes sense because we all checked on the flop. Okay, that actually makes sense. I get it. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's what we're paying for. Yep. Paying for the six. Uh, ace also does it now too. Okay, so we're paying for a six or an ace to be the next card. Well, well, well. I like the look of that. Raise me. You think I don't have a four? I fucking have a four. I have it. I have it. I have it. Straight. Straight though, buddy. Oh, you had two of a two pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had two pair. Not enough. Ace ten of diamonds. Watch this shit. We win with this shit. We win with this shit. This is not even a good hand. We win with this. Yeah. Yeah. We win with this. Nobody hit that. You're raising me? I raise you back. Serious players only. You're raising me? Serious players only. Promise me you have something. I think we both have aces. We did both have aces, but Gentile Masuda had ace king. Well played. Yeah, I did not. That's why I did not bet like crazy on that last one. It's like, ugh. I don't know, bro. No, no, no. Get me the fuck out of here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get out. Don't check. Too late to check. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get out. Yeah, good call. Three of a kind versus pair of queens. I hate when Fujimiya wins. Hate it. I hate it so much. Like, here's the thing I'm going to play every single hand. Jack two, I would actually fold in real life. We call. With our pair of twos, we're calling. Okay, every, what the fuck? Like you all f have a six and a 10, fuck you guys. God damn it. God damn it. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I'm sure y'all got eights too, uh-huh. Yeah, y'all putting straights together? Oh my God, they're making me pay, bro. Damn. Madam, you got played. You got played. Um, so Fujimiya just felt really fucking good about those pocket fours. It makes me so mad. You know what I mean? Like we had a chance if they didn't if they didn't stay in so much. 
Maybe we could have done something there, but, you know, our hand was not going to win regardless. Pair of tens wins it. Jack three suited. Okay, we got our threes again. It makes me miserable. <laughs> hey, I, we got people waking up now. Welcome everybody who's just waking up. I'm so mad we hit those threes. You know what I mean? I just fucking lose. Still mad. I'm still mad we hit those threes. Because now anybody chasing the flush is going to fuck us over. All right, fine with your raises. Enough. Enough. Did we lose this? Did we lose this? I'm not going to re-raise. I think Masuda got me. Masuda probably has the flush. I'm not going to re-raise. Oh, man. Masuda also had three of a kind, which is crazy. But my jack beats their nine. Oh, baby. That was nasty. That was nasty. All right, one more hand. I do have to take a restroom break. Should have raised. We had the same hand. Isn't that crazy? Brr, nine, ten, queen, jack, king. So, jack, queen, excuse me, queen, king. Um, We'll hang out. We'll hang out. We'll hang out. Sure enough, I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out. If the queen arrives, she did not. But now we got eight, nine, ten, jack. So a seven would be cool too. We'll hang out. We'll hang out. Here comes the seven. No, but we got a pair of tens. Which honestly might be enough to win this because for some reason nobody bet on the turn back there. We might have won this. We might have won this. What do you think? Does a pair of tens win this? Yeah, that, that, that. Does not. You had the jacks. So for some reason, Fujimiya on the turn was not feeling strong about those jacks. Okay. All right. Quick break, chat. I'll be right back. We're back, baby. Oh, hey, we're back. 24-hour poker stream? Whichever comes first. 24 hours of this game or me hitting 70,000 chips. Whichever comes first. Oh, you're right. The madam is really losing it, huh? Um, 
shit. We shouldn't stay in this, but we got a shot. Fujimiya raising is interesting. We should go. But we're not gonna. Can we quit if we hit zero? Yeah, I'd be fine with that. If we run out of chips, we can quit playing this. That's a good idea. Three of a kind, congrats to you. Once you have more than the madam. That was the thing. We were wondering uh, which would come first, actually. Us getting 70k or us or, uh, surpassing the madam. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's what we're paying for. That's what you're paying for. Okay. A raise. Quit your shit. Quit your raising. Here comes the six, and now you're fucked. Okay. Now you're checking. Now we're checkers in here. I'll check, too. Here comes the six. Ooh. Three six on the big blind is so sucky. And Fujimiya loves to raise pre-flop. When is the Nick All-Star stream? It might never come. I think it might get bumped. We'll see what happens next week. Uh, music's way louder now, huh? Uh, Mario RPG is definitely next Friday. So I got to figure out what Saturday stream would be. And that might, honestly, Nick All-Stars might fit into Saturday. Yeah, it's like that or Cavern of Dreams. It'll depend on vibes. I guess I'll figure that out tomorrow. And you know what sucks about Madam losing her money? Is it's all going into Fujimiya. He's having a great time since he sat down again. Ace two suited. We love it. We love it. We love it. We'll call. Of course Fujimiya raised preflop. Alright chat. So I think I actually I love our chance here. I love our 25% chance of hitting another diamond. Um, but I'm not going to bet. I'm not going to bet on it. So it's closer to 50, right? Because we got two draws, exactly. It's not that one. So now it's a 25% chance. We'll say 21. Now we have a 0% chance. Chat, bluffing only works if your opponents have nothing. And the thing is, they weren't just checking around. They were betting. They were betting. So there, there was no bluff win in that one. What are you raising for, bro? Come on now. Fuck off. God damn it, you two. Quit your shit. <laughs> oh my god, I shouldn't stay in on this. I should I should actually with this is what sucks. With a pair of jacks, because of the way that they're being little maniacs, I should fold. Enjoy yourself, you little maniacs. Masuda paid the price that I did not pay. <laughs> Masuda's like, my pair of jacks is obviously the best possible. And it's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Let's quit betting like that. Respect the madam. Respect her. <laughs> you 
Masuda confronted the madam and got put in this place. That's exactly what we just watched. Uh, 100 to play 2-7 suited. You're nasty. You're all nasty. You're all nasty. And then they raised again. Get over yourselves. Now I'm going to win this hand, Masuda. Now I'm going to win this shit. I hope you're glad you invested that much. I'm going to win this shit. Watch this, Masuda. Here comes the six. Sorry, we have the six. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fucking beat you, bro. I should have bet more. That's on me, chat. I didn't realize I already hit it. I didn't even realize it. Your fucking pocket jacks. Get fucked. Get fucked. That's on me, chat. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. We already had it won. Oh, we like this for a multitude of reasons, don't we? Yeah, we do. We'll call. We'll call. We'll bet. Okay. Nine destroys us. You got it too. Fuck. <laughs> well, actually, I mean, even like, fuck, even if it was just the pair of nines, that would have beaten us too. We lost it. We lost that regardless. There was no winning that one. Jack nine. Pair of nines, we bet. Stay with me. And what sucks, what sucks so much is like, I don't know if they have something to, or if they're just, you know, put another hundred diblets in because they want to see if there's something works out for them. Nasty, nasty game. All right. The fact that they just called implies to me that they do not have a three. However, an eight now is crushing. And the other problem is all these guys are going to bet like, oh, I got two pair. I got, I got good shit. Oh. Oh. Thought I knew him. I thought I knew him. Fujimiya, you're a dirtbag, bro. You're dirtbags. God, you're just taking Nijoka's money, too. Nijioka, excuse me. Who's got the eight? Who's got it? Tell me it's not Fujimiya. Tell me it's not you. Fuck. You know who had the eight? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. These fucking maniacs raising out of their minds with one pair actually scared me off. It happened. All right, nobody hit that. That's good. Nobody hit that. It's good. Nobody hit that. We're good. <laughs> High card wins. Congrats to the ace. 66. We're back to 66. Jack six with the big blind. We don't love it. We don't love it. We already lost this hand. Don't even show me any cards. I already fucking lost this hand. Don't even show me cards. Ew. Ew. Why do you give me hope? Oh, everybody's got hope, huh? Yeah. Bunch of flush chasers. You fucking flush chasers. And there she is, my beautiful queen. Now, uh... Jack Ace beats us. 
Jack Ace beats us, but I think we won this hand. I don't. I think like you know, there's probably another Jack out there. Um. But uh, yeah, I think we won, and we can bet accordingly. Hell yeah. What did you losers have? I had a pair of kings. And what did you have? I had pocket sixes. You're absolute morons. You're absolute morons. We are so close. We are so close. <laughs> okay. One, basically, chat, even a tiny win and we hit 70k. How am I finding the game overall? Actually, was really liking it. Actually, I was pretty into it. Um, breezy so far. You know what I mean? Kind of like the ideal pace for a game. Um, we're pretty stoked about this. We bet. Uh, Madame Nijioka raised me, by the way. Keep an eye on her over there. So I think she's got a queen. I don't think we win this with a pair of nines. Oh, watch her now. Watch her now. What do you got, madam? Super. Pocket fours. Come on now. This is how we do it. Come on, madam. All right, chat. We did it. Looking forward to your return. Let's go. Let's go spend it. This is the good part. All right. So absolutely, we're picking up the cool striker. Give me that shit. That car frame just changes the look. But you don't have it. The thing is, though, I have it and you don't. <laughs> That's all I need. Now, how important is this shit to us? Reduces the amount of heat consumed is really good. This is the ultimate ultimate dragon smack item what sucks is right now i have one accessory slot i'm still really early in the progression of the game i think you get one for free later though not that one bro no 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 that one costs forty thousand chips and nobody else has the cool striker Mm. I feel like you get hit a lot in like a dragon games. That's the thing is like my defense minus 970 is almost like too crazy, dude. Basically you get one shotted. It would make it less fun, I think. Uh, so I'm kind of thinking about Indra's Amulet. I think that's just like all around going to be one of the best game, best items to have in the game. Oh, you get Indra's amulet for free later on. That's incredible intel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's instead spend the rest on these platinum plates so that we're filthy fucking rich. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of keeping 10k chips actually so that we can play in the cl platinum club. <laughs> Yeah. Great. Wait, I still have more? Yeah, so give me that much. Okay, there we go. Now we can go play in the platinum. Is there anywhere nearby where we can sell these plates?
Looks like no. So I just, I just have a buttload of cash hanging out in my pockets, but I can't sell it. Now it's time to lose the rest on blackjack. <laughs> Let's play one hand. Let's play one hand at blackjack. Walking around the gold bullions in my pockets. Yeah, it sucks. I can't transfer that into cash right now. Uh, 16 is real bad, right? Oh, here we go. Insurance. Since it's possible the dealer might have blackjack, you may take out insurance equal to half of your original bet. Cowardly, no way. The dealer does not have blackjack. Let's continue. Okay. Hit me. Double down. Watch this shit, chat. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Double down. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, dog. We walk away now. We now we walk away. <laughs> now we go. Now we go. Thank you very much. All right. So chat says that the platinum plates sell for 200k each. We got nine of those. We're millionaires, baby. We're millionaires. Have I won a single blackjack hand? We won one. We won one earlier. And then um, when you win one blackjack hand, they do a really nasty trick to you where they say, okay, now that you won that much, you can bet 10 times more on your next hand. And you're like, wow, 10 times more. That's really nice. Okay, I'll do that. And then you lose that hand, and then you lost more money than you ever expected you could. Brutal. Infinite wealth. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. This is why actually like having money will be so nice. 200 yen for that. 100 and probably two more there. We'll, I'm going to spend it really fast. Um, like getting more of this shit right here. This costs 250. This costs 250. So like... I'll be happy to spend all this money upgrading ourselves. Oh yeah, look, this actually increases your accessory slots. That's beautiful. Yeah, 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 we gotta prioritize that shit. So yeah, us having this uh, incredible wealth is gonna be super good. Right now, as you can see, I only have one accessory slot. And I do have, look, Fuck. Attack plus 360, defense minus 760. We haven't had one fight since I equipped this, but uh, it might come off really fast. We'll see. Cool. All right, chat. That's a great spot to end for the night. That did take one hour longer than I thought it would. We were hot. We were really hot for a second. And there was just there was a long stretch there where, where I could not win a hand. Feels good though. Then the accountant showed up. You know what? I think the the oh whoa. Do you see what I see? How do I grab that? Wait, 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 come back, come back. How do I grab that? How do I get in there? How do I grab that? Ooh, good reach. <laughs> Gotta catch some balls is the name of that trophy. Okay. 
chat, did I do the right thing? <laughs> did I do the right thing? Yeah, no, it's, it's so funny. I'm so used to being in the upper right-hand corner and narrating every trophy to you. Yeah, what's a gold ball do? A mysterious ball with a golden shine. Rumor has it that if you collect seven, you'll be granted a wish. Oh my god. Well, that's just cool as hell. The hunt begins, yeah. Oh my god, hell yeah. Are there seven? Yeah, look at that, one of seven. Dragon, dragon, <laughs> like a dragon. Okay, all right, cool. Oh, it's my watch that shoots the wire. I always thought it was my phone. Okay, it's the watch that shoots the wire. That's so silly, bro. Fun. All right, chat, we'll hang it up there. We'll hang it up there. It's not, it's not easy to hang this game up, but it is 3 a.m. on the East Coast. Time to hang it up. That was fun. God, that was that was four hours of degenerate poker. That was so degen. We gotta not do that again. We gotta quit that shit. <laughs> that was absolute degeneracy, man. <laughs> and do you know what's fucking crazy? What is truly, truly crazy is uh, always human's ability to humanize and project upon absolute unliving entities. Not even an inanimate object, right? It was just a fucking name. <laughs> it was just a fucking name in a corner of the screen. And I'm like, God, I hate you, Fujimiya. You know what I mean? I truly hated Fujimiya. And I truly had respect for Madam. Oh, I forgot her last name already, though. She was real to me. Yeah, that's so crazy. There was not even portraits of them, you know? Nijioka. Yes, Nijioka. Madam Nijioka. How much would I have played by myself anyway? So the thing is, um... In Yakuza 7, I played a lot of poker, too. And I got a huge leg up that way. Is I probably played poker for like four hours. Hachan's life is ruined. Yeah, Hachan's gone. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I left at the end of Mario Kart, came back to you being super degen in poker. That means you all you missed is Giga Smash and Tetris 99. Tetris 99 was good. We got a W. That felt really nice. And Giga Bash, excuse me, was uh, really, really fun. The uh, Ultraman characters fit in well. We had a crazy tournament. Yeah, it was fun. Really fun day of streaming. I love this shit, chat. Can we see the other people at the poker table? Yeah, I don't think they are who they are. I don't think they are who they are. But yeah, you can see you can see that they are like at least unique NPCs. Ruining my opponent's lives. I ain't never felt so good. I totally relate to you, brother. <laughs> Ruining my opponent's lives is like my fantasy. Yeah, I love that shit. I think you're gonna check out Teardown. Uh, no, I would need some more incentive to check out Teardown. Time for baseball? Uh, no time for baseball. We are winding the stream down, but I did wanna show you chat. I did, in case we played baseball today, I did come up with new rules. Um, or at least I have them written down.
There we go. Okay, so we finally got in text the rule, the ball rule. If ball is has the worst batting average on the beef studs halfway through the season, his cover will be blown, and he'll be forced to retire. He will not solve the disappearance of beef and stud. If ball hits one home run, he will gain the confidence and connections to discover the location of beef, who will be added to the team. If ball hits two home runs, he will find beef and stud. I just think it's incredibly unlikely, but those would be huge homers. <laughs> um, Any player beamed by a scary face pitch will become sick for four weeks, replaced by a player from the bench. Now, the only people who have this scary face pitch right now are all players for the baddies. In case it happens in the future, it's an attribute of the pitch and not a player from the baddies. If the Richards are in first place halfway through the season, their best batter will be traded to the last place team for a considerably worse player. This is simply out of spite. Richard does not like the spotlight being taken off of him. And then uh, if the firm accrue three losses in a row, turmoil in the locker room results in toxic status. For each game played under toxic status, one random player will become a bad boy. Three wins in a row will heal one bad boy. <laughs> oh yeah, chat, I'm so sorry. It is four games. It's four games, not four weeks. Four games. Good looking out. This is what I need you here for. <laughs> what heals toxic? Oh, th so three win wins in a row would heal one bad boy and clear toxic status. Actually, I think one win would clear toxic status. Three wins in a row would heal one bad boy. I think we can do that. Two wins. Two wins in a row heals toxic status. Three wins in a row will heal one bad boy. <laughs> Explain bad boys to me. I don't know. I think it means we go in and really fuck up their stats. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what it means to be a bad boy, but I think we're just going to go in and absolutely fuck them up. <laughs> They start juicing. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing is I think bad boy will actually be a buff. I think bad boy is a buff, but not in terms of character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A buff with a cost. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. The season is the most complex yet. Well, I mean, chat, the odds of most of this shit even getting activated is low. I just like the chance of most of it happening. And honestly, we had not seen anybody get beaned up until the last game, and then the scary face pitch did indeed hit poor slop. Uh, but yeah, like the Richards being in first place is unlikely, you know? So it's just fun to have those around. It's fun to have those. <laughs> um, Three losses in a row is fairly unlikely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, that's the thing is if if they do lose three times in a row, um, they need a buff. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a fun way for us to add a buff to some struggling teams and making it canonical. Yeah, we technically never surpassed the madam. That's important, right? I think we got close to her though, right? Like I feel like we absolutely had mutual respect for each other. Madam was at 73k when we left the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we left with a nod. You know what I mean? A little like, just like, you know, tip your drink at her. <laughs> uh, 
That was fun. Yakuza like a madam. <laughs> Um, Mucho's holding up great, actually. He's not been antsy. I guess because he had his snack, he's feeling good. Um, all right. So, next week. Monday's gonna be, uh, Jade Empire. Uh, it will probably be the last final Jade Empire stream. So, if you've ever, if you have not been catching those, uh, if you ever want to see how Jade Empire ends, I think that's happening on Monday. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> anyway. But uh, yeah, it's getting getting pretty heavy, getting pretty serious. Uh, then Friday will be the premiere of Super Mario RPG Remake. Uh, that'll be a full playthrough on Friday. And then I got to figure out how Saturday works. I wonder if, I honestly wonder if it's good content to do Friday and Saturday Mario RPG, but I love Saturdays being variety days so much that I might just load it up with a, a bunch of stuff. So I'll figure that out tomorrow, uh, what Saturday looks like. And if there's another hot new release next week, we got to play that on Saturday. <laughs> no way. Dan Reichert is doing a watch along of the Donkey Kong animated show. If anyone is interested, we should absolutely raid him. Uh, is his channel just Dan Reichert? We were talking about that earlier in the stream. We're talking about Metalhead. Is there something you want to tell me, big bunny? <laughs> um, the week after you're off? Yeah, I'm only going to miss like one stream though. No, I'll miss two streams. No, I guess just one. So I'll hit the 20th, the 24th, there will be no stream, but the 25th, there will be a stream. So it looks like only one stream I'm off. And nobody knows when Killer Instinct Week is. <laughs> but Dan is counter-programming his own Outlet's Extra Life stream. Oh, no. Okay, well, we should... Okay. Now that I know, we what, is it uh, Giant Bomb is doing Extra Life right now? Is Metal Gear Solid going to be Mondays in December? Um, honestly, I think we could do like Friday. A couple of Fridays for that. Good question though. I think Sonic's got Mondays locked down for December. But really all that depends on whether or not we vibe with Super Mario RPG. Sorry, was it Giant Bomb? Giant Bomb's doing stuff? Okay, so it's Raid uh, Giant Bomb, one word, is the name of their channel? <laughs> I know. Uh, both these super OT streams, unfortunately, were caused by my interest in gambling. <laughs> uh you know what I mean? Like, chat, I would not have gone... I would have not have gone three hours overtime for most games. But, uh, unfortunately, I can't help myself. So, you know what? Setting the goal for 70k was, like, the best thing we could have done for ourselves. <laughs> the beard has grown a bit. 100%. Yeah. The man who erased his wallet. And, I mean, the problem is we kept growing. Our, we got a we got a fat fucking wallet right now. <laughs> Giant bomb is offline. Okay, yeah. Let me go check. Let me check what's going on on Twitch right now. Is there something you want to tell me, big bunny? I can't um, I can't figure out what the actual cadence of that is. I'm sorry, we have to listen to it one more time. One more time, one more time. How's he hit these notes? Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? <laughs> Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? 
<laughs> is there something you should tell me, big buddy? Okay, we got it now. We got it now. <laughs> that would be so good on the soundboard. Need a tune-up and a change of oils. Here we go. I'm a metalhead, a metalhead, a metalhead, a metalhead. Ooh-hoo-hoo! That's a good song. That's Donkey Kong singing. Ooh, that's a good song. <laughs> that's your gambling anthem. Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, hold on. Oh, I got so distracted. What we're going to do is see if Giant Bomb is still alive. If they are not, we're going right over to Dan Reichert watching that ridiculous. Yep, yeah, they're offline. Okay, all right, all right. So let's raid Dan Reichert. Uh, what a last name to spell. How do you spell that? R-Y-C-K-E-R-T. All right. Fun shit this week, chat. This was that was a fun week of streaming. Good god. I love that shit. Thank you so much, chat. Appreciated. Uh I say chat, I mean everybody watching. Everybody listening. Everybody uh engaging with this Twitch stream. It is appreciated. Uh we'll be back next week with lots more streaming and uh let's all uh, have a good weekend. Cool. All right. See you around. I'll figure out what's happening next Saturday soon, and that'll be up on the schedule. Thank you so much, everybody. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoes. It's a robot party. Pet the dog. It's a robot.